Oh, oh gosh. Hello, everybody. <laughs> I'm Bobo. Welcome to my stream. Uh-oh. We're starting home stream. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh gosh! <laughs> I haven't really, <laughs> I haven't really talked to this. <laughs> I didn't know my voice was so bad. <laughs> oh gosh! I am so sorry. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> Check the oh the audio. Okay, we're okay. <laughs> um, <clears throat> need a little double D W D forty. Yeah, <laughs> I haven't had a cough drop, so I was waiting to finish my food, and uh, I before I ate the cough drop. So <laughs> sounds like I'm stronger, Pomo. Now you. <laughs> Thank you for 15 <laughs> Oh gosh <clears throat> Um <laughs> Anyway, welcome to Slay the Princess I chose this game cause Um A lot of people were like, this game is good, you should play it, I think you'll like it And also Because I think it's almost fully narrated So I don't have to talk very much <laughs> I have a cold. I'm okay. <clears throat> I just have a cold. I'm very congested. And yesterday I had to record a lot. And I think it kind of like made my voice uh, <laughs> a little worse um, than before. Because I had so much to record, because there was so much that was needed on a time deadline. So if you hear anything, uh, with my voice coming up, sorry. <laughs> Should you be streaming or vocal resting? Oh, probably. <laughs> um, <clears throat> that's okay though. Twenty-one months. Oh my gosh, Notorious PSG. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Anyway. Also, I'm starting so early today because. I have a meeting later And Manezan didn't tell me what time the meeting is So I was like, well, I guess I'll just start the stream early enough so that <laughs> I won't miss it <clears throat> It was my birthday on the 19th I wonder how happy birthday song would sound now Let's try! <clears throat> Hold on, let me take a sippy It was funny because yesterday when I was singing, I was just like, oh my gosh, I kind of sound like I know the end. Okay. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> oh, uh, cryosite. I almost said your last name first. Cryosite to you, Neko. Happy birthday to you. Oh, happy birthday. All right, let's get this party started. Let's go slay, sister. Woo! <laughs> New game. Chapter one, the hero and the princess. You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. Oh. 
And in the basement of that cabin... Is the audio okay? ...is a princess. A princess? <laughs> You're here to slay her. Oh, slay! If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Oh! But, like, Princess GF... Oh! Um... Have you considered that maybe the only reason she's going to end the, the world is because she's locked up? Oh, it's a good thing I put you guys over here then. I had no idea. Wait, there's more? Holy shit! There's so much! Oh my god! <coughs> there's so many options! <laughs> Viva la revolucion! <laughs> Thanks for the hot dog! There's so many options. Um, I'm okay with the world ending. Forget it. I'm not doing this. Can someone else do this? Killing a princess does seems kind of bad, though. Hmm. <coughs> la <laughs> revolution. Do you hear the people sing? Can't say because I'm avoiding spoilers. Oh, I, I get ya. I get ya. No worries, Daniel. Thanks for dropping by, though. <clears throat> hmm. We could be a silent protag. I don't know what to choose. Oh my goodness, there's already so many. Singing the song of angry men. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Let's uh, let's uh, let's be. Let's. I'm kind of curious. Why? Why would it be the end of the world? Why? Well, why I'm would it... talking about the end of everything as we know it. No more birds, no more trees, and perhaps most problematically of all, <clears throat> no more people. That sounds... You have to put an end to her. Oh, I'm also sorry. Hold on. Let me also shorten myself a little bit. Here, I'm gonna... Uh, there's no good place to put me. Uh, sorry, the text is gonna be cut off just a little bit. Or actually, let me do this. There we go. <laughs> yeah, there we go. There we go. <clears throat> it's such a cop out answer. I know, right? But that didn't explain anything. I mean, uh, how can a princess locked away in a basement end the world? If you don't tell me why she's dangerous, I'm not going to kill her. Oh, do you have any evidence? Ah, hmm, yes. Well, show me your credentials, sir. And then there's... Oh my gosh, then there's all the ones from before. There's so... What is this? I'll go to the cab and I'll talk to her. If she's bad as they say, then maybe I'll slay her. But I'm not committing to anything. Until I've had the chance to meet her face to face. I'm sold. What? Hmm... Yeah, give me the evidence. Do you have any evidence? Look, you're already on the path that leads to the cabin. Why would you be here if it weren't to complete a very important task? You've made it this far, you might as well reach the end of your journey. <laughs> it does sound like the Stanley Parable guy, right? That's... Uh, that's like a... Oh, what's that? Sunk cost fallacy? Saying that I've made it this far? I don't even... I just started. I don't feel like I've made it that far at all. Let's see... Uh, hmm... <clears throat> Marry the princess. Get the broom closet ending? <laughs> uh, let's see... Oh, oh, you know what? I don't know who the bad guy is yet. The narrator may be leading me astray. So I'll go talk to her, okay? I guess we'll just have to see what happens. But, a word of warning. If you go in prepared to hear her out, she could easily trap you in her web of lies. What? And the more you listen to her honeyed words, oh. the harder it'll be to pull yourself out. Now oh, you're just describing a good time now, mister. Come on. Let's see. Then each and every one of us is doomed. Um... I'll be the judge of that. So sure. Go. Talk to her. See how that turns out for all of us. Okay. Cool. 
You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. Oh, that's why there was the cabin. We're not going to go through with this, right? Oh. She's a princess. We're supposed to save princesses, not slay them. Is that me? Am I the hero? <clears throat> Ignore him. He doesn't oh. know what he's talking about. Who? Oh. I only have one option. Let's go, baby. No, your problem. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer. Why is she dust. in here anyway? The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table Voices in my head. is a pristine blade. Mm. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. What if I want to use something else? I love the demo when this came out. The music is so enchanting but haunted. Like a groom's fairy tale. Yeah, it does kind of give that uh, that impression. Take the blade. Uh, or just enter the basement. Uh, let's go in non-threatening. You know, I mean, she might be into that, but like, we don't we don't know yet. Well, let's just go in. Let's just go say hi to our little girlfriend. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. Mm. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering right. from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Okay, now you're just trying to justify it and like, I mean, we could let her go and let her live a normal life. <laughs> One month until a year, well, bye, thank you. Thanks for 11 months. <clears throat> Her voice softly carries up the stairs. Oh my god. Here we go. We get to hear her precious, sweet, soft voice. Hello? Is someone there? Hello? I'm Puma. It's hypnotizing. It's the kind of voice you only have to hear once to remember it for the rest of your life. Okay. Okay, don't be dramatic. <laughs> this guy's already simping. But he's the hero. It's his job to simp. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. You're playing a Me dangerous too. game by coming here unarmed. My voice is a white voice that you hear to remember for the rest of your life. <laughs> Don't forget Bob's voice, okay, everybody? By coming here unarmed. Mm, I'm here. To, I'm here to save you. Lie. I'm here to save you. Can Pomo make it a stream without simping? I'm not simping yet. I'm not simping yet. <laughs> uh, hey, I think I'm here to slay you. <laughs> Hi. <clears throat> Just checking in on you. Hmm. <laughs> yet? Hey. Hey, 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 I can, I can, I don't know, I, maybe I'm feeling a little evil today, I don't know. <clears throat> Let's just go down the stairs, we're gonna make a cool entrance. Good, you're still listening to reason. It would be better if you had a weapon, but you may still be able to do what needs to be done. Wait, I'm just walking down the stairs, what do you mean? You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. Oh no, she's so cute. There's a heavy chain around she's her She's pinning me. Binding her to the far wall of the basement. Oh, Pian. Her big cute eyes. Yeah. She's beautiful. Oh. How could someone like this be a threat to anyone? <laughs> the, the voice of the hero. Thanks for streaming in the afternoon while I'm working at the office. I saw a clip of you pausing a previous stream. Could I humbly, humbly request a Pomu AFK emote? <laughs> Have a good current stream. Thanks, Ghost of Pomu. Good luck with work. <clears throat> yeah, there is one that's broken. I did notice that, like, in the... In the title screen. She's so beautiful. I am begging you to stay focused. There's a lot riding on you here. See, this is giving me, like, uh... I don't know if maybe everyone has played or watched it or... Um, but when I played Little Misfortune, 
it's the it's the narrator that's leading you astray. You never trust narrators anymore. They're this they're uh, the un unreliable narrator is so real. <clears throat> yeah, I played Little Misfortune a long, long time ago. So here's the poem of AFK. <laughs> Not my thighs. Uh, stop it. <clears throat> Begging you to stay focused. Sorry, sorry. Hi. Do you think you can get me out of these chains? Oh. Uh. Um, I'll see what I can do. But, uh, let's talk a bit first. Come on. Okay. Oh, she already doesn't trust me. I'm okay. We gotta riz her. We gotta. We gotta make her feel comfortable. <clears throat> oh, look how cute she is. Um, I don't know anything about you. For all I know, you're locked up down here for that's that's very reasonable, right? If I'm the first person you've seen in a while, what have you been eating or drinking? I was sent here to slay you. You're apparently supposed to end the world. What are you gonna do if I let you out of here? I'm going to keep you locked away down here, at least for a little bit. We can get to know each other better while I decide what to do. Oh my god, there's so many options. I can't trust you. This doesn't add up and it isn't worth the risk to take your word over the potential fate of the world. Oh, go back upstairs and get the blade. I can't believe they're keeping you down here like this. I'm getting you out of here. <coughs> I'm okay. Um, I'm gonna get you out of here. Don't make me regret this. No, no, no. Let's, 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 let's be reasonable here. Be the silent hero. <laughs> We're not gonna get the blade yet! Of course I'm locked up down here for a reason. What is it? Tell me. What's your reason? I don't actually know what that reason is, oh. but... Yeah, it does. You just stuff a princess in a basement and throw away the key without there being some sort of an explanation. Right? Mm-hmm. Is she like Fiona? Does she turn into an ogre? I'll have you out of here in a jiffy. <laughs> mm. Her eyes remind me of Pomni. I watched that yesterday. The Digital Circus. It was pretty good. I'd watch the show. Yeah. You have all the explanation you need. <gasps> you should know better than to trust whatever she comes up with. No, oh, shut up, narrator. Um. Now, what are you? What have you been eating or drinking? I don't see what that has to do with anything. Oh. Um, okay. This is the only time this is ever going to happen. But I agree with the princess. I'm just making small talk! That's hardly relevant. What the? <clears throat> okay, but actually, what has she been eating? Yeah. She has to eat, right? Um, what's, what's your name? Oh. Oh, <laughs> that's a weird reaction. She pauses, carefully formulating her words before she responds. You can address me as your royal highness. Or you can Stop. just call me princess if your <laughs> royal highness is too formal. Oh, I don't think you're in the position to like... What? Is princess her name or her Princess! Title? What if it's both? Could you imagine being named Princess Princess? Moon Moon! <laughs> it's like her name is Moon Moon! Oh, uh, so is Princess your name? Yeah, what's going on here? <clears throat> Mario Mario! <laughs> Great! 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 <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna ask, is Princess your name? Oh. Like I said, you can call me Princess if you'd like. Why doesn't she want us to know her name? Okay. 
I'm sorry. I've been down here so long, I guess I've just forgotten. Your name! I must have a name, though. Everyone has a name. What? How do you okay, forget that's you? weird. <laughs> He's the voice of reason now. She hadn't even thought to pick a name for herself. Hopefully, you're starting to see Whoa. that she can't be She's trusted. She's not really a princess. Go back upstairs, get the blade, and slay her before it's too late. Okay. <clears throat> she doesn't... So... Let's see. What are you going to do if I let you out of here? The princess hesitates before responding. Your prince... What's a princess do? You go to tea parties... You... what do you do? She doesn't know. She's been down here too long to have any idea of what she'd do in another life. Why are, why are we the ones like... I have so many questions! She knows what she'd do. She's just searching for princess whatever thinks. answer she thinks you want to hear. She's a princess VTuber? She's gonna start streaming? Are you looking for the truth, or are you looking for the right answer? Because with the dynamic we have going on here, I don't think the specifics of what I do really matter. Oh. Okay. It's not like you'd believe me. Whoa! The audio! Okay. Hmm. Mm, I'm not ready to retrieve the blade yet. I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced yet. Hmm. But anything else? Maybe we just tell her, like... Here, I'm just gonna say we better get to know each other. Yeah, instead of just... I'm not gonna go... I'm gonna be delicate about this. I'm not gonna just gonna tell her I'm here to kill her. Like, you know? Let's, let's just, just get to know each other a little bit. Well, that seems like a pretty good compromise. Yeah. I don't think I could bear being down here that much longer. What? Well, you've been down here long enough to forget your name. So what's, what's like 15 more minutes, right? Leaving her alive is too risky. If you don't deal with her soon, she will find a way out. What? Wait, what? How is but she's been down here for so long? She could have figured out a way before. Her. <laughs> don't think she's in a position to complain. That's what I'm saying. So I'm the only one who liked that <laughs> idea. <laughs> I'm with you, hero. I'm with you. Pomo with Riz. <laughs> one way or another, I'm going to find a way out of here. It would make it easier for both of us if you'd help. The music's gone. But if you don't, I can promise that you'll regret that decision. Oh, oh she's she's a little spooky scary now. <laughs> Why would I regret it, huh? You have to make a choice. Let's hope for all our sakes it's the right one. Um... Lock her in the basement? That would... But then she would find the way out, right? Let's get you out of here. Or I just go and get the blade. I can fix her. Um... I mean, look at her. She's... Look, look at my finger. <laughs> oh, my precious princess. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes, princess. Here, you got that little strand. Let me get that strand of hair out of your eyes. <laughs> um... <clears throat> you're too sick to fix it, you want? Hey, just because I'm sick in body does not mean I'm sick in mind. <laughs> Let's see. Um... Eeny, meeny, miny, mo... Wait. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. My mom said to pick the very best one, and you are it. Oh. You've always been sick in mind. No. No. What are you talking about? <clears throat> You're such a creep. Takes what to know what to go. Don't make me yell at you. <laughs> I don't think I want to slay her for the first ending. Well, actually, I don't know what's going to go on from here. Let's get her out of here. You can't be serious. Thank you. Thank you. You won't regret this, I promise. I think that's this the latest princess. Stop. <laughs> You're making a huge mistake. 
Look at those eyes, she's so bien. No, I think you're doing the right thing. Thanks, hero. You walk up to the chains binding the princess to the wall and give them a tug. Just a little bit of a hug. They're large and heavy, far too solid for you to even imagine trying to break them apart. Mm. I'm guessing you don't have the key? No. Maybe it's somewhere upstairs. Yeah. Doubtful. Whoever locked the princess away down here intended for her to never see the light. The music is a little louder than the... left the key to her chain somewhere in the camp. Hold on. I'm gonna see if I can turn the music down a little bit. Since it kind of gets louder than the, vo the voice, so... Hopefully that helps. Um... I'm going to check upstairs. Maybe the key's still lying around somewhere up there. And if not, maybe I can find something to break you free. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. I'll be here. Good luck. Okay! <laughs> you attempt to make your way out of the basement, but the door at the top of the stairs slams shut. You hear the click of a lock sliding into place. Oh? Is someone else here? Try the door. You try the door. <gasps> it's locked from the outside. Oh no. Wait, how are we gonna get the blade then? Hey, let me out Your of here! And pleas are met with silence. You're here to slay the oh princess, and you won't leave until the task is done. <gasps> Narrator, you locked me in, you bastard! You make your way to the bottom of the stairs. This would have been so much easier if you'd just taken the blade like you were supposed to. Oh my God. She's gonna end the world, God forbid woman do <laughs> Let her be a girl boss. She is live, laugh, love. Destroying the world. Easier for whom? Yeah. Easier for everyone. Look at the mess you're in. Um, I didn't have to be in this mess. Uh, I heard the door slam. They locked you down here too, didn't they? I guess so, yeah. There's a slight panic rising in the princess's voice. Oh no. Is she gonna have to eat me? If I could just get out of these chains, I know we could force our way out of here together. Yeah. She barely hesitates before raising her arm to her mouth, her teeth tearing through her limb with the determination of a trapped wolf. What? Oh my god. That was extreme all of a sudden! As she rips her flesh from her bone, a sound comes from behind you. The clang of bouncing metal. Oh, they threw me the knife! It's the blade from upstairs. You're not sure how it made its way down here, but if there's a time to strike, it's now. Um. Or we could use it to free her. We just cut off her hand? Kind of with the narrator on this one now, right? You won't like what happens if you do that. Oh my god. This is the ultimate decision. Save the princess or slay the princess? Slay queen. Um... Oh, I think we should save her. <laughs> I can save her. Look, she'll have no hand. She'll be... What would she do with no hand, right? Uh, like I said, I don't really want to slay her in the first ending. <laughs> no hand holding. Oh, true. True. <clears throat> she needs us if she's missing a hand. True. <laughs> Let's save the princess! This is literally AGDQ. Kill the animals, save the animals. Save the princess! <sighs> Fine. Against oh, your God. better judgment, Please don't you place look. the blade it's against kind of the ragged, self-inflicted wound on the princess's arm, just above the unyielding chain binding her to this place. Look at her mouth, look at her eyes, they're so huge! Don't look at that part. Look at Cut into her flesh. Oh my God. The blade is sharp, and it takes little effort to crack through the bone. Oh my god. This is so... <laughs> Her eyes are so crazy. Her <gasps> limb falls to the ground, and the heavy chains follow suit. It's so funny because, like, games nowadays are so graphic. Like, you'll have people, like, smashing in zombies' heads, and 
like ripping apart arms, but this feels so much more graphic than anything that I've played. Like, oh, I have a bloody hand now. <laughs> I just noticed. She didn't so much as utter a sound through the whole ordeal. No, she didn't. She smiles softly <laughs> as her gaze meets yours, blood yeah! from her wounded arm dripping rhythmically to the ground. Yeah, that's my girl! You did it! How is she still smiling after everything? It's like she isn't even bothered by what just happened. Thank you. Now let's get out of here. So true. High five, girl. Oh, wait. Give me ten! Oh. <laughs> Approach the locked door. No, we won't have any of that. The stakes are <gasps> too high. You can't just let her escape into the world. No. I can't just let her escape into the world. Narrator, you're not going to stand in my way. <gasps> As the princess approaches the bottom stair, your body steps forward and raises the blade. No! Wait, this isn't fair. You can't just do that. No, not the mind control! Watch me. <gasps> What are you doing? Look at those eyes, you guys. Ooh-goo. Ooh-goo. <laughs> oh, whoa! Oh, warn her. Stop that. Stop that. <laughs> Ooh-goo. <laughs> Something's come over you, hasn't it? You, you know you don't have to do this, right? Are we a goblin? I didn't realize that the hand... Like, I noticed that too. Like, I thought that ha the hand was... Like, the cursor hand was, like, kind of monster-looking. But I just thought it was an aesthetic choice. We're kind of a monster ourselves. Your body <laughs> lunges forward, the blade held low, ready to sink into her heart. Oh, no! But the princess dodges. Stumbling Ooh. back against the wall before the blade has a chance to connect. Oh, she's 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 nimble, even though she's been locked up for so long. How is that possible? Stop it! Stop trying to resist me. I'm trying to get you out of here alive. Sorry that the voices are kind of low. Yeah, I'm gonna try again. The music down just a little. I'll turn it up a little, like that. Maybe that's better. Okay, <gasps> resist. Resist! Uh, Ma'am, I'm sorry you have stage four anime. <laughs> Let me look at those eyes! The blade! Move the blade! No! As your body remains frozen in stubborn resistance, the princess takes a cautious step forward. No, princess, don't come near me! I'm a monster! I'm a monster! We both know this isn't you. Yeah. She nervously reaches towards you and takes the blade from your infuriatingly rigid hands. <laughs> what are you doing? She seems so nice now and so normal, even though she just gnawed off her hand but earlier. It was out of desperation. It's like a Saw games, you know? If you have to do it, you gotta do it. I'm sorry. I'll try to be quick. Wait, what do you... Wait, what do you mean? She <gasps> plunges it into your chest, tearing through flesh and sinew. It is agony. Um! But you aren't dead yet. Princess! Oh no, I'm so sorry. Did you do it on purpose? I mean, on accident? Did you trip? What? Stay strong. We can tough it out until it's done. For her sake. For her sake? <laughs> Don't you start pretending that dying a painful death is some sort of heroic gesture. The two of you have literally doomed everyone. She's still down here, isn't she? Use your simp powers. Whatever. She sinks the blade into your chest again and again and again, and you feel every inch of burning pain that slices its way into your body. Yes, slay me! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! She kind of looks like she's uh, smiling a little bit. She doesn't know how to use a knife, does she? She's a princess! Apparently not. Though it doesn't matter how sloppy her knife work is, does it? 
A stab wound is still a stab wound. <laughs> it won't be long before you bleed out. Sorry to disappoint you, narrator. Oh! I'm so sorry! With one last thrust of the knife, your legs give out beneath you. You collapse to the floor, is she gonna eat your me blood now? pooling around you, your limbs unresponsive. Stab wounds. <laughs> the princess stares down at your ruined chest as tears carve rivulets of pink down her blood-spattered <clears throat> cheeks. But why'd you do it, princess? It can't just end like this, right? No! Oh, that's rich coming from you. <laughs> as much as I'd prefer for things to have gone differently, I can't deny the reality of what's happened. The two of you made your choice. It's over. It's over. Everything goes dark. <gasps> and you die. At least I- look! This is my final- my final image. The princess crying over me. With her big ooh, ooh eyes. Yes! She's in love with me! Probably. Oh, chapter two! Wait. You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. The damsel. <laughs> um, okay, no. But I died, what am I doing here? Oh, you bastard. <laughs> Turn around and leave. What if I just get out of here? Are we running away? What are you doing? We have to save her! Voice of the smitten! Seriously? You're just going to turn around and leave? Um... Do you even know where you're going? No, doesn't matter. I don't know even know how I got here! <laughs> oh my goodness. I'll slay the princess. Ugh! Go to the cabin and I'll talk to the princess. Maybe I'll slay her, maybe I won't. I guess I'll see. <laughs> yes, I definitely know where I'm going. The ca the only thing that matters is where I'm not going. The cabin. I am not going to the cabin. Pretty okay with the end of the world with the world ending. I relish the coming of a new dawn beyond our own. Gonna walk in the opposite direction now. Our <laughs> guy is so sassy. <laughs> Our guy is so sassy! Um, let's see. Uh, let's see this. Fine. Huh. I suppose you just <clears throat> quietly continue down the path away from the cabin. Yeah, it's a lovely woods. That's strange. Oh. It looks like this path <gasps> also leads to the cabin. How convenient. Everything's back on track again. Maybe the world can still be saved after all. This narrator is so dirty. You dirty, dirty boy, you narrator. Oh, okay, I'm going into the cabin. Sheesh. Turn around again and leave again. You're yeah. really keen on wasting everyone's time, aren't you? It's remarkably selfish, if you ask me. I've already outlined the stakes of the situation. If you don't do your job, everyone dies. Like, dies, dies. Forever. Mm-hmm. Well, I died but already fine. once. You turn around and... Trek back down the path you came. Yep. Except I'm going a different Wait, way. Oh, something isn't right. Can you still hear me? You're supposed to wind up back at the cabin again. But everything is getting. Oh, narrator! Narrator! Oh, he's finally gone. Oh, what's going on? Oh, where are we? Whoa, whoa, what's happening? My, my screen, my screen. Oh. I'm getting. Oh, I I'm don't turning like into a tree. There's not a single damsel in sight. <laughs> oh, God. Wait, Simp. I'm turning into a tree. The world around you is unwound. Its physical matter replaced by a textured nothingness. It is quiet. There is. There is a distant rumbling, a sound of many sounds. Undulations pulse louder as something other comes close. <laughs> Feelers probe across the fabric of reality. Extremities find your consciousness and wrap themselves around it. You are no longer alone. What is going on? 
resistance. Fingers drag claws across the glass surface of your soul. Frustration. This vessel is full of you. I need something empty I can crawl inside of. I need something shaped like me. Embrace the thoughts constricting you. Ha. I don't know what I want to do. <clears throat> shaped like a friend. <laughs> to end so quickly. It's not. Oh. 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 <laughs> well, it the ended so quickly. <laughs> in the woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. Well? And in the basement of that cabin <clears throat> is a princess. We're back to this one. You're here to slay her. I got some achievements, if you don't, but I didn't get to read them. It will be the end of the world. One was like called denial or something. Not the river. Um, well, now we're back at chapter one. So, should we go and kill her this time? There's so many options. I'd want to get to chapter two, though. <laughs> Funny. I I'm, I'm a natural comedian. <laughs> <clears throat> Denial. You ruined the best ending. This is my first time playing the game, so I won't know what's going to happen. <laughs> If I make a choice, sorry that I ruined something that I have no no way of knowing what will happen. <laughs> uh, save her again, see what happens in chapter two. Yeah, let's try that. Let's just uh, silently continue the cabin. We'll just keep going. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. But maybe I'll like skip all this stuff, so... <clears throat> Go inside! <clears throat> the interior of How the could you not see the future, VTuber? I know! The they haven't programmed me into that the yet. Floor and walls they haven't programmed that function in my brain dust. yet. It's the only furniture of note lack is a plain gosh. wooden table. They're slacking, Perched honestly. On that <laughs> is a pristine blade. Um, the blade just... is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Hmm. Hmm. Enter. Okay, we're gonna basically do the same stuff as before. I'm just gonna skip all of it. Voice. So Hello. sorry. This hypnotizing. Actually, I want to talk to her this time. Hi. Don't be a stranger. It's been so long since I've had any visitors. Please, come downstairs. Oh, she sounds so nice when I say hello. Maybe she'll be a little more friendly towards you me. Walk down the stairs <laughs> and lock eyes with the princess. Hi. There's a heavy chain around her wrist. <clears throat> binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's beautiful. She's beautiful. I am begging you. Okay, uh, let's examine the change. Yeah, let, actually, let's just get her Only out immediately. This more difficult. <laughs> Why even? Why even waste time? Let's just get her out. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I love you. Oh wait, I don't You're even know you. Why did I say that? <laughs> You're doing the right thing. <laughs> you walk up to the chains binding the princess to the wall and give them a tug. They're large and heavy, far too solid for you to even imagine trying to break them apart. Okay. I'm <clears throat> guessing you don't have the key? No. Um, Maybe it's somewhere upstairs. Yeah, somewhere upstairs. Let's see. Uh, do you have any other ideas? Let's ask her. Maybe there's some way to break the chains? Oh, let's see. Or if that doesn't work, I guess we can always cut me out of them. Oh. She literally suggests that herself. She offers the suggestion with almost complete nonchalance. She's so desperate to get out. Her eyes are massive, if I know, If we were right? stuck down here long enough, I'm sure we'd be nonchalant about cutting our way out if it meant we could finally See, this guy is just as Delulu as me. That's how I justified it earlier. I was like, oh yeah, she's just desperate. She just wants to get down out of here because she's been down here you for so long. You to make your way out of the basement, <laughs> but the door at the top of the stairs slams shut. Oh, okay. You hear the click of a... Is someone else here? Uh... <clears throat> okay, uh... Your we'll... shout. I'll re... You try to... Okay, there we go. You make your way to the bottom of the stairs, 
This would have been easier for her, easier for everyone. All right. I heard the door slam. I think she's gonna start biting her hand off too, again. So, a um, warning again. <laughs> How could you do that, poem? I Can't believe you didn't get that ending. P.S. Never played this game before. <laughs> So sorry. If I could just get out of these chains, I know we could force our way out of here together. Oh, ah, sorry. It's raising oh my gosh. <sighs> okay, there we go. It's gone. Won't... Uh, save the princess. Oh, fine. Against oh, your don't look. The blade is oh, sharp, don't look. It takes... Her oh. limb falls to the ground. There's her hand. She okay. did know. Okay. She smiles <laughs> softly as her gaze meets yours. Blood from How her wounded hungry. arm dripping with... <laughs> How is she still smiling? Thank you. Now let's get out of here. Yeah. Wait, do you think she's been eating her toes? We've asked what she was eating. Maybe she's been eating her toes this whole time. How would she no, be able to stand up then? We won't have any of that. The stakes are too high. You can't just let her escape into the world. No. Yeah, we should count her toes. I can't just let her escape into the world. Shut up, narrator. As the princess approaches the bottom stair, your body steps forward and raises. I just want to get to chapter two, Wait, so sorry, watch guys. Me. La la la. Oh! <gasps> um! What? You can still press it, can't you? No! Click, 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 click. I'm pressing it a lot of times. I'm seeing if maybe it'll light up. Maybe? Light up. When I'm with you, everything shines. Oh. La, la, light me up, la, 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 light me up. Oh, shit. Press it more. Examine toes. They didn't give me the option. I just realized I should be like maybe saving and stuff, shouldn't I? <laughs> so we can like uh, load when we're making some decisions. Um, <clears throat> I have to erase the save file. No way. Use my auto clicker on it. It's not working. I guess we have to slay the princess. Oh. Well. Here we go. Okay. There's no going back now. I'm with you to the end. You bring <gasps> the blade down to strike at Maybe the princess's heart. Maybe graphic warning, I have no idea. Oh. She's fast. <gasps> she ducks to the floor, your blade narrowly grazing her backside. Oh my god. Slaying her won't be easy now that she's free. Oh. We could have gotten out of here together. Were you just lying to me this whole time? Oh, her voice is so scary. No, I'm trying. I don't know what's come over you. But if I have to kill you, then I'll kill you. Do you think I need both of my arms to do that? Oh, I, I think it's a little... It would help. She <laughs> pounces on you with the same <laughs> animal ferocity she used to tear through her arm. Oh my god, why are there... Why are there squelching sounds? But you have a weapon. You raise the blade, yeah! digging it under her ribs, aiming directly for the heart. Look at her teeth. It's not enough to stop her. You feel her claws in your throat, then her oh. teeth... Somehow sharp enough to pull apart your flesh and sin you with ease. Well, you guys, I think we're going to end up dying anyway. <coughs> I think we're going to end up dying anyway. to the floor, your body unresponsive as your blood pools on the ground beneath you. She stares down at your ravaged form. Awesome. Eyes shining in the darkness. <gasps> dress stained in red as her blood and yours both seep into the fabric. Ew. If we're lucky, the wound you managed to inflict will be enough to at least delay her escape from this place. If we're very lucky, it will kill her before she can reach the outside world. Why, if she gets outside, it won't work? Like, it she... can't just end like this, right? Oh, here it is. As much as I'd prefer for things to have gone <laughs> differently, I can't deny the reality of what's happened. This is pretty romantic. I'm sorry. 
but it's over. Actually, at the beginning of the game, like before the the main menu, it said that this was a love story. So, you know. Everything oh. goes dark, and you die. I'm dead! Chapter 2, the... Wait, was it called The Witch before? You're on a path in the woods. And at was the it end called of that The Witch before? Is a cabin. No, it wasn't. And in the basement wasn't. of that cabin yeah. is a princess. What's going on? You're here to <clears throat> slay her. If you don't, it will be It was be Damsel. The end yeah, that's right. World. That's right. Um. But I already slew the princess. Sure, she killed me, but I definitely got her. Yeah, let's. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh. I can assure you that you didn't slay her and that she didn't kill you. People don't just spring back to life after dying, and the two of us are meeting for the very first time. But why is it the witch now? If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. <gasps> but the hero remembers? Brilliant. We need to keep our cards close no, to our No, we chest lost now. the I'm simp! Sure we can trust him. We need to keep our cards closer. I'm not sure we can trust him. Yeah. You know I can hear you, right? <laughs> It's going to be a lot harder than you think to keep secrets from me. Did I say I'm not sure we can trust him? <laughs> Slip of the tongue. Bit of the old brain fog. I meant to say that we should probably head over to the cabin and slay that princess. Mm. We already know we can't trust her, so let's get on with the show. Uh, let's assume I'm telling the truth and all this really did happen. Why should I listen to you? Why should I bother doing anything? Yeah. Those are two very different questions, but fine. Can love bloom I'll even in killer cabin basement. <laughs> You? Yeah. Let's say for a moment that this really is the second time you've met me, or, or at least a version of me. Uh-huh. You died last time, which probably only happened because you didn't listen to me. Oh, sure. We were just weighing our options in a morally ambiguous situation. Is it the simp in the corner? Options. Hey! Hey! No! Shut! Shut up, you! <laughs> Don't you know that your actions have consequences? <laughs> Can if you failed to slay the princess, which you apparently did. So great, congratulations. You've been given another chance to actually do this right. Okay. And I believe oh, your sorry. other question was something along the lines of, oh, what's the point of doing anything? <laughs> what's You're asking the point that, of doing it sounds anything? to me like you're making the rather dangerous assumption that your actions last time around didn't have any consequences. What do you mean? Of course there weren't any consequences. We were killed by the princess, and now everyone's right back where they started. Yeah. That sounds pretty consequence-free to me. Um... Yes, but in this purely hypothetical <laughs> scenario, that begs the question of how you got back here. Did time simply rewind itself, or were you instead transported to a different world entirely? Oh, This game, uh, the, the voice actors probably had to record so much for this it's game. it's the latter... What do you think happened after you died? Wait, did their world end? Do you think the people there lived happily ever after? Or do you think that the princess, left unhindered, brought about the end to everyone and everything, just like I told you she would? Oh, maybe. That's a very good point. This princess character seems like a lot of trouble. And if you think about it, actually slaying I just ate a her cough drop. breaks us out of this cycle, right? We don't want to be stuck here forever, do we? Mmm, hey, hey, why are you suddenly taking a sign? You're laying it on a little thick, aren't you? Laying it on a little thick? What are you talking <laughs> about? I'm sharing my honest opinions. Oh my god, the inner voices are fighting. The girls are fighting. That is that almost everyone seems to be on the same page. So whenever you're ready, so stop dawdling, get to the cabin, and save the world. Let's talk about this princess. Just be quick about it. Um, she killed me by ripping me to pieces? Don't get me wrong, I hated it. But how can someone like that end the world? <laughs> to quote you from last time around, she's just a princess. Why was she able to rip me apart with her bare hands? Yeah. Who locked her in that basement? What is... Yeah, yeah, I want to know more about the world. People locked her in that basement, and I told you what this place is. It's a path in the woods. Don't overcomplicate things. Uh, why are you dodging the co the question, narrator? 
I want to I want the world building. <laughs> Let's ask. Uh, if people locked her away, why couldn't they slay her? Yeah. Look, I'm not supposed to say this, but it's because you're special. I'm special. You're the only person capable of doing this. Call it a prophecy, if that helps. But it's just the way things are. Mm. Oh, I didn't know we were special. We're special? Of course you're special. Why else would you be here? Oh my gosh, I'm special, you guys. Good point. That really explains almost everything. I, I grew up taking the... The, 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 like, advanced classes. Now I'm special. They're finally realizing my potential. I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> oh, shut up, voice of the hero. <laughs> you know, you're right. But it explains almost everything. <laughs> Thank you for playing one of my favorite games of the year. I hope you're enjoying it. Uh, and remember to save and take that lovely blade. Oh, thank you, Vin TJ. Thank you. Uh, you know what? I will save. Because I haven't saved at all <laughs> yet. I feel very... I still feel very weird about saving in this game. Only because I don't quite exactly understand the flow of it yet. And I don't even know if I will ever understand the flow of it. But <laughs> we'll... Uh, uh, I'll do my best. Sorry, so sorry if I don't save. It's because I'm just kind of going with the flow at the moment. <laughs> don't worry about it too much, yeah. Mm. You'll get the hang of it? Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. You're being cagey. What? Yeah, 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 yeah. I've told you everything you need to know. Going into more detail will just overcomplicate an otherwise very simple situation and make your job more difficult. Well, you ne I need the context of why I got a killer. If you want us to stand a chance against her, we need to be armed with information. Thank you, voice. This what hero is guy really is capable? so sensible. How are we supposed to stop her? Yes, yes, yes. Not to sound like a broken record, but the less you know about her, the better things will go <clears throat> for all of us. I know it sounds like I'm hiding something, but you're just going to have to take me at my word. Sounds like it. You are hiding something. I don't think either of you really need to press the man on this. He wants us to slay the princess, so why would he have anything to hide? He seems like a nice guy to me. Sus. So sus. Sus. I appreciate the vote of confidence, but you should really stop wasting time chatting amongst yourselves in the woods. <laughs> so if we could move this along... Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Let's... Let's ask this one. This one I've been wanting to ask this whole she time. She is just a princess. Whatever you think happened to you last time, just get it out of your head before you get to the cabin, and you'll be fine. Okay. Um, that... Uh... How can I make sure... Yeah. Like I said, if she killed you, it was probably because you didn't listen to me. Don't talk to her, don't trust her, just go in, do your job, and save the world. I think not saving for a first playthrough on this work of art is the best way to experience this game. Thanks, Demovend! Yeah, so far this is so fascinating. <laughs> That's all. Great. Now, if you don't mind, the whole world is waiting with bated breath for you to save it from ruin. Okay. Let's proceed. A warning before you go any further. Uh, yeah, yes. She will lie. Oh. She will cheat. <gasps> and she will do everything yeah, in her power to cheat. stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. Don't believe Gondor's Don't lies! Worry. I think we've taken that lesson to heart at this point. You can trust us to get the job done. Oh, shut up. Shut up. You're not me. I forgive her already. <laughs> not, not a cheater! The interior Whoa. of the cabin is a mess of twisted roots, the walls a chaotic weave of knotted wood that, almost as if by accident, just happened to resemble a room. The Whoa. floor is damp and earthy, and the only furniture of note this is a like slab of mud in the shape of a shelf, with a pristine blade perched on its edge. This looks just like my treehouse! What? That's crazy! Is she also a fairy? No way! <laughs> No way! The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Oh, are you a princess? Maybe. <laughs> uh, I want to. I'm curious about the mirror. <clears throat> this, this cat, this whole cabin is different than last time. Very different. 
maybe that's because you haven't actually been here. I hope this means you'll finally drop that ridiculous past life nonsense. Past you life died, nonsense. And you certainly haven't been killed by the princess. Stop gaslighting me, narrator. So focus up. A lot's riding on this. Don't tell the narrator you're a princess. True! So true. I'm gonna check the mirror. You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. What? What are you talking about? This isn't a wall. It's a mirror. Or at least it'll be a mirror once we wipe off that layer of grime. Oh, why does he only see a wall? You reach forward and rub your hand against the cabin <laughs> wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look. Oh, it's it's gone. What? Um Are we so then? <laughs> Does really or the hand really does look like her hand, right? Um, uh, are we okay? Hmm. What if that mirror was like a glimpse into the other worlds, you know? Or or was it a trap left by the witch? Mm. I'm sorry, Pomu, but no! <clears throat> this time, I think I'm gonna take the blade. You take the blade from the shelf. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Oh, it's in my hand now. So cute. Well, if we're grabbing a weapon, we should probably keep it hidden behind our backs. Mm. She doesn't have to know we have it. True. That's not actually a bad idea. Enter the basement. Here we go, witchy. The door to the basement Ooh. creaks open, revealing a staircase dug into the muddy earth below. The ceiling is thick with roots that hang like locks of tangled hair. Wow. The weak starlight from the cabin windows behind you <laughs> can barely penetrate the gloom here, only illuminating the edges of an opening below. This cough drop is helping so much. Oh my goodness. Like some kind of massive but if you hear me taking... waiting to swallow okay. you up Sorry. into the earth. I don't mean to talk over him. If you hear me taking like really deep breaths, it's me trying to get that menthol in my system. <laughs> I'll be like... <sighs> Get it up my nose and stuff. <coughs> yeah, okay. The air smells of dirt <sighs> and copper. It's thick and wet, as if your lungs are being coated girl. in mud. Yeah, with each it is the one breath. Ayami sent to give me. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. Speaking of Ayami sensei, oh my gosh, I feel like the biggest dummy ever today. So I actually got a package of um, some Ayami doujin that I ordered of um, that she did. And like one of them was a uh, blue archive book. And I was looking through it and I was just like, oh my gosh, so cute. And there's one character in blue archive that like, I've always am just like, oh my gosh, this looks like so much like a character that Ayami sensei, like it looks so much like her art. It looks so much like her art. And for some reason I never looked up that character. And then in the book was that character. And I was like, oh my God. She drew the character that I think looks like her art. That's so funny. And I was like, I should look up who draw, who drew that character. <laughs> it was her. <laughs> I feel so stupid. I feel, was it a family friendly book? Uh, yeah, yeah. Totally. <clears throat> but I feel so dumb. Because I feel like I looked up the art before. The, or the artist's name. And maybe in my mind I thought it said something different. I don't know because I always just, just like, gosh, this art looks so much like Ayami Sensei's. But it's not her. <laughs> I found out it's her. Feel better soon, Big P. Kisses. Oh my god, dust go. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you! <clears throat> Who's the character? I'll be honest. I, the character is probably Shimiko, right? Uh, I don't remember her name. And I don't... I don't have the doujin in here. I, I don't know where I put it. I think I already... I don't know where I put it. But yeah. It is Shimiko? Oh, hi, Tayui! <laughs> Hello! That's 
concert. Yeah, it's so I was so shocked. Sorry for this little tangent, this little side story. But it literally happened earlier, and I was like, I was just like, oh my gosh, she drew the character that looks so much like the character that looks like her art style. That's so funny. It is her. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> It is her! I'm so stupid. But this whole time, I've been calling her the girl that looks like Ayami Sensei drew her. <laughs> so it's good to know, it's validating to know that I was right. <laughs> it's validating to know I was right. Her voice <clears throat> skitters up from below. Skitters? Something nasty finds itself on my stairs. Ooh. Come on down. Don't be scared. I probably won't bite. Oh, how how am I gonna kill this? What? Uh, I'm not nasty. <laughs> Hello. I recognize that voice as easily as I recognized your nervous little footsteps coming up the path. I know who you are, and I remember what you've done. <gasps> See? She knows us. Is this enough for you to believe what we've been saying? Yeah, right? Maybe, but you shouldn't let that cloud your judgement. She's just a princess. As long as you remember that and remain focused, slaying her will be easy. I wonder if it changed because we... So it changed because we tried to kill her. Now she's angry at us, so she's the witch. But when she killed us last time, while well, we tried to resist it, that's why she was the damsel. Ah, ah, ah. I see, I see, I see. Ah. She seems friendly enough. Maybe we can talk our way out of this whole situation. So the way that we kill her or don't kill her or however influences the next chapter. Interesting. Yes, you are nasty. That's a big part of why we love you. Well, I took a shower last night. <sighs> you can't. Unless you slay her right away, she's going to break free and end the world. There's no reasoning with what she is. Look, I'm just throwing ideas out there. I like to think out loud. <laughs> I'm the kind of guy who likes a discussion. Don't we want to hear what everyone has to say before making any big decisions? Okay, shut up. Do you want to hear what everyone has to say? Or do you just want to hear yourself talk? Ooh, wait. Okay, I have a question. What exactly is an opportunist? <laughs> is it someone that, like, t takes any opportunity? Like, <laughs> someone who's self interested. Oh! It's in the word bowl mode, but like, it, like, what is the opportunity? Wait, hold on. Someone who takes any chance to get ahead, suck up. Oh, so he takes any opportunity to. Okay, so they're benefiting themselves. See, I didn't know. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we'll switch sides for better outcome. Oh, so that's why when I was like. Oh my gosh, he switched so easily to the narrator side. People are like, well, he's an opportunist. Okay, I didn't know what it meant. Sorry. <laughs> I learned now. I learned that opportunists are kind of scummy. <laughs> Maybe other people learn too, so... You know what? It's good that I asked. Maybe, maybe we have some people who are, um, who are learning English and didn't know either. In this context, he's a backstabbing, no good liar. Yeah! <clears throat> okay. You need to stop lingering. Your task is to slay the princess, not endlessly debate about what to do with the princess. <laughs> I don't know why, what I, what I want to do with the princess. Fine, fine. <laughs> You're the boss. Me and crab game. I'm an equal. I'm a. I, I will not hurt somebody if they don't hurt me. <laughs> Thank you. Whoa! You descend the basement steps, entering the dark room below. Look at her. She's a little feral. <laughs> you can just make out the shape of the princess in the gloom. She's huddled against the far wall, her eyes bright and glaring from amid the thick roots. <laughs> Sorry. And there you are, 
One hand tucked away behind your back, gripping that sharp, sharp blade, no doubt. Uh-uh. That's not fair. Look at her. How would she know that? <laughs> Look at her mouth. I can do that, too. Yes. <laughs> yes, I might have the blade behind my back, what of it. So, we've dropped the pretenses. Good. Mm. She's acting like she already knows you. I guess what you said back in the woods really was true. Oh, why would I lie, narrator? Why would I lie? That's pretty sharp. How'd you figure that one out? <laughs> Call it deductive reasoning. Oh, deductive. Well, you seem to be great at it. The girls are fighting? So, you really don't remember us, do you? No, I don't. But you and the princess clearly have a shared reality, even if I'm not a part of it. I won't waste time fighting you on something that's clearly true. Interesting. You fought us on it back in the woods. That was when the only perspectives we had were yours and mine. Um, why didn't you believe me? I'm just glad we could put all this <coughs> behind us. <coughs> Sorry. Is it all behind us? Okay. Just focus on the task at hand. I don't care if you've been here before, and I don't care if you think you'll go somewhere else after this. My world is on the line right now. This girl so just standing here while we're like take this seriously talking to ourselves her. in our head. Let's chatter up a bit first. Chatter Maybe up. We can find a middle ground where everyone's happy. So true. Don't talk to her. You're just going to make things more difficult than they have to be. Well, I seem to remember you having a tongue. <gasps> well, I do! Mm. <laughs> I have a tongue! Mm. <laughs> I have one! <clears throat> uh, don't worry, the blade isn't for you. Or not for killing you. We've got to get you out somehow, right? I get the sense that you're not happy with me. <laughs> Look, I know, I know, things got messy last time. But I think there's something bigger that, than both of us at work. We should team up. Yeah. I think that's a good idea. We should team up and figure out what's going on. Because if something is having us travel through these universes, whatever is going on, to, to, to destroy her? What if that force is wanting just to take over each universe? <clears throat> Why do I get the nagging feeling you're going to stab me in the back if I help you out of here? <laughs> Don't want to hurt you, but clearly there's some broken trust. Take this as a gesture of my goodwill and just give her the blade! I don't trust you. Not enough to free you. Definitely not enough to get close to you. I'm leaving. Bye! <laughs> I like to be straightforward with my intentions. I didn't care for how you treated me last time, and I think you might be a danger to the world. So I'm going to attack you now. Slay the princess! Oh my gosh. No, no, I think we should team up. I think we should team up. I suppose you didn't come into my hovel of your own accord, did you? All right. I suppose I could... team up. I need a way out after all. And unfortunately, you're the only one I have. Team up? Yeah, yeah. Team up, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Seems to me like she's offering a mutually beneficial arrangement. We should take it. Yeah! Shut up, wait, I don't want to agree with you. Do you know what the word mutually <laughs> means? Because it sounds to me like Try to give her the blade? an arrangement that benefits her and her alone. I think maybe we should. Um... Let's... Let's, yeah, this is a gesture. We're gonna team up. Here's a gesture of my goodwill. My blade. You... You can't be serious. <laughs> Uh, now, hold on. We should put this to a vote. Why is it so the fun to... The is one of our most valuable assets. We can't just give it to her. What if she uses it to kill us? I vote no. No. Why is it so fun to make narrators in these types of games so flustered? <laughs> it's always so fun to piss off the narrator, you know? As do I. I vote... I, uh... Abstain? Hey, don't be a coward. You abstain? 
She's going to kill us if we give it to her. They always act so know it all. I think that's the, that's it, right? They always act like, oh, I'm above you because I know what's going on. Just listen to what I say and don't question it. No. Shut up, narrator. Ah, uh, this isn't a democracy. You're going to get everyone killed. You know that, right? But of course you do. He tossed the blade at the princess's feet. She eyes it with suspicion before kneeling down to pick it up. Yeah. Does she have a I wouldn't have done that. Why did you? Because we're a team. You hear a clanging of metal against the dirt floor. <gasps> Chains fall from the princess's wrist. Wait, how did she do that? She could have gotten out of those the whole time. That sneaky little... <laughs> now she's going to trust us. Ah. A woman after my own heart. It's a shame we just gave her a weapon because if I were her... I'd use it on us right now. No, no, no. We're we're good now. Luckily for us, you're not her. Oh, we sure think alike, though. I can promise you that. Whatever you say next, you better make it count. Okay, okay. She creeps <gasps> forward, <laughs> taking one cautious step at a time until you and she are face to face. Oh, my God. Is she going to kiss me? <gasps> oh, she's... What do you think happens now? Um... So no head? Oh, uh, you're beautiful. <laughs> um, uh, <clears throat> uh, that's up to you. That's why I gave you the blade. I chose last time and I regret it. So now it's your time to choose. Okay, we're both scared and we're both hurting. Uh, if one of us doesn't make a change, we'll probably kill each other forever. Do you want that? I don't. We can be better than this. You're beautiful. I want to save you. And this feels like the only way to do it. <clears throat> if you're like someone I know, you're probably going to kill me. Remain silent. Simp? Go full simp. You're beautiful. She grew back, <gasps> really caught off guard by the nonsense you just said <laughs> She's so cute. Yes. <laughs> She's so cute! I thought it was nice. I thought it was nice, yeah! <laughs> Whether it's nice depends on if we meant it. We didn't mean it. Did we? Why wouldn't I mean that? I like her eyebrows. She's got them chunky, the if small lying, chunky eyebrows. We'd so all cute. know. But unfortunately, you weren't lying. <laughs> what? What do you mean by that? What kind of game are you playing? The game of love, baby girl, this is a love story. The look of surprise that momentarily softened her features vanishes as she steals her nerves. We did, man. And then she buries the blade in your heart. Thank you, queen. What? No. No, come on, that's not right. Oh. Uh. I told you. I told you this is what she was going to do. Glee dances oh. across her face as you fall to the ground. Oh, um, not even a backstab. S so, <laughs> I did it. I got you. You, you. Oh no. The princess seems to tremble. Her smile fading quickly, replaced <gasps> with concern. No, you do her love me. Eyes brim with yes. Uh... <clears throat> Why? Why did you let me do this? Because... But you don't have the strength to respond. <gasps> nor do you have the time. Wait, she's going to remember this next time though, right? This is good, this is good. Probably. Everything goes dark, and you die. This is good. Do we get the damsel now? Oh! Oh, the thorn! Hand your power to a... Hand your power to a suspicious character was the achievement. You're on a path in the woods. I can't believe Chapter three, she actually baby. stabbed us. <laughs> I told you not to give her the blade. I told oh, you. Oh no, the opportunist is still us. here. I voted against it. Save? Yeah, let's save it. Yeah, we know. You already got your I told you so. I thought we were so. bleeding out. I can stop being smug now. I just got murdered <laughs> by a beautiful witch. 
Just got here from meetings, and I am so lost. Hello, Star oh, Creator! Hi, dog! Given your recent track record in re rising women in games, I'm waiting for one of these princesses to turn out to be your sister's dog. <laughs> We all love an enemies to lovers love story. So true. I just wanted to make sure that everyone here knows that I was and am on the right side of that argument. Oh, you're far from being oh, on the right side Olga. of anything. You're fixated on the, the past. Whereas what you should be is fixated on the future. The future, baby. <laughs> oh, oh, a visionary. I like it. Tell me more. The simp is back! Gladly, my dear fellow. <laughs> By cruelly turning on the princess in her moment of vulnerability, we made ourselves an enemy. Wait, but what? by mastering our fear and insecurity and handing over our power, we've begun a journey to something so much deeper. <laughs> I like journeys. Traveling is a bit of a passion of mine. <laughs> it makes me so relatable. You're collecting now, all the voices in your head. To? I know, I don't even need to think anymore. They do it for me. Well, if we're lucky, it's a journey to love. <gasps> to love, baby! Oh my god! She hates us. Oh, no she doesn't. Does she? She hesitated before stabbing us to death. <clears throat> there might just be a kernel of affection in that angry, angry heart. To love! As ridiculous as this guy is, maybe he has a point. I don't know if I necessarily buy into his whole love journey thing, but... The narrator is just silent. Maybe she won't be as keen to betray us this time. We've already proven to her that we can change. Oh. So maybe she'll realise that things don't have to end in violence. True, true, true. You know, maybe you're right. In which case, I suppose the only thing to do is to get back to the cabin and give it another try. Yeah! Give what another try, exactly? You are aware I've been listening to you, right? Shut up, narrator. You're 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 too you're insignificant in this now. It makes no difference if we conspire in the shadows or bear our intentions with open hearts. We are breaking your cruel cycle and whisking her away to freedom. Freedom. Oh, are you now? Great. So you've obviously been here before, since you apparently died at least once. Yes. Twice, actually. <laughs> sure. Twice. Oh, he's believing us now, though. Then I'll spare you the little introduction I had planned. <laughs> you already know about the princess, and clearly you already know that she's dangerous. Sergeant Bobby, so don't muck this up. You. It's bad enough that this isn't your first time through. <laughs> yes. Um, let's see. We're even now. I'm sure she understands that. But we can see what she has. You know what? I feel better about... Having been killed by her the first time, going in the second time when she's a feral, feral cat monster, I liked being murdered by that. But then at the same time, we got to riz her a little, and then she starts to fall in love with us. It's perfect. This is actually the perfect path. <clears throat> Since we can't play Disco Elysium. I don't know if we can. I think we. I don't know if we can or not. I don't actually don't know. I thought some people played it before. This is the closest thing we can get to schizophrenic detective simulator in poverty. <laughs> I'm loving every second. <laughs> Glad you're enjoying the game, though. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, Pomo into toxic relationships. Hey, red is my favorite color. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Ah, oh, I love it when they wave those big old red flags around. <laughs> I'm not Raymu. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> let's see. We can see what she has to say for herself when we get into the cabin. I hope you don't think I'm planning on freeing her after she stabbed. No, 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 no. That is, that is a chump way of thinking. Screw the cabin. What happens if we just leave? No, no, no. You sure to seem to be taking the whole looping thing in stride. I love looping things. I don't know what it is. I love ReZero. I loved Outer Wilds. Looping games are so fun, aren't they? <laughs> no matter what happens next, it seems we are like all our answers are in the cabin. Let's get let's see this through. Uh <clears throat> Yeah, this place is different. Wonderful. 
the woods themselves are changing, then that's all the more Steins reason to yeah, exactly. this seriously. <laughs> it would mean your grip on things is slipping, which in turn likely means her influence is spreading. I love time loops. Someone's in the know. <sighs> I've already said too much. The more information you have, the more difficult your task will be. Uh, don't now why? listen to her, definitely don't free her, and if you can, don't even think about her. Oh, I'm thinking about her. You don't have to worry about me. My head's always empty. <laughs> <sighs> Except the thoughts of her. Oh, no, he's a himbo! <laughs> I think I love him. Ah, <coughs> uh, let's see. Let's see. We're going to free her. Please don't. Shut up, narrator. You can't stop all of us, you villain. You villain! Let's just see how the wind blows. I'm not opposed to saving her, but let's not rule anything out just yet. Let's see what she has to say. Mm -hmm. Stop sitting on the fence and pick a side already. We don't need you waffling when things get hairy. <laughs> waffling? I've already picked a side. Our side. I'm here to make sure that whatever happens, we wind up on top. I'm getting a good judge of his character now. Because that's worked out great so far. I want some waffles. Well, we're not out of the game yet, are we? And again, I'll have you know, I some fruity have waffles? Us killed last Yummy. time. I fruity? wanted to stab her in the back, not hand over our precious backstabbing implement. Uh, shut up. That's why we would be even in a worse situation if we were following you. <clears throat> Alright, let's see. Let's go to the cabin. It isn't long before you find yourself at the base of the cabin. I think it's clear where everyone stands at this point. Oh, it's... it's oh, it's kind of icky this time, though. I don't know if I'd say everyone. Blueberry waffles? Mmm. -hmm. You talking about me? I have a position. It's a good one, too. I like when they put, like, the strawberries and the blueberries on top. And, like, they're kind of like melting so like they were i guess frozen or something and they're kind of melting so like the strawberry and the blueberry juice get like kind of like into the waffle is so good we suggesting games no i'm playing a game <laughs> i just finished killer is dead it was two euro i can't tell if i loved it and hated it or hated it but it was definitely weird i'll look into it thanks ango <laughs> <clears throat> it's so yummy. Yeah, all right. Ignore him. He's just talking for talking's sake. My position is the only one that matters. The Shut princess up, is a threat to you. She's a threat to me, and most importantly, she's a threat to the world. You know what you have to do. Um, let's go in. <laughs> the interior Whoa. of the cabin is hardly an interior at all anymore. The burned out ruins wow, merely beautiful. suggest the shape of the structure that once stood here. Charred wood still reeking of ash. But beneath it this lies the fresh one. smell of spring growth after rain. The promise of new life in the wreckage of the old. And the mirror. The only furniture of note is the crisp shell of what was once a table. A pristine... Wait. <gasps> this isn't right. The blade's this not is there. This is supposed to be a pristine <laughs> blade. Why uh -oh. is there a pristine blade? Uh-oh. We... We gave it to her last time. She can't still have it, can she? No way. Rosamine? I don't think these are roses, you guys. Rosamine is not every flower. <laughs> well, it's not here. And if she has it, let me guess. You want to get all chummy with her. Chummy. Look, as far as I see it, if it's between him and her, I say we side with the one who has the weapon. Why? That's a smart thing to do. Why is him capitalized but not her like isn't it implying that like the narrator is God what's going on hmm I wouldn't be so hasty I'm sure the blade will turn up somewhere she can't have it that's not how this is supposed to work hmm if she does have it that's all the more reason to put our faith in her We've already shown her our heart. Now she has to show us hers. Because it is the narrator. Yeah, but she is the princess. Give her the respect she deserves. Unless her heart tells her to stab us, which doesn't seem 
unlikely, so yes, I agree. Let's make sure we get on her good side. Yes, get on her good side. Uh, how do we get down there? The only thing I see is that mirror. They're gonna say there's no mirror. You're right, the mirror is back. There isn't anywhere for us to go. But there isn't a mirror. I still don't get his angle here. Either way, I say we take a look. It feels like it's been forever since we've actually seen ourselves. For all we know, our feathers are all out of place. Our feathers? And that's why we haven't yet won her heart. Oh, so true. We must put our best face forward. So true! We gotta look really dashing for her. Yeah, we can't go around looking disheveled. A real go-getter takes care of his appearance. Are, yeah, are we a bird? So, are we a bird is the person? door to the basement behind the mirror? I promise you there isn't a mirror and there isn't a door to the basement. The entrance is more of a burned out frame than anything else and it's right there on the far side of the room. Do you really not see it? No! Approach the mirror. You step forward and approach the scorched entryway leading to the basement, hesitating before you begin the descent. I love how he... I like how the narrator like describes it like I'm not looking at the you mirror. You know what you have to do. Wipe away the grit from the mirror. And behold our handsome features. Oh. It went away when we touched it last time. You reach forward ah. and wave your no. hand to the hollow entrance leading Quantum to the Quantum mirror, come back! You really thought there was a mirror there, didn't you? That can't be good. <laughs> As if things weren't unpredictable enough. Bramble? Wait, it is kind of brambly, isn't it? Alas, our fine features remain unseen. <clears throat> We'll just have to trust that she'll find us beautiful as we are. You don't know you're beautiful. Well, seems like the only way to go is forward, isn't it? Okay, here we go. Yes, that's where everything tends to be. Let's just put on a good face and have our wits about us. About us. Ikimasu! Step through the frame of scorched wood and make your way into the darkness below. Awesome. Ooh. The stairs to the Ooh. basement are covered in a fine layer of Oh, my goodness. Brush. Be careful. The air still feels warm, as if the fires that ruined this place had only recently been extinguished. Kind of looks yummy, though. Yet fresh shoots of thorny branches are already weaving themselves through the soot-covered earth of the walls around you. Looks kind of yummy, though. Like, uh, I don't know, something about it. Makes me want to chomp. Their spines point courteously down towards the basement, so you're able to brush past their jagged points with ease. At least on the way down. But you don't need to think about the way back up just yet. No, That's we'll a matter for after the world's been saved. We'll probably die down there, huh? <laughs> These thorns are an expression of her pain. I know it. Yes. She's calling out for yes, help. Yes, it's a metaphor. Her voice, <coughs> worn down by pain and suspicion, <coughs> hobbles up the stairs. I can't get away from you, can I? You betray me, I kill you, and you come back. You let me kill you, and you come back. Hey, she sounds... She sounds kind of cool this time. I don't know why you let me do that. I don't know what you want from me. <gasps> She's getting real. I want to figure out a way out of here for good. I don't know what I want. I never really chose to come here. I want to free you. I mean it. I just want to talk. Really talk. I think... Mm, her VA has a lot of range. Yeah, right? It's awesome. Want to free you? <clears throat> I want to talk about what's going on, though, right? Fix her pole move. I'm trying! Let's just talk. I think you know how this goes. I'm down here, and I can't leave. So, come down and talk. It's not like I can stop you. She sounds so tired. I'm coming! You continue down the basement stairs, brushing past the smooth edges of thorns that grow more and more plentiful as you make your way forward. Uh-oh, I think we're locked in here. You step out <gasps> oh, of what no! a vast open cavern, now overrun by briars <gasps> and queen! prickles and thistles, a space thick with hostile vegetation. At the heart of it all, encased in a tight weave of vines, is the princess, her bloody, trembling hands clutching a pristine blade. Oh, I wonder, just cut yourself out, girlie. Did you know this was going to happen to me? Are you here to watch me suffer? Are you here to laugh? No. Oh, her crown is like now all thorns and she's got all thorns in her hair. No, my 
princess. Oh. Let's get her out. Yeah, I'm here to laugh. What do you think would happen after you killed me? No, that's such a... <laughs> like an asshole answer. I'm not here to laugh. I'm here to free you. If you'll let me. I can cut you free, but you'll have to give me the blade. Reach, just reach for the blade with no explanation? <clears throat> You're in a prison of your own making. I broke our cycle of violence. If you still want to wallow in it, be my guest. What? I guess I don't have anything left to say to you. What? We came down. Why would we even say that? I literally was just like, I'm here to talk. And then I come down and just leave. Fine. If you're going to be like that, I'm going to leave. Have a nice life. <laughs> Raise your hand if you'd like the furry form motions. <laughs> um... <laughs> Let's see. Let's do let's do this one. We're gonna be nice. We're being nice, you guys. We're being nice. I I want to trust you. Okay, trust me. Her grip tightens on the blade. Hey, hey, hey. Who gave you that blade? Huh? Huh, little lady, who gave you that blade? But you're hiding something, <clears throat> aren't you? Why would you help me if you weren't helping yourself? Oh, I can't just be a good person and want to help someone without helping myself. You're not the only one who yearns for freedom. I'm as trapped as you are. I think we need to leave together. Is there nothing I can say to change your mind? Reach for the blade. Uh, these are all the ones about leaving. <laughs> In Pomo we trust. Yeah! Yeah, we're, we're both trapped. The princess clutches the blade closer hey. to her chest. What, what did I say? That sounds nice. I'm so tired of the bad blood between us. But it's hard to let it go. You've hurt me. Well, who hurt me? Who? You hurt me next. You you got even. We got even. Her eyes dart away from yours for a brief moment. She looks so like... Uh... uh dead. <laughs> and I've also hurt you. Yeah, you did. We're in a toxic relationship. <laughs> um... Is there nothing I can say to change your mind? You kind of got killed both times. Yeah, she actually killed me two times. That's true. Hurt me more, Snake. <laughs> um, let's just, let's just, I, we're, we're gonna be as careful as know. possible. What can either of us really say at this I'm gonna be as point? careful as possible. How can we trust something as hollow as words? Okay, what actions can I do? She's right. There's nothing left to say. So let's get a move on and do something before she comes up with a scheme to get out of here on her own. Hold on, I'm gonna do this too. There we go. We don't need words to send a message. It is through action that we can show her our adoration, our devotion, oh, our kindness. That's what I'm saying! Oh my gosh, am I just the simp? Maybe. <laughs> am I just the simp? Oh. <clears throat> then maybe it's time for... It's past time for either of us to say anything. All that counts is action. No, 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 no. I'm not going to reach for the blade. I'm going to ask her. I'm going to say, can I have the blade? Her eyes briefly meet yours, then dart back to the floor. She hangs her Always head has been. <laughs> okay. <gasps> Fine. <laughs> what if I just leave after all that? Okay, I'm, go I'm going in. You reach towards her bloodied hands, laying your palm on her trembling fingers. Okay, okay, okay. I think we're... For a moment, she clutches it even tighter, her knuckles going white with the effort. Oh, no, no, I think we're in, I think we're... Score! The tension fades. Her grip finally loosens and she allows you to take the weapon. Yeah! You carefully pull it free from the thorns that they scrape at your skin leaving red trickles of fresh blood all along your arms. Okay! Okay! She trusts us. She trusts us! Doesn't that set your heart aflutter? Yeah, my heart is fluttering right now. Yeah, a little. 
it could just be nerves. Oh Being this close to her does bring back unpleasant memories, but I don't know. It doesn't feel bad. It feels good. <gasps> like we're special to her. Yeah, the princess loves us now. I know, so loud, the voice. The, it's, you know, it's a, it's a, it's, it's, it's a small game. So, the voice balancing is pretty crazy, though. I've been adjusting it, like, this whole time, we so sorry. We are special to have gained an ounce of trust from a maiden so guarded. A maiden? Now all that remains is to free her from her bindings. Okay. All right, maiden. <gasps> yeah. Let's do it. Let's show her how much both of us have changed. We've changed. Or, hear me out, we slay her. Right here, Shut the right hell now. up, She's never been so helpless, and if we don't take advantage of that, we may never get another chance. That is true. <laughs> Can you imagine if I just, uh... That sounds like a splendid idea. You should listen to him. <laughs> I see that the lines have been drawn. <laughs> it's two against one. <gasps> it's two against two. Two. You don't count. Yeah, shut up, Nary. Uh, and why shouldn't he count? <gasps> because he's clearly not one of us. <laughs> Pomo, don't you dare. <laughs> that doesn't matter. He's been with us the whole time. He should get a say. I'm, I'm, I'm deciding. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. So, did you mean it? Or was I a fool to hand my life to you? I just wanted my blade back. You're on your own. That's so cold. <laughs> oh my god, we're a cold-blooded prince bird person. <laughs> that would be so much. Uh, I just wanted my blade back. Leaves. No, I think I'm playing it nice. It's, it's probably because I'm sick, you know. <laughs> My brain is not in here so much for mischief. I'm, I, I want to whiz over our princess first, and then we can get a little crazy afterwards, you know? <laughs> yes. What a good idea. Let's cut her free. Wait, what? Oh, so you're suddenly team free her. You can't just switch sides as soon as we make a decision. This guy is so annoying. I can do whatever I want, and I believe with my whole heart that this is the right course of action. Let's free this princess. This guy is so wishy-washy, he sucks. Everyone deserves a chance at redemption. Let him join us and be merry. We <laughs> are all united by our passion. I'm eating a dried mango. <laughs> That's right. What he said. We've already given him a chance at redemption. And who says I don't deserve another? I really mean it this time. I'm big enough to admit when I'm wrong. So I want to help you all free her. Shut the hell up, this guy! And I have no problem with that. Welcome to the team. You're one of us now. One of the good guys. <laughs> you take the blade to the thorny vines imprisoning the princess and she flinches, relaxing <clears throat> only slightly as the blade slices into the thick vegetation rather than her arm. You know, in this one, she seems really normal. In the first one, she's like super sus. So maybe, um, you know, in the first one, she's like kind of definitely like a I can fix her kind of girl. But this one seems all right. Like this one seems like the good one too uh, free. You know what I'm saying? And she flinches again as the last of the vines is cut away. As maybe we did fix her, yeah. After all of that, she's still expecting you to turn on her and stab her in the heart. But you're not going to do that, are you? Still, all it would take is a single slip of the blade. Shut up, narrator. God. Such a pathetic attempt at distraction Such a and for subterfuge. Blood. Our blade is a dashing sword, and every dashing sword is an extension of its hero. It won't slip. He don't jinx it now. You're right. He can't even make it slip, can he? He's a bit of a nobody. <gasps> Good thing I've been on your side of all this since the beginning. What the? The princess falls into your arms, <gasps> tears streaking down her cheeks. I can't believe you're making me describe this. <laughs> I hate you. Yes. Uh, keep going. Keep going, narrator, in greater detail. Oh my gosh, thank you for the pink. Uh, we're here. <laughs> Never underestimate the power of the smitten. Let's go. You 
actually meant it. You rescued me. <laughs> Which cheeks? Who said that? Luxon? <laughs> I don't think the... I don't think tears would be going down the other cheeks, is all I'm saying. <laughs> Do you see the way she's looking at us? <gasps> Kiss her! Kiss her now before the moment ends. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um. Oh, wait, I didn't mean to quick save. Is she gonna kick my ass if I kiss her? <clears throat> um. Can we actually do that? <laughs> no, you can't. Absolutely not. You know as well as I do that we can. Whoa. Oh my gosh, maybe the smitten is like the ultimate Riz Master. And we wouldn't want to throw away a chance for a special moment now, would we? If I is she gonna bite off my tongue? Throwing myself off a bridge. <laughs> Well, are you going to describe our steamy, romantic kiss? Whoa, whoa, whoa! <sighs> I'm lean in, and you kiss her. No, I'm embarrassed! She's so close! And? And there's tongue? And she reciprocates <gasps> enthusiastically. You kiss. It's done. Are you happy now? <laughs> Come on now, this is the big moment. <laughs> you can do better than that. Um, and this is embarrassing. Ugh, ah! Fine. Wait. You and the princess lock eyes and stare deep into each other's souls with all the roaring emotion that comes from letting what once was hatred turn into pure, unbridled passion. Whoa! Enemies to lovers, real. You're making fun of us. And then each of you close your eyes and kiss. Words can describe neither the nuclear fire Don't nor the miss. oceanic you depth of your connection. I never miss! Please. I think he actually likes romance. If history itself were not about to end, historians would document this moment for the rest of time. Musicians would write era-defining ballads and great artists would expend entire lifetimes trying to merely capture the spark you hold right now. Well, why is it about to end? He's making fun of us. Oh, he's making fun of us. Is this what a Pomu's audio would stop? It doesn't matter either way, because this is good stuff. <laughs> this guy just wants the fanfic. I'm aware of my skills. Damn. But unfortunately <gasps> for you, the moment doesn't last forever. You open your eyes, the princess smiles gently up at you. Time for you to damn the whole world to oblivion, I suppose. I got the achievement, true love's kiss. <sighs> that was nice. <laughs> Um. <laughs> oh, that was nice. Are we married now? Her hand slips <clears throat> into yours, and the two of you rush to the basement stairs. Oh my gosh, we're in love! Shameful, really, that the same thorns that so graciously allowed you downstairs are now blocking your only way out. No, it's okay. Please. I got a knife. After all the trials we've been through, do you really think a few measly thorns can stop us? Love is an even more powerful weapon than Am I going to, like, bleed out from the thorns trying to get her out? We cut through those other oh, vines no. just fine. They're only thorns. <clears throat> I'm not afraid of getting a few scrapes. Oh, no. I'm not even sure we need to do any cutting. We can just move them out of the way. <laughs> what a pathetic show. Yeah, the really. door's right there. The exit's like, you can see the stars. A few pointy sticks can't keep us down here. We're both meant for so much more than this. So what are you the princess of? <laughs> You're just the princess. Narrator Kun is jealous. Kiss him too. Come here, narrator. <laughs> Let's cut into the thorns. Aha! As you swing your blade into the thorns covering the basement stairs, oh, oh, they ah! yield. They yield. Both you <gasps> and the princess ascend the stairs without obstacle. Oh my god. This is unacceptable. The second you step out of this cabin with her, the world ends. Do you hear me? What did the but world why? ever do to you to deserve this? Who's like so... Who... Who is trying to like... Keep this princess all to themselves? 
what power is just like, uh uh, baby girl, only I can love you. And if I can't have you, then nobody can have you. Your nightmare is our dream. Whatever world would condemn star crossed lovers like us to a cycle of violence and despair isn't a world worth saving. We'll weave something new together. Something better. Something better, yeah. Does the world end because our love story ends? Is that what happens? You and the princess hesitate at the cabin door. This is your last chance. Let's go, baby. We've already made our decision. Happily ever after. We're finally leaving here together, aren't we? And all we had to do was trust each other. It wasn't easy, but I'm glad we finally could. Yeah, it only took three cycles. Step into your freedom. Oh! Hands clasped, the two of you open the door, turning and over a new out leaf into a new day. <clears throat> you irredeemable murderers. Huh? What do we do now? Oh! Oh, here comes the void! She's the princess of getting grabbed by a weird hand thing of it. Wait, what? W where's everything going? Uh oh! Oh no, we're going back. We're becoming a tree again. Why is it so cold? Uh oh. Uh. Oh! That's what you meant by getting grabbed. Um... No! Our baby girl! You did not have an opportunity to respond. Something has taken her away, and it's left something else in her place. She's gone. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? And there's that mirror again. Why is it here? Why now? I don't know where she went. I don't know how we'd even go about oh, looking for her. The narrator's gone. I think I'm supposed to look at the mirror. There's something dreadful about it. I, I don't think you should. Yes, I fear that we won't like what we'll see. What if we just sit here and preen for a while? That can't hurt. Preen? Right? If they think it's bad, I'm with them. The narrator's It is. Does that mean the world ended? We're top of the packing order now. Right, boys? A villain vanquished. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go to the mirror. I'm begging you, don't do this. It's the only thing I have. The mirror never scared you before. It's different now. It feels... I don't know. Final. Oh, oh, oh. You approached the mirror. We remain maidenless. Woohoo! Gaze into your reflection. <gasps> Silence as you reach forward. They're gone. But the mirror remains. It's time for you to see what's in it. Oh, I got the achievement. It's you. The body. Oh gosh, I'm... Wait, she kissed that? <laughs> Nosferatu. <laughs> Beauty and the Beast. <coughs> Ugh. You are alone in a place that is empty. It's quiet here. Proceed to the cabin. Wait, what cabin? <gasps> you are at the cabin. Approach her. You recognize the presence? Inhabit in inhabiting. <laughs> inhabiting the shell. It is the entity that dwells in the spaces between. Something returns to the long quiet. It has surrendered its path of annihilation and brings me the gift of a fragile vessel. Yo, yo, where are those hands touching though? Hey, 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 hands! Stop getting handsy with my girl! You're that thing I met in the space outside of the woods, aren't you? I thought that was a dream. What are you? The gift of a fragile vessel? Is this the end of the world? Let her out of here! Do you know the narrator? 
Are you what sent me to slay the princess? Are you what trapped me here? Oh my gosh, there's so many, so many questions. <laughs> um, do you know about the worlds beyond this place? Are you the princess? What happens now? Attack the entity, destroy her body. Now the music is so good. I'm the hand touching the stummy. No, you're not. No, you're not. Don't even. I'm gonna. It's kind of basic, but since we did go through this already, I'm gonna. Uh, I'm, I'm, I want to see what this Vague is. Recollections. Empty tunnels without a mouth. I am sorry if I frightened you. What are you? Let's just go I down the list. Solitary lights in an empty city. What are you? I'm Paul. What do you think I am? I don't know what I am. I am a person. No, I am Pomu. What do you mean? Thoughts without connections. A dim and nascent network. I wish to be more. I think that you are like me. Wait, why is your hands up like that? We are oceans, reduced to shallow creeks. Okay. Let's see, the gift of a fragile vessel? Yes, nerves and fibers to feel the worlds beyond. Perspectives to make my own. This one yearns for connection she feels she doesn't deserve. Hey, what do you mean? What do you mean? Even when shown compassion, she hid herself away. She will make for a cautious heart. Do not mourn her. She isn't alone anymore. She wasn't alone before. She had me! <laughs> this is the end of the world. How can the world have ended if we are talking? So true. That was a dumb question. <laughs> um, do you know the narrator? You are the only thing I have ever known. Are you the one in love with me? The space we're in is vacant. Nothing comes here but us. <laughs> <clears throat> um... Are you the princess? She is part of me, and part of me is her. But were you always the princess, or are you just making her a part of- Yeah! You speak in circles. Does it matter where one thing begins and another ends? It does! You, you can't just take- you can't just make her whole life your personality. That's like me making Metal Gear my personality. It's cringe. <laughs> uh... <clears throat> um, do you know about the worlds beyond this place? I know only that they are. That super chat is a spoiler, don't read. Oh, well I missed it, so thank you for the warning. Let's, let's do this one too. I have only just now stirred to consciousness. I could not have trapped you here, and I too yearn to be free. I don't want to like, let her out of, yeah, you know what, let's just say. I'm sorry. There are some changes that can never be undone. There are some tears that can never be unshed. This is not a place that can hold a fragment of a concept. The moment she arrived here, she was going to return to me. So this is the entity that is causing the end of the world according to the narrator? Is that what's going on? I promise that it doesn't hurt. No, our princess! <clears throat> so what happens now? Nothing, as we are. But I know that there are worlds beyond us, and that we are meant to reach them. 
If you guys see spoilers, it's been a while since I've had to say this. If you guys see spoilers, you can just uh, send smileys in the chat. It makes me know that I don't, I shouldn't look at chat. And also it pushes the spoiler off the screen so I don't accidentally look over and read it. Yeah, just like that. <laughs> Thank you guys. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> there is no exit, but this vessel is a creature of perception. She can make you forget, if only you believe her to be able to. Bring me more perspectives so that I may be whole. And perhaps then we will know our freedom. Wait, so... All these, like, different timelines that I've been doing are all, like, the different perspectives? Oh... How much will I forget? Or aren't you scared that I'll find a way to kill you? How many more pieces of you do I have to find? Oh... What if I don't let you do this to me? <clears throat> I was sent to slay the princess to stop her from destroying the world. If I help you, is that what you're going to do? Okay, make me forget. Yeah, but I, I don't want to forget. I want to be free, right? Oh, or how much will I forget? Everything. <gasps> Until we meet again. No! Aren't you scared they'll find a way to kill you? I have not lived. I am not afraid to die. if I don't let you? Then we will be here forever, as we are now. Unfinished. Dry. Hollow. So just like when I tried leaving, she wouldn't even let me leave. Wow. Interesting, interesting. I'm not going back. Oh! Wait, that was not there before. More than you have found. Oh, how many more pieces? But less than there are to find. I am infinite. The rest will find their own way home. Okay. okay. Uh, I will ascend to slay the princess to stop her from destroying the world. If I help you, is that what you're going to do? You ask of things that cannot be done. To destroy is merely to reshape, to remold. Okay. Oh, you're being semantic. What are you going to do if I help you? Yeah. How can I know? I am flickers and something sprawling and unilluminated. So you just want to become... For what reason? Hmm. Hmm. I'm not going back. If you need time, then I'll wait with you. Okay, let's wait. <laughs> Wait forever. <laughs> oh. <sighs> I'm just gonna be stuck in this loop forever and ever and ever because of you? Yeah, let's save. Oh, I keep cl clicking quick save instead. You are as I am now. And forever is a long time to remain undone. Yeah, I have time. I'm really stubborn. I am not you, but I know that I would return before forever was finished. Uh-huh. What textures will you weave for yourself to occupy forever? Will you place the images of you and I into a box for safekeeping? If you close that box, will you become another you in another world? An imaginary pattern repeating itself until it can no longer bear the weight of its hand-drawn cage. My brain is hurting. You'll always come back to the box, because you'll always want to know what it means to be you. I will be here waiting by your side until you're ready to return to mine. Just a box. I closed the game. Oh my gosh. What? 
the hell? I'm looking at Steam right now. I only got 6 out of 97 achievements. This game is so long. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. 97 achievements. Okay, I'm opening. You have returned oh. to me. Though you were gone mere moments, I never left your side. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. I just opened up the game. What? It opened up immediately to this. Oh, I never left your side. Attempt to wait out to outweigh your destiny. I could literally just never play the game again and it just like <gasps> What? We're getting really meta. Oh my god. That's crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh. The only way to win is to not play. Yeah, exactly. Well, you know. Um, I'm a streamer, so I have to continue. <laughs> okay. Make me forget. Is it gonna destroy all my saves? She asks that I tell you to remember her. Oh, no. You won't. No! <laughs> Everything goes dark and you die. Bring the thorn to her. Is the You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. <sighs> You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. But it won't. Wait. <laughs> Is there the stuff that I've chosen before? No, it's all it's all brand new, or it's all the same as before. But the things that I've chosen before are not blacked out this time. Hmm. Hmm. It's a new chapter one, kind of. Hmm. I'm are you talking, talking about? about the end of everything as we know it. No more birds. No more trees. It says the and same thing. Perhaps most problematically of all, no more people. You have to put an end to her. Oh wait, no, no. I just wanted to see it. Oh wait, that's a quick load. There's no like load screen. Uh. -uh. Uh. Let's see. Um, I did the evidence, so. Uh, I'm not gonna get She's yeah. not dangerous. She's just a princess. The danger comes if she gets out. Which she will, unless you do something about it. Okay. Sorry, I should be... Sorry, I sometimes forget to read what answers I'm picking. Um, but I said, like, she's just a princess. Why would it be dangerous or whatever? Um, okay, what happens if she gets out then? I want specifics. Yeah, tell the me. The more specifics you have, the harder it will be for you to do this very important job. She's a princess. People will listen to her. Escape because or right listening click? to her oh, is in it. their nature. And when they do, everything will come crashing down. Got it. Oh, there it is. Okay, so my saves are actually still there. Interesting. But I don't want to reload just yet. Because honestly, I feel like anything we reload, it's not going to change anything. <laughs> Unless we like go back and try and kill her again. <laughs> mm -hmm. So let's just keep going. Um... Hmm... Have you considered that maybe I'm okay with the world ending? Of course I haven't. Why would I even consider that? Nobody wants the world to end. I mean... I mean, maybe some people do, like... Yeah, what if I'm really nihilists, nihilistic? Or very, very evil people, but... What if I'm sure very evil? Those, right? Don't load and messes up some things? Yeah, so I'm not going to. Hmm. Yeah, I just want to kind of, like, go through... As the game is uh, having me progress, you know. <laughs> All right, uh, I'll maybe. I guess Slayer. we'll just have to see what happens. <gasps> but a word of warning: if you go in prepared to hear her out, maybe she could it. easily trap you in her web of lies. And the more you listen to her honeyed words, the harder it'll be to pull yourself out. I like then honey. Each and every one of us is doomed. I like honey. So sure, go. 
talk to her. Okay. See how that turns out for all of us. Awesome. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. Proceed. La la la, up the hill. La, the interior la, of the cabin the is house. almost entirely la, la, bare. La, the air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. All right, we've heard all the this before. The blade is your implement. <sighs> Do I take the blade? Do I want to be evil this time? Do I want to just go in and guns a blazing, swinging little knife around? Hoo ha! Hiya! Hmm. Yeah, I do. You take the blade <laughs> from the table. It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess and save the world without it. <laughs> Enter the basement. <laughs> I'm evil now. The door to the basement creaks open. Revealing a staircase faintly illuminated really her voice. Oh. Who's there? Oh! Wait. Wait, uh. Uh. I thought she was gonna be. Uh. uh oh. She sounds dangerous. It's almost as if she's the one in charge down here. Maybe I shouldn't have taken the knife. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. Uh... Hi! Don't be a stranger. It's been so long since I've had any visitors. Come on down. Why is she saying the same thing, though? Basics of CQC. You walk down the stairs oh, she does. and lock eyes with the princess. She's not so like bug eyes. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. Yeah. She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? Focus on the task at hand. Coldly beautiful. And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? Oh, um, I, oh, what? No way! <laughs> Why would you think that? No, I'm, I'm just here to talk. Then why did you bring a knife with you? How about you drop it, and then we can chat. Okay, I'll drop it. She makes a compelling point. What if we just dropped the blade and talked? Look at her. It's not like she's a threat. Choose your fate, Polmu. Oh, not nah, evil mode? Oh, shit, Don't you you're right. dare. But, but, this was before I knew that she was going to be like a, 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 a cold, it's cold fine. queen. We can decide what we want to do after we talk just to her. Just call her Elsa. Maybe she really is a monster. Killing someone in cold blood isn't very becoming of us. So true. <laughs> Riz every route. <laughs> um, the Rizzler would be disappointed. Uh, uh, I drop it. Sorry, I'm weak. Blade I'm weak. Out of your I'm trembling weak. hands. And drops to the floor with an unceremonious clang. My trembling hands. Hey, I'm not scared. Thank you. Maybe now we can just talk. Now we talk. Yeah. Against your better judgment, you step forward to speak with the princess face to face, unarmed. We'll be fine. Okay. I don't know what you're hoping to accomplish here, but I can assure you there's no I've reason my mind. with her. I might, I might be like, hey, I'm gonna just make sure you don't forget about the blade on the floor. Yeah, I'm leading her into it. a false sense of security, okay? So here we are. What an awkward start to a relationship. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Pretty awkward. A relationship. Are you coming on to me? <laughs> Um, there's people out here who think you're gonna end the world. What do you have to say about that? What's your name? How long have you been down here? Okay, we've talked enough. Yeah, are you coming on to me? Don't jump to any weird conclusions. We're two people who have met each other. By definition, we have a relationship. I guess. She's being parasocial to me. Um, 
Yeah, well, there's people who think you're gonna end the world. What do you say about that? Don't just tell her that. <laughs> why not? <laughs> Is that why they threw me down here? But I don't want to hurt anyone. I like the world. I think. I think. Whoa. I don't remember much about it, to be honest. I've been down here a long time. Mm hmm. But she says just that to everyone. Just how long has she been so down true. here? If I'm supposed to be capable of ending the world, then how did I wind up here, chained to a wall? Have they told you why I'm allegedly so dangerous? They haven't, and that's why it's annoying. Um, I was hoping you'd tell me. Yeah, Ali, why don't you tell me? Ending the world seems like an awful lot for just one person to do. I wouldn't even know where to start. Yeah, this sounds like a big responsibility. I believe her. <laughs> Sky. She doesn't have to know how to destroy the world to be capable of doing it. Okay, but just because someone is capable of destroying the world doesn't mean that they'll do it, right? Right. Gosh. At the end of the day, whatever the two of us have going on down here is about trust. Trust. That was our big thing last time, too. Yeah. Whoever sent you to slay me claimed slay. I was a threat to the world, but they didn't tell you why. No. That doesn't sound right to me. And I don't think it sounds right to you, either. Otherwise, we'd be killing each other instead of talking. Yeah. She has a point. There's a reason I've been telling you to question the situation, and there's a reason you've listened. I- this guy is so, like... It's like a living in an echo chamber. <laughs> so, I could tell you that I'd lead a quiet life in the woods, or that I'd open an orphanage, or that I'd do any other number of good things that I'm sure you think you want to hear. Mm. So true. <laughs> but you don't really know me, do you? What can my word possibly be worth in a situation like this? Um, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm a trusting individual, I'd like to say, you know? I'm... She's right about one thing. Her word isn't worth anything. The VA is in the chat? I voice act Nicole, good night! I voice act the princess! Oh my gosh, hello! Wait, don't listen to me right now. My, my voice is so raspy because I'm sick. Hello, thanks for dropping by though! <laughs> Hi! Oh my gosh, your range is insane! You sound so amazing! <laughs> Thank you! Thanks for dropping by! Oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed right now. Sorry, I've been simping for you the whole time. <laughs> Like I said, it's all about trust. Blind trust. <laughs> so do you trust me, the prisoner, the victim, the princess clearly incapable of ending the world? Or do you trust whoever put me here? She's wrong. No, I was supposed to come this in here being an trust. evil guy. This is about And she's risk. using logic against me. We stand me. to lose everything, all for the sake of one person. And a subjugating monarch, no less. Murphy, thanks for the gift then. Uh, what is she the princess of? I've been asking this for so long. <laughs> um, uh, uh, what's... Should we ask... Wait, last time she couldn't give her name because she was like a little freaky, but what's your name this time? She hesitates before answering. Yeah? You can address me as your royal highness. It's the same or thing. Her majesty. <laughs> Any honorific should do, it's really. It's the same as before, just with more status. Again, she offers no specifics. No matter how hard you try, you'll never get a straight answer out of her. Right back. Thanks for the gift, then. Okay, princess, princess. Um, how would I get you out of here? You can't. Don't bother. Shut up, narrator. I'm guessing you don't have the key, then. I'm sure there's a key somewhere around here, and if there isn't... Casey Raptor, thanks for the gift. Well, we can always put that knife to good use. Uh oh. Her sharp eyes settle on the edge of the blade. Uh oh. Uh oh. Wait, please don't do it again. She isn't suggesting what I think <gasps> she's suggesting. It's. Right? It's time for chicken wings. She is. I'm sure of it. Take up, thanks for the gift. 
It's been a while since we've seen that scene. How long have you been down here? Too long. <laughs> okay, we've talked enough. Oh, have you decided what to do with me? I think I'm gonna flip a coin. You know why you're here. Do I have a coin? Uh, um. Flip a dried mango. <laughs> hmm. I think this will be our first time legitimately trying to slay the princess. Let's go! That, unfortunately, clouds your thoughts as you attempt to run her through. Oh, she's running away. A moment of distraction and hesitation is all she needed to sidestep your thrust and deliver a catastrophic blow to your jaw. Oh, shit! She it feels like you've been hit with a sledgehammer. You can feel bone grinding on bone oh, when your so jaw strong. has been fractured. Or maybe I'm made of glass. Holy shit, that <coughs> hurts. Though she's unarmed, the shock of that first strike is enough to stagger you, putting you she's in the She's gonna go around, that's how she destroys the world. Confident. She just goes and punches everybody. The <gasps> blade slashes through the air again and again, and her fists connect with your body as many times or more. Her Each fists. impact as heavy as that first bone-crushing hit. Oh, this time she doesn't have, like, her fang teeth and everything. We can still turn this around. Come on! Uh, finish the job! You and the princess stare at each other, both gasping for breath, equally exhausted. You probably won't make it out of here alive, but you can at least make sure that she won't make it out of here. Either. Okay, okay. Oh, I said finish the job as in, like, you... You... T -t finish like you kill it off kill her off i'm not you like finish the like you're not done excuse dying. me wait what do you think this is what i wanted to happen i have a duty to state the facts of the situation and honestly it's a miracle anyone is still standing right now oh can you not feel all those ruptured organs bouncing around in there if the princess doesn't do our friend in herself internal bleeding is certain to finish the job wait 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 Oh. The two of you clash for the <gasps> final time. You feel your ribs break as she delivers a heavy blow, but you push through the pain, falling forward and sinking your blade oh my God. deep into the princess's heart. Oh my god, that is juicy. Oh. Oh. The two of you <gasps> fall to the floor. Um. This was fun. You liked it? I had a good time, too. <laughs> Same time next loop? The princess gasps. Her voice an unhealthy rasp as her lungs start to fill with blood. You put up more of a fight than I thought you would. But I have to wonder... Wonder what? Do you really think this is the end? Nope. But you don't have time to worry over such things. <laughs> Everything goes dark, and you die. We're so weak. <laughs> We're so weak. The adversary. Oh, shit. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. A princess. You're here to slay her. Oh, no. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. All right. Um, okay, no. <laughs> She's going to kill me again. Yeah, I definitely killed her. Again? People don't die twice. <laughs> you haven't even met the princess. People and die I hardly when they are killed. Of killing someone as skilled and courageous as yourself. Uh... <laughs> Yeah. She doesn't remember what happened. Thank you for the Maybe pink, by the way, Jaconic. You I didn't have I a second to read it, but thank you so much. It's going to be a lot harder than you think to keep secrets from me. That's fine. It doesn't matter if he can hear us. The only thing that matters is marching up to that cabin and winning. We're a winner. Oh, wait, voice of the stubborn. I just noticed. Oh, it's me! <laughs> That's the spirit. There's no it's point in squabbling when the real threat is just <laughs> up that hill. Oh, we're voice of the stubborn now. 
Um, yeah, I wish I'd Those bother are two doing very anything. very different questions, but fine. I'll indulge you okay, if that's what it takes thing. to get you moving. Let's say for a moment that this really is the second time you've met me, or, or at least a version of me. Well, the stuck, thank you. Thanks you've for done it last time, which probably only happened because you didn't listen I to did me. listen to you, you piece of shit. I went, I went in full frontal with her. We did our best with the information we were given. And we did kill her. Yeah, we did. And yet you still died, didn't you? So congratulations. You've been given another chance to actually do this right. And I believe your other question was something along the lines of, Oh, what's the point of doing anything? If you're asking that, it sounds to me like you're making the rather dangerous assumption I meant full that your actions force. last time around didn't have any consequences. <laughs> We went with full force. You guys, stop being weird. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Albin, thanks for the gift. Thank you. I, I went in. Man, listening to him is doing it immediately. Oh. Gosh, this guy what do you sucks. mean? Of course, there weren't any consequences. I wanted to listen we to her princess, sexy voice more. The princess more. killed us, and now everyone's right back where they started. That sounds <laughs> pretty consequence-free to me. Yes, but in this purely hypothetical scenario, that begs the question of how you got back here. Did time simply rewind itself, or were you instead transported to a different world entirely? I don't know. Oh, different world. Had you failed <laughs> to slay the princess? What would have happened to everyone in the place you left? I, well, we didn't fail. Ugh! Enough with the talking. We've got a fight to win. Nothing else matters. Okay, this guy's a little. He's a little. I couldn't agree more. The really cabin and your destined this. confrontation with the princess awaits. Let's go. Uh, let's just proceed to the cabin. A warning before you go any further. What, is she going to be a cheater and a liar? She will lie, <laughs> she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Uh-huh. <laughs> Don't believe a word she says. Whoa, thank you for the pink dono, thank you! Thank you for the streaming saucy fomo. You make YouTube worth one. No, thank you, Angel! <laughs> Lying and cheating doesn't sound like her at all. Not that it matters. It's not like she can lie or cheat in the middle of a fight. That's not true. You can definitely cheat in a fight. Are you sure about that? Yeah, what? The point of my warning wasn't to start an argument over what circumstances the princess is capable of lying in. It was to give you <laughs> some broadly applicable advice. Okay. The princess will do and say whatever she thinks it will take to get her out of there. So don't trust her. Ever. Are we clear? I can't wait to see what kind of princess we meet this time. Crystal. Let's just get on with it already. This guy's voice is so rough and raspy. Just like mine. <laughs> Here we go. The cabin oh. is tighter than its exterior would suggest. <gasps> wow. Its cold stone Flint walls stones. press in on you, as if trying to forcefully direct you towards your destination. The only furniture of note is a black iron altar with a pristine blade perched on its edge. And the mirror that doesn't exist. See? Even the cabin has the right idea. Let's get moving. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. I'm gonna go to the mirror. You didn't say anything about the mirror on the wall. That's because there isn't a mirror. There's the altar, the blade sitting on the altar, and the door to the basement. Grand There's nothing else head. in here. <laughs> There's definitely a mirror. Yeah. There isn't. There is. You already wasted so much time in the woods. Stop. Who even cares if there's a mirror? Oh, the stubborn is kind of annoying. <laughs> is that what I sound like? Oh, no, I think I need to reassess you my walk life. walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. This really isn't funny. You reach forward and rub <laughs> your hand against the cabin wall. The cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. <laughs> but I it was there a second ago. I want to do it every now time. Now it's gone, so all of us can stop arguing about it and get to fighting. <laughs> uh, this guy just wants to fight. He's not stubborn. He's voice of the... the violence. 
He's not like a... He's not like a... Hey, I'm not gonna do this. Because if he was really stubborn, he'd be like... Um... Uh, I'm, I don't want to do it. And you can't make me. <laughs> Voice of the fury. <laughs> yeah. When you get irritated, yes? Shut up! <laughs> um... Let's take the blade. You take the blade from the altar. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Enter the basement. Whoa. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a rough stone staircase, its walls pressing at your sides and tightening as you descend. The air seeping from below is heavy and oppressive, with an almost sulfuric odor to it. Ew. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. <laughs> Would that mean Smitten is voice of the baller? Voice of the Rizzler? Her fierce voice carries up the stairs. Fierce? Is that another challenger? Finally. It's been ages since I've had a good fight. Ooh. This isn't what she sounded like last time. Her voice is a little deeper, almost threatening. Ho 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 ho! Good. Sounds like my kind of princess. <laughs> this guy. As much as I appreciate the enthusiasm, just make sure you don't let your bloodlust get to your head. You need to stay focused and keep your wits about you. Remember, you're here to slay the princess, not to have a good fight. Oh, uh, why can't we have both, baby? Hey, princess. As you descend <gasps> the final step, the form of the princess comes into view. A large shackle leading from her wrist to the basement wall. You guys said she would get harder and you were right! Oh no! That's a demon girl. Looks like she could rip those chains out of the wall without a second thought. I uh, am. Yeah. Oh, it's you again. I've been hoping you'd find your way back here. Good to see that death doesn't stick for either of us. <laughs> and you brought your little knife, too. Yes! Yes! I'm going to have fun breaking you into little pieces. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh my gosh. There's so much here. Okay. I hope you heard all of that, Mr. Narrator. This is a lot different than last time, but last time definitely happened. So you do remember me. You look different. I'm actually here to free you. I'm not saying I'm not here to fight, but I think the two of us have a few things to unpack first. Like how we're both still alive. I haven't decided what I'm doing yet. Slay the princess. Uh, I don't know what happened to you since the last time we met, but I'm not fighting a giant demon lady. Bye. And then we can just leave. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Huey, thanks for the 20 gifted. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you. Oh my gosh. Stop liking evil women. Sorry, sorry. Sorry. Sorry! Okay, fine. Let's say for a oh, moment I believe... I picked the one that said it did happen before or whatever. For all we know, whatever happened to you last time was just a fluke. And beyond that, do you know who doesn't remember anything that happened last time? Me. I don't remember what happened last time. Okay. Uh, are you okay? Mm-hmm. Of course I'm not okay. As far as we're all concerned, the fate of my world is still very much on the line. Not all of us have the luxury of jumping over to a parallel universe the second we die. Mm. Well, I feel like it's very unbased to say that I'm not going to fight the giant demon lady, you know? Like, what if we say, um... Not here to fight. I'm not, I'm not saying... I'm not here to fight, but I think the two of us have a few things to unpack first. Like how we're both still alive. Or... We could just slay her. Attack the princess. Oh, let's fight. Finally, <laughs> you your destined task, you launch off the wet stone floor of the basement and catapult yourself headlong towards the princess. Woohoo, princess! Here we go. Let's make this count. Yeah! Oh, we'll make it count all right. Come on, stubborn 
Fill me with determination. As you bridge the Ooh. gap, your blade slashes across the princess's chest, splitting skin and drawing a jagged line of bright red blood. Ah! She's unfazed by your onslaught. Her expression barely changes as her fist collides with your ribs, cracking them like twigs and driving you right back down to the basement floor. Oh gosh, we are literally made of sticks and stones. You can hear her chains snap <laughs> as you struggle to recover from the impact. Oh no! She almost looks disappointed in us. <laughs> Why is she disappointed in us? <laughs> We're not putting up good enough of a fight. We're so... Oh, you don't actually get it, do you? What, what? You're gonna kill me? That knife may be sharp, but you clearly don't want to kill me. Oh, wait, what do you mean? I send attack. It's not fun if you hesitate. It's not fun if you try to trick me and make me bleed out. It's only fun if you go straight for the heart. That's true. Why did we slash at her and not, like, like, you know, oh gosh, what's that? What's that Hitchcock film? <laughs> Why can't I think of it uh, suddenly? The one where she's in the shower. Psycho! Yeah, we should have went psycho on her. Wee, 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 wee. You know? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you need to put everything you have into seeing me dead. Or what's the point? This CG looks like a reward. You did good. <laughs> Are you just saying that you want to see disappointed demon girl looking at you? Towering over your body? You want her to look at you kind of disgusted like? Looking down at you laying on the ground like, you pathetic, you pathetic spineless creature. Why couldn't you, why couldn't you put more force and fight into that attack, huh? <laughs> well, I'm not saying that. <laughs> at least you're honest. So don't be afraid. Don't hesitate. Kill me. Kill her. Don't let her get in your head. Reincarnation or not, this world needs you to win. Well, I mean, she's saying to kill her, so... She's huge, but that probably means she's slower than us. Take it slow. Think it through. Okay. And don't panic. Bleeding her out is our best course of action. <gasps> Bleeding her out? No, no, no. Don't listen to them. She understands something that they don't. Yeah. The only way to win, the only way out of this, is through her. I agree, I agree. I agree. Strike her at the heart head on. Bait an opening and out maneuver her. Run! Just get the hell out of there! No, I think we need to go in. But I don't, like... I think we need to... S <sighs> Strike! That's your plan, then. That's your plan. You push off the ground, ignoring the pain in your ribs as you charge at the princess once more. Ha! You can oh. feel flesh give way before a sudden impact blunts your momentum. Your weapon tightly lodged in the bone of her arm. She grins at you from behind her guard. Of course she wouldn't let me get it so easily. Pull it out. We'll try a different angle. No, we can do this. What? Wait. Just keep pushing. Stubborn, I don't think it works like that. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> We're not going to win <laughs> if our weapon's stuck in her arm. Yeah, it's going to be stuck in their arm. Keep pushing. Yeah, keep pushing. The princess's Ooh. grin widens as the two of you push against each other, her fiery eyes and masochistic glee practically lighting push. up the dreary cave. Oh my gosh. Yes, you finally get it, don't you? I do lie. <laughs> We can be smart and say, I do, or lie and say, I do. <laughs> Silently continue pushing. No, I'll just say, I do. I do. I, I don't. I, I do. Dying and coming back. Clashing against each other over the fate of everything. Forever. Did, did she just admit out loud that she's going to end the world if she gets out of here? Wait. She most certainly did. I hope you've made Wait. a mental note of that, hero. There's no more room for doubt. Wait! Yes, the fate of the world doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is this fight. The only thing that matters is getting stronger 
And the only way to get stronger that wasn't is to what she live, said, though, right? Like, even if it takes us forever to get on. there. Uh, you get it. Dying and coming back, clashing against each other over the fate of everything, forever. That's not really what she said, though. I mean, the fate of everything could be, like, our fate. Uh, I, I, I can't... Uh, well, she knows why we're here to kill her. Because it's the end of the world or whatever. Uh, uh, semantics. What, whatever. whatever. <laughs> what? Your balance is suddenly thrown off as the princess pulls you into her knee. Ooh. It collides with your ribs and you feel them splinter, cracking Blech. like wet wood from the impact. We're fine. Are we? <laughs> you barely have enough time to notice before the princess follows up and smashes her forehead against yours. Oh, God. Your grip loosens from the impact. Oh my gosh, she the has blade the knife. still wedged in her arm as you tumble to the cold stone floor. Oh my gosh, that's so metal. I said we're fine. This this guy. I didn't say you weren't fine. I was just describing what happened. <sighs> you might not have said as much, but you certainly implied it. Now she has the blade. It really doesn't matter. The princess glances <laughs> down at the blade embedded in her arm, and with near total Get ignorance up, to I'm pain. Get up, Bobo! I'm trying. Slides it out of its sinewy prison. You forgot this. Oh, thank you, ma'am. <laughs> thank you. She tosses it at your feet. Oh. <laughs> Aren't you jumping the gun a little here? We each died once. That doesn't mean we're immortal. <laughs> now we're trying to talk some sense into her. Were you being metaphorical when you said that nothing exists outside of us? There's more to the world than just this cabin. I saw trees and everything on my way here. Don't you want to be free, though? Isn't there more to life than waking up chained in a basement and fighting to the death in an endless loop? Actually, I think I'm done fighting with you. I don't think this is healthy for either of us. Pick up the blade and attack again. Mm. I do kind of want to ask about, like, the being metaphorical. But let's just keep going. You and the princess attack each other once again, each of you dealing a single, terrible, lethal blow. Oh. Wait, does that mean we're... Dead. Oh. Or rather, about to be dead. Oh. As your blade pierces her sternum, the princess buries her fist into the soft meat of your arms. <laughs> you feel a few horrifically painful pops, a gush of fluid, and... It's over. It's finally... At that point, would we even feel any pain anymore? I feel like our brain would turn everything off. <laughs> no, it's not. We're just getting started. What? But it is over. Dead is dead. I know this isn't the happiest ending for you, but you saved the entire world from ruin. There are few better endings than that. Well, are you going to listen to him? Or are you going to listen to me? Oh my god! Get up. Okay. Get up! Wait, no, that can't be right. What? No way. <gasps> your eyes bolt open and you push yourself what? back to your feet. Alive. How? Ha! I told you. I told you this wasn't over. And then we're gonna just keel over now? What about her? The blade went right through her heart. Yeah? What about her? If we're fine, then she's fine. Wait, what? No, she's dead. Dead. She has to be. <laughs> no! <laughs> this is stubborn as <laughs> No way! <laughs> he just willed everything into. <laughs> right. We're all shit out of luck, aren't we? No way! <laughs> I knew it. I told you we should all believe in her. <laughs> this is perfect. We're both too stubborn to die. Yeah, he actually manifested it. It's so awesome. <laughs> the princess rises from the ground, staggering Whoa. slightly, one hand wrapped around the hilt of the blade still buried in her heart. Oh my god. We don't even need to start over anymore, do we? Let's go again. <gasps> she pulls the weapon from her chest, barely wincing, and hurls it at your feet. You again! 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 
<laughs> What's the point of fighting her if she can just do that? So can we, though. All of you need to settle down. This whole situation is coming dangerously close to untethering. She clearly never actually died. You just missed her heart, that's all. Uh? Oh, we just missed her heart. Oh, of course, that's all. This is their love language. You were the language. one who said we hit her heart. You were the one who said it was finally over. Oh my god, I can't believe the stubborn, like, took over the job of the narrator. Well, I guess I had it wrong. Uh, you're the narrator, you're not supposed to have it wrong. You guess you had it wrong. Aren't you supposed to know everything? Sorry. I never said I knew everything. Gotta take a mint real quick. A voice mint. If I can get one out. Uh, what's close to untethering? What's that supposed to mean? No, attack her again! With an unbreakable <laughs> determination, you snatch the blade from the floor and stumble back to your feet. Both you and the princess quake with adrenaline as your eyes lock across the basement floor and share a knowing look. <laughs> Free from hesitation, you close the distance, both you and the princess aiming to end each other. Your blade digs into her oh! neck, grinding against her vertebrae as her fist connects with your body. My the God. impact forces the air from your lungs, stars dancing in front of your eyes as you fail to keep your bearing. Oh God! You both collapse to the ground before either of you has a chance to survey the damage. And then we get up. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> and then you get up. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> that was a good one. Oh my More. god. And then you get up. <laughs> so <gasps> Slay the princess. It's our only option. All right, princess. One last round. You and the princess oh exchange dozens of devastating blows. Sometimes you manage to strike uh. first, and sometimes she tears through you before you have a chance to act. Oh my! But more often than not, each of you fells the other in the same moment. Oh, graphic warning! And then you get up and do it again, and again, and again, and again, and again, and again. If only this was voiced by Niji Ian. <laughs> What do you mean? Here. The voice actors are doing an this awesome is job. It's all gonna be okay. Isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it? Oh, we're getting consumed by the tree. But he doesn't answer the voice. He'll never answer. He's gone. What are you waiting for? I'm right here. Do you think this is. What is this place? Oh! <gasps> Did. We do this. Huh. I didn't think we had it in us. But I guess that stuck up control freak was right. <laughs> it's the end of the world, isn't it? Yeah. It's the end of everything. Far from it. We're still here. No way. And she's still here too. No way we're gonna keep fighting in the void. <laughs> the princess stumbles and her body slumps. She's gonna get taken by the hands! I feel so... tired. The hands! No! No! Aw, oh, man. <clears throat> you do not get the chance to oh, respond. Oh, a Choo-choo! Oh my gosh, thank you for the big toto! You think I would die just because you killed me? <laughs> You do not get the chance to respond, nor will you ever. It's time to leave. Memory returns. She's gone. W where did she go? Oh, Should this we again? try and find her? And there's that mirror again. Why is it here? Why now? <clears throat> oh! Of course you're scared. This is the end for you. But it's not the end for me. It's going to be okay. Just trust me. We've been here before. And you always get scared. I'll, see, I'll do that one. <laughs> but it feels so bad. Like, looking into it right now is going to be the end of everything. So you remember now. Screw the mirror. We just need to find the princess. It's not the end. Whatever's going on on the other side is going to be nice. It's 
the end for you, but not for me. I'll see you on the other side. It's going to be okay. I'll say it's the end for you, but not for me. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? <laughs> Whatever awful thing I felt before, it feels so much worse now. <clears throat> it's okay. Shh, 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 shh. It's okay. Don't worry. Just relax. Just give in. It's okay. Screw that. This can't be the end. It just can't. Shh. Approach the mirror. You approach the mirror. Gaze into your reflection. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave. But you need to see what's in it. Oh! The bloat. You've grown? That's the achievement I got. You've grown. Oh, oh! What? Um... Ooh! Oh! What? <clears throat> um... You. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. Proceed to the cabin. There she is! You are at the cabin. Approach her. Vita, I think so, the gift in. Flickering lights in empty cityscapes become pockets of vitality and movement. I am more than I was before. Whenever you are ready, I will wipe your slate clean once again. Oh my gosh, there's so many questions. <coughs> Yo! Ooh, ooh. They're uh, getting a little frisky, aren't they? We'll just start at the very top. Are you the same being as you were before? How much have you changed? Is a child the same as an infant? I am an unbroken pattern, but every vessel gives fresh perspectives and carves new avenues of expression. I am different, but I am the same. Mm. What does it feel like to change like this? Eyes close in reflection. Perspectives meld together, and the breadth of my experience stretches to new corners. There are contradictions, conflicts in my nature, and there are familiarities that bind everything together. Okay. It feels correct. This is what I need to be. This is the only path forward. I'm glad we got the sexy demon lady as our <laughs> handsy void stress this time. <laughs> okay. This is the only path forward. Feels correct, okay. Victoria! Look at them hands. I know, right? Have you played this, Victoria? It's kind of crazy. If you haven't, please leave. <laughs> Don't watch anymore. <laughs> Don't watch anymore. <clears throat> she did? Oh, okay, okay. She did the, the other day. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Good, good, good. <laughs> hot dog. Thanks for the hot dog. I have 20 minutes left until my baklava pumpkin pie is finished. <gasps> what is that? I just love pumpkin pie. I finished it last night. I hope you're having fun with it. Yeah, it's so brain hurting. <laughs> this is awesome though. I just punched a lady to the void. When this is all done, do you know what you want to do? With every gift you bring me, I excavate the alleys of what I am meant to be. And every exploration yields new and complicated truths. What I will be is different than what I am. And what I am is different from what I was. Are we just building an AI? Are we just feeding it <laughs> different situations so that it... <laughs> I cannot tell you what desires I will hold when I have changed. Okay. But in this moment, all I want is to know myself and to know you. Oh, 
you know that at the end of this, once you're finished, I'm going to kill you, right? There is still much to be seen. Neither of us know the depths GW. of our being. <laughs> perhaps at the end of this, I will be the one to kill you. <gasps> no. Or perhaps we will leave this place together and find new horizons to discover. Yeah, death of the artist, huh? You'll be the one to kill me because you'll be AI taking over. <laughs> Oh, uh, when I go back, it's as if an invisible wall closes around me. Why can I not do the same things I've done before? Those paths lead to worlds you've already seen, and to perspectives I have already made my own. They are useless to us now. Inaccessible. It's not what Death the of the Artist means, but that are yet it's the only way to describe it. <laughs> that you're killing off the artist. <laughs> Wait, what'd you say? Those paths lead to worlds that you've already seen and perspectives I have already made of my own. They are useless to us now, inaccessible. The only paths of value are those that are yet untread. Okay. <clears throat> you have been kinder to me than anyone else I've met. Thank you or why? Oh my gosh, there's so many things. Attack the entity? Wait, there. This, these options were there before? But like... But, they went away after a while. Ha! Your will cuts across the entity in front of you, but nothing happens. Oh. My roots burrow in an ocean beyond Damn. your sight. Well, I we cannot harm each other as we are now. Okay. Well. Uh, okay. <laughs> Cowabunga! Choo choo! <clears throat> Hello, Pomu. Hello! Hope you're doing good. I'm glad you're enjoying the game. Keep on... Keep on keeping on many loves. Return the vessel. <laughs> Thanks? Um, I wanna ask, what do you feel about me? Oh wait, I don't wanna hurt you, but the more times I go back, the worse I fear things will be. Or, what do you feel about me? These vessels I've been bringing you, I've heard them. Yeah. The vessels are shaped by memories of you, but their impulses are drawn to the edge of the long quiet. To them, you are a gate to something more, and any hurt you've caused them is understood as a fair price for freedom. But they are only thoughts and perspectives. They are not me. Okay, so she doesn't hate me. We have a chance, everybody. The wounds they've suffered carve texture around my heart. Without them, I would be as I was before. Oh. I would be alone and without sensation. I could not feel the joy of having you by my side, for I would not know your absence. Well, uh, I don't want to say thank you. About the you've been kinder to me than anyone else. Let's say why. You've been kinder to me than anyone else I've met. Why? Why wouldn't I be kind to you? You are the only thing I know that isn't me. Aww. Da -da -da. Thanks, da -da -da. What they're saying is they're her younger sisters. Weird? Is it that way? I don't know. <laughs> it's so. They're like. Just like. It's like she's been watching a movie. It's like she- not like a sister, it's like she's been watching a movie of each person that she's absorbing. And, like, you know, so you don't necessarily take on the feelings of the movie. You have your own perspective of the movie when you watch it compared to other people. You know what I mean? Is that- am I interpreting it correctly, maybe? <clears throat> I don't know. Hmm. It really is like you're building an AI, to be honest. Each experience adds to her. That's what I'm saying, right? <sighs> I think it's more complicated than that. It might be. Well, yes. But that was a way to simplify it. More so than saying, like, they're her sisters. 
<laughs> uh, what do you want me to bring you next time? What you in the mood for, girl? Gifts aren't what someone tells you to bring them. My joy is in seeing what you choose. There are no wrong answers. And every perspective illuminates my shadows and shares new secrets. Secrets. Is this a secret personality test? Because if so, I'm going to fail hard. <laughs> So you don't have any preferences on how you'd like to change or grow? My preference is for you to show me what you would like me to see. I cannot know the ways I wish to grow, for I have yet to feel them. It is you who guides me down the thin trail of perspective and memory. Mm. Do you have any thoughts on this vessel? This one yearns to grow and struggle. Even now, I feel a will pushing against mine, not realizing that we are one. Ooh. She will make for a fierce heart. Is it really freedom then? If you're actually just taking them and forcing them to become part of you? You say it's freedom, but it's not really. Do huh? not mourn her. We will provide her with the growth she fought for. How many more vessels do I need to bring you? If I am to be an ocean, you have nurtured me into a pond. Oh, I'm a pond. My waters are shallow and murky, and I yearn for more perspective. Okay. You will have your rest in due time, and I am sorry for the burdens I place on you. They're free from thoughts? I guess so. Yeah, but that's not freedom. You don't have your own thoughts. You don't have your own... Life to live! Oh my gosh. It's getting deep. <laughs> what if I just destroy my body? Wait, so if I say I'm destroying my body instead of go back? Do I just like... Do I just... What happens? I'm getting some MGS2 vibes. I know, right? Try? Okay! Oh! You raise your will to end your life, but as it buries into the space you bought, your, your body should be, you feel nothing at all. One of the many hands in front of you reaches forward and gently touches the side of your face. There's nowhere for you to be but here. Oh, okay. Okay. I have no body. <laughs> Wait, what? Um. There are no wrong choices. Remember that poem? Yeah. I'm ready to go back. I will long for your return, but it will give me time to reflect on what I am. Okay. We will meet again. <laughs> oh gosh. Could just give me a warning, please. Then it goes dark and we die. Fierce vessel, bring the adversary to her. Cool. You're on a path. Wait, in what was the this woods. one called? I missed it. And at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Wait, what was this song called? The Hero and the Princess? Oh! Wait. Same as chapter one. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Chapter ones are pretty much the same as before, but it... It wasn't. Oh, this la last time. Do, do, do. Thanks for the do, do, do. Legs, butt, booba. No, we like them hands. <laughs> uh, so yeah, maybe. We, well, we were kind of. Now we can actually. Yeah, I've always wanted to off a monarch. Viva la revolucion! That's the spirit. Yeah. Okay. Fine. If we're, let's go. Let's go kill a princess! You make your way yeah. up the short path to the We've cabin. We've been here! Let's go! We'll find the princess within. We skipped everything else. We don't need any more information. Let's go inside. <laughs> the interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty. Save and the, the frames. And the floor and walls are painted in a fine Save layer the frames! The blade. Oh, uh, take that blade. You take the blade from the go. table. Here we go. It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess and save the world without it. 
Wait, are we gonna get the same second chapter then, though? Because... The door to the basement last creaks time open. We... Her voice... Who's there? Oh! Wait. She sounds dangerous. Don't let it fool you. It's all it's part again. of the manipulation. Oh, it's... It's the hot... Yeah, the hot princess again. Wait. I thought it was gonna be the cute princess. Um, it's the first chapter again. No, but it's different. It's different, though. Let's just keep going. Good. You're still listening to reason. This is the greatest love story of all time. Living countless lives to meet your true love for a moment. <laughs> you walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? Oh! Uh, oh! I think I get it. Ah, if you grab the knife, it's a hot princess. If you leave the knife, it's a cute princess. Focus on ah, the task. Ha, 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 and there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? Yeah! Wait, should we riz her this time then? Oh, maybe we should risk her because she's not crazy cute. She's not the Ugu princess. Okay, well we killed her last time, so let's risk her. Okay. Um. <clears throat> okay, you caught me. I'm here to slay. You. Uh, I'm just here to talk. Then why did you bring a knife with you? Yeah, let's right, drop don't it. You dare. It's far Hold on, drop it. <sighs> Blade okay. tumbles out of your riz, trembling riz, riz. hands. Thank you. Maybe now we can... Against okay. your better judgment, you step forward. We'll be fine. I don't know what you're hoping to... Okay, so sorry. here we are. What an awkward start to a relationship. How would I get you out of here? You can't. Don't bother. I'm guessing you Hi, don't have the key then. Hi, I'm God. sure there's a key somewhere around here, and if there isn't... <laughs> And find the optimal way to infiltrate Shadow Shed. <laughs> well, we can always put that knife to good use. All right, we've done Hush, all she, of this, she. so sorry if I skip a little bit more. But um, let's uh, let's say it's pretty awkward. Yeah, well, it's kind of awkward. I know. I just said that. Now, why are you here to kill me? Um. I've been told things, but I'm not sure what to believe. Yeah, I'm not sure what to believe. It's true. Believe me. Shut the hell up. Believe me! <laughs> and do you think asking me what to believe is going to suddenly make everything crystal clear? Let's not pretend that's going to happen. As far as you're concerned, and as far as they're concerned, oh, that's a lot I'm going to say whatever I have to to get out of here. That's just the dynamic of our situation. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. We're a little hostile right now. I get it. I had the knife. That's my bad. We're, um, let's, let's say, uh, let's say, uh, um, you know, let's tell her that you're gonna end the world. Don't just tell her. <laughs> and I we can skip this. Out. If I'm supposed to be capable of ending the world, then how did I wind up here, chained to a wall? Have they told you why I'm allegedly so... Dangerous? No, and if I'm being honest, I'm more inclined to trust you than I'm inclined to trust them. I don't think I said that before. Oh. Oh. Sooner or later, you'll understand that I have your best interests at heart. Look at her little sweet little smile. Sooner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How sweet. Now be a pal and help me get out of here, would you? We can figure out how to deal with them after I'm free. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll see what I can do. You walk up to the chains binding the princess to the wall <coughs> and give them a tie. <coughs> They're large and heavy, far too solid for you to even imagine trying to break them apart. I got this. I'll use my mind. If you don't have the key, maybe you should go looking for it. I'm sure it's somewhere upstairs. Okay. Doubtful. Whoever locked the princess away down here intended for her well, to this never is the see same... the light of day. 
as before, they have just, just left with the, the key sassy princess somewhere in the cabin. Um. Uh, and if there isn't a key, do you have any ideas besides me cutting you out of here? Uh, let's ask that before we just leave. That would be fine. I can lose an arm. Oh my god! Girl! <laughs> she speaks with almost complete nonchalance. Okay. Gosh, I get it. If we were stuck down here for long enough, I'm sure we'd be nonchalant about cutting our way out. Anything to finally be free. That's what I'm saying! Okay. You attempt to make your way out of the basement, but the door at the top of the stairs slams shut. You hear the click of a lock <gasps> sliding into place. These bastards. Who are you someone guys? someone else here? Hey, let me Your out of here. Please are met with silence. Elita Sar, welcome to Bobby Fighty, thank to you. To slay the princess, and you won't leave until the task is done. <sighs> try you try to I'll repeat myself once again. You're here <gasps> to slay the princess, and you won't leave until the task is done. Narrator. You make your way back to the bottom of the stairs. I wish we had the stubborn this here. <laughs> so much easier if you'd simply slain her like you were supposed to. Hush, hush, hush. Easier for whom? Easier for everyone. I like how this is all the same text. It won't let me skip it, but it's all the same text from like the cute, cute one. But here, it's interesting. I heard the door slam. They locked you down here too, didn't they? Yeah, just in a different tone. Yeah, yeah. The knife. Pick it up and cut me out of here. Oh. Um. You won't like what happens if you do that. Shut up, narrator. You're so... Save the princess. Against <gasps> your better judgment, um, you place the blade warning. against the princess's arm, just <gasps> above the massive, unyielding chain. Oh, God. Her eyes. You cut into her <laughs> The blade oh, is God. sharp, and you make quick work of it. Before long, you're able to crack through bone, and she pulls the bleeding stub of her arm the through the big, iron. The big cord. eyes. She didn't so much as utter a sound. Oh. Free okay. from her bindings, She's the princess fine now. turns to face We're you. Good. Her fierce gaze meeting your eye. The big eyes. How is she so composed after losing an arm? You get it's used like to it. She isn't even bothered by it. You just get used to it. Thank you. Now let's get out of here. <laughs> Approach the locked door. No, we won't have any of that. The stakes are too high. You can't just let her escape into the world. Narrator! No, I just can't let her escape into the world. Stop it! As the princess approaches the bottom stair, okay, your so now body she's gonna steps kill forward me. and raises the blade. Now I'm really interested. We never got to see what happens after the, like the kind of... Uh, the kind of princess we get after this, so I'm really interested. Wait, this isn't fair. You can't just do that. Watch me. Uh, warn her! Stop that. I thought this was a little too easy. No! Oh! <gasps> Your body lunges forward to sink the blade into her back, but the princess swiftly moves Wait, out I of warned the way her, right? before you can connect. No, I warned her, right? Stop it! Stop resisting me! I am trying to get you out of here alive! I see, I picked the perfect time to crawl under my desk and put my face into my cat. <laughs> S uh, resist! The blade. Move. The. Blade. Yeah, new route, You're yeah. doing your best to help me, aren't you? I can see the conflict in your eyes. Yeah, she trusts me. She trusts me. I'll make this quick. Oh god, she's gonna kill me again. She steps forward and pries the blade from your rigid hands. Maybe I'll see you in another life. Oh! Yeah? So you s oh. And then she slits your throat with an almost clinical ease. Oh, she does it with so, so, so smoothly, unlike the other one. Her face remains unchanged as she watches you collapse to the ground, blood flowing from your butchered neck. <laughs> this is the end, isn't it? Bye! I'm afraid it is. Everything goes dark, and you die. I hope it was worth it. We're dead! Chapter 2, The Prisoner. Hmm. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. Love a woman who can actually kill and me. And <laughs> in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Princess! You're here to slay her. If you don't, 
it will be the end of the world. Um... Oh, you bastard! You're in for it now! My tricks? What on earth are you Might need to go get some more just water for soon. the first time. Don't forget what he did to us the last time Skeptic! Around. I wouldn't trust a word out of his mouth. Ah. There's got to be a way out of here. For us and for the princess. We just have to keep trying. I just wonder why the narrator... Like, what's the relationship between the Void Lady and the narrator? Like, it, it doesn't seem to probably... Like, he obviously knows that there's the end of the world. I'm so... I'm so... What's going on? The <laughs> skeptic is great. <laughs> Had a weird shower thought. If you started working out, we'd have to call you Bromu Ganpuff. <laughs> Thanks. I... Um... I mean, you can pro call me that already. I'm inclined to agree. If he doesn't remember what happened last time, maybe it's best to keep it that way. When she slit your throat with the same knife she used to cut her hand off, your blood mixed, it was kind of like an indirect kiss, right? <gasps> yeah, that's so romantic! We made a blood pact. Skeptic is my spiritual animal? <laughs> you know I'm I can excited hear you too, right? It's going to be a lot harder than you think to keep secrets from me. And as far as trying to help her goes, need I remind you how catastrophically dangerous she is to the world at large. I told you about the stakes of this situation less than a minute ago. Shh, shh. Uh, let's just go. A warning before you go in. Is she going to be a liar and a cheater? She will lie, <laughs> she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to yeah! stop you from slaying her. <laughs> Don't believe a word she says. Yes, yes, don't believe a word she says. Just go in, take the knife, and do what you're supposed to. Wink. All right. Did you just say wink out loud? <laughs> yeah? What about, what about it? No, I didn't. Wink. <laughs> just ignore this clown and focus on the princess. Oh, rise of the gladiators. Here we go. Wink. I like the skeptic. The interior of the cabin is less a cozy woodland retreat and more like a dungeon. A few pathetic Ooh. wisps of starlight attempt to illuminate the cold, uninviting stone walls, and thick, wrought iron bars barricade the windows, reminding anyone who enters. Should that we this betray her trust? Prison. Maybe if she does trust me, we'll see. The only furniture of note is an iron table. No, I think I'm gonna go for like a floor, peaceful route. A pristine this time. blade perched on its edge. Maybe I'll go for a peaceful route. You know, no genocide route this time. Mm, we'll see. Yeah. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Riz her again. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. No sands under tail. Yeah, I mean, he's kind of a tough fight, so... Yeah, maybe we don't even take the blade. Uh, let's approach the mirror. You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. What are you talking about? This isn't a wall. It's a mirror. Or at least it'll be a mirror once we wipe off that layer of grime. Wipe it. Reach Ooh. forward, rub your hand against yes. the cabin wall. I hope yes. you know how ridiculous you look right now. Wow. It looks like... Um... So many scribbles. But there was a mirror a second ago. And now it's gone. If he doesn't want us to know about it, it must be important. We should keep our eyes peeled. <laughs> Maybe it'll be back. You guys stop it. I see your comments. Alright, here we go. Into the basement. I'm afraid I'm going to insist we take the blade. We're in a dangerous situation, and I'm not letting us go down there without a weapon. Skeptic, chill. Are you sure? What if she, I don't know, turns it against us? Which I'm bringing up in a purely hypothetical manner. Uh-huh. Yes, I'm sure. Uh, well, I'm sure too. Turns it against you? She's a prisoner here. She'll only be able to turn it against you if you give it to her. Which you won't be doing because she's an existential threat to the entire world. Oh, I could give it to her. Hmm. Okay. I'm trusting you. Hey, don't I get to say here? What's the big idea? <laughs> yeah, actually. Normally, yeah, but not about this. 
call it a reflex. <gasps> we take the knife as we go. Hey! Wow. Oh! You do exactly <coughs> that, sweeping the knife from the table before proceeding to the basement. Sorry. Okay. Don't worry about it. We have a knife. Ugh. So what? It's not like we have to use it. Mutiny! Um... No, you don't have to do anything, but you do well to use it regardless. <sighs> Moving on. New emo! Welcome to Poppy Party! Or welcome back! Thank you! You can slay me anytime. Hey. Ah, the skeptic's being so pushy. Come on, let me live my life. The door to the basement Whoa. creaks open, revealing an old stone staircase. A few sputtering torches attempt to vaguely illuminate your path, dancing across glimmering patches of slimy moss on the stone steps. Yummy. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. I want to lick this building. Her voice, harsh but controlled, carries up the stairs. Is that a visitor I hear? Please, come downstairs. It's been a while since I've had company. Does she remember us? Yeah. You walk down oh, the stairs and look wow. eyes at the princess. She looks up at you, the heavy collar around her neck clanking loudly as she moves, the chains binding both her wrists to the far oh wall, joining the metallic chorus as she adjusts her hands in her lap. This one's open. Should we be worried about the one around her neck? I think this is the first time we've ever seen her properly secured. <laughs> Why would you be worried about her restraints? If anything, they'll make your job easier. No, oh, I want to riz her even more now. Have you noticed the empty chain on the wall? Odd that in a place where everything seems to serve a distinct purpose, there would be something so obviously useless. This one's for me. And then I'll become her dog. What an interesting <coughs> development. Why don't you have a seat? The two of us should chat before you bury that thing in my heart. No, I didn't want to take this. They made me do it. Um... I'm not sure I need to do much of anything. Do you see how locked up she is? I'm just going to leave her here. <laughs> no, no, we're gonna sit down, we're gonna have a tea party. You step towards the princess, but she stops you before you get too close, holding up one shackled hand. Right. There is fine. I'd prefer we keep some distance until we've sorted this out. Okay, right. That's reasonable. We do have a weapon. Might hmm. as well put her at ease. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Just turn around and leave. Yeah, we're gonna sit where you were told to. Oh, but I want to get closer to her. Wait a second. That's. That's open. That is not around her wrist, right? <laughs> Am I the only one seeing this? It. You can clearly see that it's not fastened. <laughs> There's definitely a gap. <clears throat> Um, okay, we'll just sit where we're told to sit then. You do as she asks and sit on the floor, still a good distance away from her. Yes. Thank you. Now, what are your intentions for me? She's so kudere. Uh, what are my intentions? What do you mean? Um, I've been here before. Am I the only one who remembers that? What happened after I died last time? The other chain on the wall. Who is it for? It's for me. <laughs> it's for me. Uh -uh. What would you have me do? Um, I think I'm just going to leave you here, actually. You're not much of a threat to anyone locked up like that. Bye! Let's do... Let's ask her. Or let's say what happened after I died last time. Oh, are we talking about that? I thought we weren't going to give away the game. But sure, I'll fill you in. Yeah, I want to know what happened. Nothing happened. You died. I went upstairs. I couldn't leave. I found myself in a new place in chains again. More of them. Yeah, way more of them. And now you're back. Is that really all she knows? Mm. It's not like we have much of a clue about how things work. Mm. And she's probably even more in the dark than we are. I think she's my favorite princess so far. <laughs> is, it is it the chains, you guys? <laughs> she kind of um uh she looks like the like the gajinkas that people draw of that um you know how there's like Bowsette 
uh, people will draw like the chain chomp kajinkas. That's what she kind of rem she kind of rem she reminds me of that mixed with like a um, mixed with boozet. Chain Chompet! <laughs> yeah! You're looking at me like I might be hiding something. I'm not. Oh, I'm not. That inflection. <laughs> I guess it's possible she really doesn't know anything. Maybe both of us are stuck in this loop without any idea why. That's the case! First you make a comment kind of. about having been here before, and now this. As much as I would like to remain in denial, it's no use. <laughs> We're not in Egypt. This has complicated things. We are in... Mm. Fantasy world. It's complicated things how, exactly? Ideally, this was supposed to be one and done. You go to the cabin, you heroically slay the princess, and in the process you save the entire world from being damned to oblivion. Joke reuser? Hey! It's not my fault he keeps saying denial. <laughs> The situation right now, where you're getting a second shot at things, is a contingency. Okay. A contingency for what? For you failing, obviously. And you being here means that things are going to be a lot harder than they were. I really shouldn't say anything Why else. Why do we I'm have voices in our heads? Just good luck. Thanks. If you knew this could happen, why didn't you tell us? All of this is incredibly valuable information. It would have changed our actions considerably. I needed you to be in the dark for as long as I could keep you there. It's important. Necessary, even. I might need to get more water in a minute. And maybe I wanted to be the first version of me that you met. Oh. I didn't want to be confronted by the alternative. Oh, are you jealous? Are you jealous that we had another narrator before you? It's okay, my the previous narrator is like in the past. That guy, that guy means nothing to me now. All I care about is you now, narrator. That's pathetic. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> the skeptic is like... <laughs> sorry. I never said I wasn't. Aww, it's okay to be a little pathetic. I get it. It would be pretty upsetting, wouldn't it? To know that you might not be the first version of yourself. At least we can remember what happened before. Seems like we should count ourselves lucky for that. Hmm. Exactly, he gets it. You're lucky. So don't Called waste out that by luck yourself. by messing it up again. <laughs> Alright? Moving on. Why is it important for us to be ignorant? How is it ever helpful to be in the dark? That's what I've been saying! Gosh, the skeptic understands. The more understand. I say, the more your mind will swim into dangerous waters. Even saying that is too much. Are you saying that we shouldn't think for ourselves? That if we are given all the information, we will be... We will possibly think of a, a conclusion that differs from what you want us to do? Hmm? Huh? Yeah, dangerous for who? You just want us to be head empty, no thoughts, so that we just listen to your to every word you say? Your success hinges on you having imperfect information. For the sake of the entire world, you need to accept that. Yeah, and I you need to accept that I want to riz the princess, okay? I won't. I won't. Fine. But you won't get another word from me on the matter. Yeah, sure. We'll see about that. Mm -hmm. Just give it a rest. This isn't helping. Focus. This is a serious situation. <laughs> you shouldn't be daydreaming. We've just been sitting here in silence, like kind of like disassociating this entire time. Have you guys seen those clips where it's just like from Death Note and it's like light and L talk but without the inner monologues <laughs> so it's just them sitting across the table like saying nothing for five minutes <laughs> it's literally the same thing uh, oh yeah who is that chain for I don't know but you could always try it on <laughs> yeah, yeah 
Maybe it'll fit. Oh, she's smiling. At she wants I me. I hope I don't actually have to say this, but please don't lock yourself in chains. We need you ambulatory if you're going to save the world. Will it let me? Inspect the shackle. I wouldn't do that if I were you. <laughs> and why is that? Do I even need to explain myself? It's a shackle, and it's one without a key. Do you want to be stuck here like she is? And what? Is it going to lock the second we put our wrist into it? Ra oh, I was thinking around my neck. I don't know. Maybe it will. Okay, then we'll be trapped here. He doesn't want us to look at it. That's all the reason we need to investigate. So true! But what if he's telling the truth? Shh, shh, shut up, Harold. He isn't. Yeah, he is. I am. No, 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 no. Inspect the shackle. <laughs> Against your better judgment, you approach the chain dangling from the far wall. The princess watches you with faux disinterest as you inspect it, though she can't fully hide her curiosity. Uh -huh. I don't want to say what I'm supposed to say next. Oh no! Wait, what's gonna happen? What is that supposed to mean? It sounds bad. <laughs> is it bad? No. Yes, it's bad. Well, you have a different definition of bad than I have a definition of bad. Come out and say it then. You're just wasting time. Fine. As you hoist the shackle, its heft shifts within your grasp, as if pulled by some odd magnetism. Before you can so much as <gasps> it is around our neck from your hands, snapping around your neck. Does it fit? And as if your situation weren't bad enough. The same magnetism repels your blade, which is flung from your hand and sent skittering across the floor of the basement. Yeah, we're accessorizing. Um, excuse me? <clears throat> oh, it's happening! We're the dog! <laughs> yes? Yes? Are we stuck here now? Oh! Prison of yes. the mind. Become your own jailer. <laughs> We're just here now. Oh, huh, so it does fit. And I guess it doesn't like your knife. We're stuck here together, aren't we? That's funny. Yeah, it is, isn't it? What are we supposed to do now? Um... Can't even cut ourselves out. Guess we'll... starve. This game is so romantic. I know, right, Cole? <laughs> Welcome back, thank you. That's horrible. It's not all bad. We learned a valuable piece of information. What's that? Not to touch things we're specifically told not to touch. Hey, 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 hey. No, that there's something special about this loose chain. It's clearly important. Oh. Did you know, uh, so we're both stuck here? What should we do? Did you know this was going to happen to me? Yeah, let's ask her. No. No. <laughs> no. Oh, okay. Uh, so we're both stuck here. Yep. Yeah. And, uh, not one for small talk, are you? Nope. Okay. That's rude. I don't mind that in a lady. It's okay. What should we do? Oh. Um, have you heard of a game called... Metal Gear Solid? You and the princess wait in silence, though neither of you knows what you're waiting for. But you're waiting for something. You're waiting for anything. Why don't we just keep talking? This is so boring. <laughs> there must be something we can do to get out of here. <laughs> there must be something we're missing. But there isn't. There could be. Well, we just need to be as stubborn as the other guy. Time passes. Yeah. It passes and passes and passes. And the basement of the cabin remains much the same. It is cold and silent. Well, if we die, she's got to die too, right? She's going to starve also. At least the world also. is safe. Yeah. It isn't. You're stuck. Too far away from both the princess and your blade to do much of anything. Cool. But she's not ending anything. She's just sitting there. Yeah. Her very existence is a threat. It harms everything around it. What? That makes no sense. How exactly does that work? Yeah. It just does. This is so frustrating. But your line of questioning is interrupted by the passage of even more time. And after that, even more time passes again. <laughs> and let me guess. The cabin remains the same. 
Oh, and you guys just never shut up in my little head. If time is passing, the cabin can't be the same. Even if the differences are small, they have to exist. That's just how things work. Yeah. Oh. I suppose you're correct. Oh. Things are changing. The differences are small at first. A bit of weathering here, a bit of erosion yeah, yeah. there. Wait, it's getting darker? Then they get larger. And larger. Wait, is it getting darker or am I going crazy? I can't tell. Oh. Hey, have you noticed the basement changing? I don't like small talk. Remember? Oh, okay. it is? Okay. I'm just gonna say, I'm gonna, why don't I just keep talking? Still rude. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna keep waiting. Da, 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 da. Oh, oh! You continue to wait in silence, and the cabin continues to change. The decay comes faster now. You can see earth through holes in the stonework, wow. and watch lichen spread along the seams of the walls. That doesn't make sense. Has our entire concept of time changed? What happened to starving? We should have died by now if the rocks around us are starting to erode. Right? She hasn't starved. And yeah, she's not aging or anything. I guess she hasn't. She is perfect. La la oh, is that a tree? Oh no, that's... Even um, more silent time passes as you watch roots push themselves through the okay. increasingly cool. porous walls of the basement. Dirt seeps inside, flowing across the stone floor like a wow. liquid. Everything is going so fast. Covering the ground and threatening <laughs> to swallow you both. Time continues to pass and pass. She seems unfazed. And pass. So I'm not going to worry either. Until suddenly, there are oh. no walls. And then... Wait, she's free! And? We're free! I think he's gone. Oh, here comes the void. Coming in to take our soul. Would you look at that? We made it out of the cabin, and nothing bad had to happen to either of us. Yeah, that's cool. So this is the outside world. It's cold. Oh. No, it's quite lovely, actually. You'll get used to becoming a tree person. Oh, there she goes! Or, you know. <laughs> see, see you next time. <laughs> You do not get the chance to respond, nor you will you ever. It's time to leave. Memory returns. Wow, we got here so quickly. She's gone. Where did she go? Should we try and find I her? I never get to chapter three, do I? I only got to chapter three once. <laughs> and there's that mirror again. Why is it here? Why now? Maybe I should just keep trying to die more. Um... I'll just go approach the mirror. You approach the mirror, and I'm gazing. Am I more bloated? I'm scared. Oh, decay! I've withered! Ew! You find yourself in the long quiet once again. Let's go to the cabin. I'm at the cabin. I've become I'm jelly. A growing chorus of contradiction. A mass of tides ebbing and oh my God. flowing all I love the chain. More directions than my attention can bear to hold. To look at any one is to shift them all into something new. And to look away is to reshape them yet again. All of me is changing. And yet the rest of me is still the same. You can't be a contradiction. Contradictions don't exist. Wait, what? What does that mean? <laughs> um. Let's see. Oh. Uh, it doesn't matter how many times I go back. At least one of us always hurts the other. Doesn't that change you? Doesn't that make you worse? Actually, no one got hurt last time. She just didn't like it outside. Which I totally understand. She literally was like a hiki neat, and she had to go outside and she touched grass and she said, I don't like it, and got pulled by the hands. So. Yeah. Oh, she did slip my throat that one time. That's true. Yeah. It changes me, but it doesn't make me worse. 
nor does it make me care for you any less. Does it make you worse? Do you resent me? No. If anything, it makes me like you more. I don't know what that says about me. <laughs> no, not really. It all seems so distant as soon as I'm near you. I have no, opin no opinion one way or the other on the matter. I just want it all to stop. Yes, you're torturing me and I hate it. I think I hate you. No, I think I'm gonna be a simp though. I mean, like, it's kind of romantic that I get to see her every time and I, I don't know. It says that your heart is gentle, that even in the darkness you are guided by compassion. Yeah, that's what it says. <laughs> You can't be a contradiction. Contradictions don't exist. Uh -uh. And yet my waters flow and my streets bustle. There are no words that can describe me into non-existence. There is no <laughs> logic that can bind my multitudes. I am everything that you have known me to be. But I am also none of it. How can you stand to be a con contradiction? As easily as you can stand to be you. You are like me. Even if you have chosen not to look at the corners of you that do not fit. Even if you have chosen to ignore the brilliant contours of your soul. Um, we passed all of these. Before. Oh, do you know what happens to the worlds we leave behind? My perspectives are shattered. You have seen what I have seen. Just as I have seen what you have seen. The angles of my vantage do not offer me hidden truths. And my attention is turned inward. Except when you are here with me. Perhaps this will change when our work is done. Right. Um, have you figured out what you'll want when we've finished? The desires of my multitude thrive in endless she got the competition <laughs> with themselves. But none of them rise above their dance to influence me. Okay. I yearn for what I have always yearned for. Our awakening. A our? Other desires shrink in the light of knowing you and knowing me. Wait, uh, uh, us? Who? I don't know what my streets are bustling means, but I'm incorporating it into my vocab. <laughs> She's speaking in prose, and I just am so... Mm. Do you still not care what I bring you next? These ones we've said before, so... I care about your gifts, but I have no preferences to burden you with. Even if I did. I would never dare to tarnish our relationship by assuming myself It means you. they're bussin'. Bustlin'. Oh wait, let's ask what she thought of this one. This one is cold and cynical. She has protected herself when others could not. She will make for a clever heart. A clever heart? Do not mourn her. She doesn't need to be protected any longer. Um, all right. So you don't have any preferences on how you'd like to... Oh, we asked that before, too. How many more vessels? Is she still we a pawn? We when we near our destination. Okay. Cool. I'm ready to go back. I will be here when it is time for us to meet oh, again. I'm scared. Ah! Ugh. I was turning the volume down. <laughs> Bring the prisoner to her. The hero and the princess. You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of oh. that path is a Kay. cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Let's go get our cute little princess. And this time we will have her stab us. And then I will go visit her again. I won't leave. <laughs> How many more left? I don't even know. Do I have to get all of them to get like the full ending? There's so many. 
Two more? Oh, I don't? No, not all. You don't need all. Oh, okay. Gosh, awesome. Just a few. Okay. Yippee! You locked yourself out of the damsel, remember? No, I don't think so. I don't... I don't think so, right? It hasn't locked me out of anything before. Since... The first time? Yeah, I'm gonna leave the knife upstairs. You're here I'm to slay. Um. Uh, let's just go to the cabin. You make your way up. Skip cabin. Oh, why water? Yeah, let me go get some water real quick. I'll be right back. You guys can listen. <laughs> the interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale right and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. I'm back, sorry. I actually had no hot water, so I had to heat it up. Ugh. I forgot to press auto, so that I would just go, but we'll just skip it. 
Uh. <clears throat> now I have fresh tea. the basement the door to the basement creaks open skip um hi don't be a stranger it's been so long skip oh there she is oh my gosh do you think you can get me out of these chains it's been a while okay it's been a while since we've talked to her <laughs> it's been a long time since we've seen her wait so it's not stopping. <clears throat> okay. Mm, um. I was sent here to slay you. Yeah, it's our Ugu princess that we haven't seen in so long. Let's say I was sent to here to slay you. Um, but I don't think you're actually dangerous. I wanted to see you for myself. I'm sure not sure what to believe. I'm starting to think it's true. There's something about you that doesn't feel right. Yeah, I'll say I, I wanted to see you for myself. It, is that why they threw me down here? But I don't want to hurt anyone. I, I like the world, I think. She thinks? Hmm. I don't remember much about it, to be honest. I've been down here for so long. Ooh, cool. I believe her. <laughs> this princess can barely even kill us. Yeah. That's how long has she been locked away? Did they tell you how I'm supposed to end the world? No. They didn't tell me anything. Um, uh, which is why I don't think you're actually dangerous. Sooner or later, you'll learn to trust me. Shh, Hopefully it won't be too late when you finally come around. <clears throat> Thank you for believing me. No. Can you help me get out of here? All right, we're gonna let her out, you guys. We're gonna get to chapter three. Maybe. <laughs> um, I'll see what I can do. You walk up to the chains binding the princess to the wall and give them a tug. The thing is, is we've had both endings now, so I feel like it has to allow us to go to the second one, right? Like, we had the ending where we try to kill her, and we... Did the other one, there's no other thing we can do, right? So, it has to, I feel like. I don't know. We'll see. They're large and heavy. Far too solid for you to even imagine trying to break them Yeah, I guess we'll apart. just see what happens. <laughs> I'm guessing you don't have the key? Ah, uh, no. We've Maybe been it's somewhere upstairs. Yeah. Doubtful. Whoever locked the princess away down here intended for her to never see the light of 20 death. endings of just this just chapter? Left the key to her chains somewhere in the cabin. Wait, 20 endings of just this chapter? Seriously? Uh That's insane. Um I'm I'm um do, uh do you have any other ideas? Maybe there's some way to break the chains? Yeah. Or if that doesn't work, I guess we can always cut me out of them. <laughs> she said that. She last offers time the too. suggestion with if we were stuck down here. A skip. Oh, okay. Uh, let me out of here. Your shouts and pleas are met with silence. Oh, like in total. Oh, no. I meant like there's only so many options you can do. I'll repeat myself. In once this again. chapter is what You're I'm saying. You're <laughs> here to slay the princess, and you won't leave. Shut up, narrator. Try the. You try the door. No. You make your way to the bottom of the stairs. This would have been so much easier if you'd just taken the blade like you were supposed to. <clears throat> Alright. Easier for whom? For whom? Easier for everyone. Look at the mess All you're right. in. Alright. I heard the door slam. Let's they skip ahead. Oh, oh! Okay. Um, wait. Why is it on? Wait. Um, 
Whoa, a lot happened here. <laughs> uh, I saw her chop off her chop off her hand. We got to miss that. Thank goodness. Um. Uh, what if I press skip again? Skipping. <laughs> uh. Um. There's no other option. Without hesitation, <gasps> you bring the blade down and plunge it into the princess's back. Fine. Oh, God! The wound drives her to the ground. Oh! 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 oh. It was the only thing I could do! Okay. There's no going back mm. now. I'm with you to the end. You... you bastard. Were you lying to me this whole time? No. Oh. The princess pushes away from you, the motion ripping the blade from her back. Uh-oh, she's gonna eat me. Wounded, but still alive, she crouches on all fours in the corner of the room and meets your eyes with the ferocity of a cornered predator. She's growling at me. <laughs> You've made a terrible enemy, and there's nothing in the world that can possibly save you from me. <laughs> oh, yeah. I thought we had the upper hand, Yeah, no damsel, I guess. It's as if she's barely even threatened by us. It's an act. She's wounded and unarmed. There's nothing she can do um, to hurt you. Shut up, narrator. You are so stupid. I'm not so sure. Yeah. Don't waver now. <laughs> As you ready your blades to deliver a lethal blow, she lunges at your legs with the same animal ferocity she used to tear it yeah. arm. Why would he say that when we literally watched her, like, rip off her arm? Like, I just don't... <laughs> Your knife cuts into her again, and again as you're tackled to the ground, your body racked with pain as she rips into you with tooth and claw. This part again. Forget about trying to rescue her. This is about survival now. Give her everything you've got. The game gave me no choice, princess. Oh, slay the princess. Though your nerves are seizing with pain, you know you've done your fair share of damage as well. Your blade having left deep gashes in the princess's back. Yeah. You seize a moment of hesitation to throw her off of you and shakily push yourself back to your knees. All right, princess. <laughs> I'm coming for you. We can still turn this around. Yeah, we can. Um. Give up. Run for the stairs and lock her in the basement. Maybe she'll bleed out. Whoa. Mmm. I'm not a quitter. But. Uh, there's no scroll. I'm scrolling right now. It doesn't go up or down. Mmm. Hmm. hmm. If give up would just mean that she like attacks me and kills me, right? Hmm. Hmm. But like this seems just stupid. Like. <gasps> She won't bleed out. We know that won't happen. I think I'm gonna give up. You know what? Life is hard. Are you serious? As what's left of your blood pools around you on the cobblestone floor, the blade falls from your trembling hands and clatters uselessly <laughs> against the ground. <clears throat> I suppose you simply lacked the will to finish the hey, job. Hey, don't, don't insult me like that, narrator. It, it took Will to drop the knife. The princess, wounded but still alive, nervously jumps at the blade and kicks it far away from you before retreating into a dark corner of the room. She's like, she's like, my precious. Her shining eyes watch you from the darkness, unblinking and curious as you bleed out. She's such a wild animal. <laughs> we can only hope the wounds you managed to inflict will be enough to at least delay her escape from this place. If we're very lucky, They'll kill her before she can reach the outside world. I don't think they will. After all this time alone, I thought I'd finally found a friend. But you were just another monster, weren't you? No! No! This is the end, isn't it? We're, before you can answer, friend zone. everything goes dark, and you die. Womp womp. The Beast. Wait, did we get that one before? You're on a path in the woods, no. and at the end of that path is a cabin. 
And in the basement of that cabin... Yeah, we had the witch. ...is a princess. Wait. Mm. The beast. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Um, she's gonna kill me again. <laughs> okay, no. <laughs> A terrible sense of deja vu. No, you don't have that. This is the first time either of us have been here. Right. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. Yeah. If he doesn't remember what happened, then something else must have trapped Voice us Voice of the Hunted. You're not trapped here. Nobody's forcing you to do anything. Mm -hmm. Though the only sensible thing for you to do right now is march up to that cabin and slay the princess. Deja vu. I've just been in this place before. I'm pretty sure this whole thing literally we just We could happened. go back and forth on this forever, and it won't get you any closer to doing your job and saving the world. Right, saving the world. So let's just agree to disagree. Okay. Well, let's just go to the cabin. Here we go. Here a we... A warning before you <gasps> go any further. Is she going to be a liar and a cheat? She will lie, <laughs> she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. <laughs> Don't believe a word she says. Okay. Does a cat lie to a cornered mm. mouse when it plays with its freedom? Or is it just acting out its nature? Mm. I don't see why that matters. How do you do it every time, a lie's a lie, and I don't if know. anything, she's the one who's cornered. <laughs> she could have gotten out of there whenever she wanted to. We should trust nothing that she tells us, only what we hear and smell. That's a very roundabout way of saying that you should listen to me and take this seriously. Oh, excuse you. Um, that is not at all what he said. Maybe. Hey, buddy. Sniffer. <laughs> the interior of the cabin oh. is ruinous and dilapidated. This it looks feels so like normal, no one has actually. lived here for a long time. No. Wind rushing in through cracks and holes in the wooden walls. It's a little slanted. The but only furniture it looks so of normal. is a termite eaten table with a pristine blade perched on its edge. Mm. Do we take The blade it? is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. I feel like they're gonna force me to take it. <clears throat> Approach the mirror. You walk up to As the wall next to the time? basement door. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. What are you talking about? This isn't a wall. It's a mirror. It's a mirror. Or at least it'll be. It'll be a mirror once we lay our layer of you grime and now we and caress rub your the, hand wall. Against the cabin wall. I love I touching you know the how wall. You look right now. Yes, touch the wall, touch the wall. <laughs> but there was a mirror a second ago. <laughs> yeah. And now it's gone. Interesting. I think I'm just gonna go. I don't think I'm gonna take the knife. No steel claw. Do you think we can talk our I way knew out of this? they were gonna force me. I don't me. think she wants to talk. Shh, shh, this guy's kind of creepy. I knew they were gonna force me though. I guess we'll just have to trust that we made the right call. It'll still be here if we need it. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm oh, good. We get to go. Never mind. The door to the basement creaks open, oh, it's creepy. revealing what's left of an old wooden staircase. It's still sturdy enough that you can make your way down in one piece, <coughs> one piece. though you'll have to be mindful of holes. The air be seeping careful. up from below is oddly warm and wet, Ew. as if you're descending into a jungle. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. You say that every time. She growls up the stairs. I can smell you. Are you sure? No, I showered. I swear I did. She sounds almost... Feral. Feral. Impatient. Or maybe... Eager. Oh, eager. You carefully make your way down the stairs. The last step gives way to the damp earth floor of a starlit pit. Wait, is she just a full-on animal? The obscured by an impenetrable darkness. Oh no, giving wait. Giving the illusion that the room might stretch on forever. This looks like the Lion King. You brush against oh, the wide leaves of plants that surround you on all sides, seemingly the only living things that occupy this strange underground uh -oh. wilderness. Are we going to have like a Nala moment helping here? Can you feel the love? Tonight, <laughs> the circle of life is gonna happen in here. Oh, um, 
um, I don't know if I want this. I mean, if I was ready for this on my channel. I know some other members would really be eager, but um, I'm just gonna claw, tickle the tail. <laughs> the jungle is pressing in on us, hiding her from view. She could be anywhere. She, I literally see her tail. You see only a flash of the princess before she scurries away into the underbrush, dragging her heavy chain behind her. <laughs> Remember, she's just a princess. Mm. A lion princess! A lion princess! She's Nala! She is certainly not just a princess. <laughs> yeah, what? You're not helping. It doesn't matter what she is. <coughs> it only matters what she does. Okay. Her shining eyes <gasps> appear between oh god. the leaves. Oh my god. Staring hungrily it's kind of scary. From the darkness. It's actually kind of scary. I don't like that. I can hear your heart pounding from the bottom of the stairs, fledgling. You're right to be terrified. I'm so much more than you. A shiver <gasps> rushes up your spine and pulls you upright. <gasps> um. The air's shifting. She's getting ready to pounce. Move, now. This is why we're the hunted. Um. Uh, let's see. Okay, we got where... Don't you hear that clinking? She's in chains again. We're fine. You're about to attack me, aren't you? I can see right through you. We don't have to kill each other. You know that, right? Or we just move or stand still? No. Um, good thing this isn't timed, right? <laughs> well, uh, for now, we'll move. You lunge at the sound, picking a direction on instinct. As you land, you're buffeted by a gust of air, disturbed by the sudden oh, motion God. of a massive body. The princess. The prin- I don't- I, um, the, 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 the princess! In an instant, she's pounced on the spot where you would have been. Oh, I don't her think she's alive. rattling across the floor behind her. I think she's... Um, a unicorn? Before you can blink, she's gone, vanishing once more into the shadows. But you still feel her gaze on you. You're faster than you were before, but you're still meek, reactive, prey. Prey. You whirl around <laughs> to find her, and your gaze meets hers, a pair of shining eyes peering out at you from just beyond the basement stairs. Oh gosh, I don't even know what at all to do in this. So she's cut off our escape. Shit, what do we do? Um, we don't, we don't, we should have taken the blade. <laughs> um... <clears throat> uh, let's see, we have What do you want? We don't have to kill each other What if I helped you? What if we left together? If you could get out of here on your own Wouldn't you have already left? Stop hiding and show yourself I was sent to kill you because you're a threat to the world I'm starting to believe that's true Or we run for the stairs Let's, let's say, let's, hey, hey, I'm trying to help you I'm trying to help you You We're cannot reason your way out of this, fledgling There's no compromise with what I am Oh no, do you not like being a beast? Oh my gosh, wait. T tail as old as time. Da -da 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 -da. At least she's up front about her intentions. Uh, song as. Wait, I don't remember the words. Um. Let's see. What do you want? I want to swallow you whole. Ooh, uh, and I will get what I want. You have no exit. You have no hope. You live and die by my <clears throat> whims. Be and my guest. whims alone. Be our guest. Put our service to the test. <clears throat> be stars now! We're not in be stars Don't now. ask her what she wants. Just run for the blade upstairs and slay <clears throat> her with it. No, no, no. I'm trying to Is get her... Is that all the advice you have? We don't even know what she looks like. Some specifics would be very helpful. Do we want to see her lovely She's form? She's just a princess. Don't overthink Oh my it. god, narrator, stop! She's clearly not. <laughs> She's coiling for another strike. Be somewhere else. Oh, okay. We're on the back foot. Okay. The back foot keeps us nimble. Keeps us alive. Keeps us alive. It doesn't matter if it keeps us alive, if it eventually kills us. We need to take back the momentum. We need to do something. Um... 
Play dead? Survive? Uh, she's not gonna believe us playing dead, right? Um, but it might it might make us look innocent, and she'll be she'll be like, oh, cute. Hey, Pomo, how's the princess slaying going? David, ah, welcome back. Thank you. It's going awesome. We've slayed. I mean, girl, we've slayed. And we've slayed. We've, like, killed people. But that's, you know, neither here nor there. Always remember Pomu Hakuna Matata. <laughs> Thanks for the do do do. All right, maybe we survive. Spring to the <gasps> jungle, barely moving out of the way before the princess surges past you with a speed that makes so her practically scary. unseen. So scary. I hope they never show us what she looks like. Ugh. Um. Let's see. Why do you want to kill me? Why does anything kill anything else? She needs to. She needs to what? I didn't say I wanted to kill you. Oh yeah? It sounds like she wants to do something even worse. <gasps> um. I don't know. Um. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Words. What she wants only matters if she wins, and you're not going to let that happen. Shut up, narrator. We're having fun right now. We're playing. <clears throat> Why do you want to eat me? I don't question who I am or what I want. I simply do. To act is always better than to react. To do is always better than to watch. She's the woman of my dreams, Bozo Ranger. Can see why you call them why they call you Bozo. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this, but you do well to listen to her. Less standing around asking questions, more doing exactly as I say. Shut a tickling up, Mary. sensation there. rises at the base of your neck. Um Flee. Flee I can't keep doing this. Should I just What if I do stay alive? What if I do play dead? But she's just gonna, she just, she doesn't want to kill me. She just wants to eat me. So if I play dead, she's gonna be like, wow, that was easy. You know? Hmm. Let's stay alive for now. Oh, Whoa, what's going on? <laughs> or maybe she's a little faster. You avoid her slavering jaws, but she manages to graze you. Her titanic momentum skinning you along your side. Oh, no. It's like being sideswiped by sandpaper. How is she that fast? Ugh. Well, there You're she is. You're bleeding now. Oh. You smell it? You like it? You Am I still stinky touch to your you? Side, testing her claim. It's wet and stings from the gentle touch of your fingertips. Ooh. A costly mistake. We can't make it again. Yeah. We will make it again unless something changes. Okay, yeah, we have we to... We have to break the pattern. Okay, we do, we do. We need more time. She's cutting off our escape. Oh, so if I'm on that side, I can run up. I Our get it. game is nearing its end. No, it's not. What if I tell her, stop hiding and show yourself? If you want to see me, you should get better at seeing. Oh, skill issue. Human? Oh, wait, I'm not a human. Bird person? She knows that her strength lies in shadows and secrets. Secrets. She won't reveal herself unless she has to. She's more tense this time. She means this next blow to be the last. Uh-oh. The mere thought of moving again makes your bloodied side ache. Uh-oh. Um... We're exhausted. We're bleeding. Oh. We're still alive. We owe it to ourselves Use to your move. flashlight on your phone. Again. Or I can play dead. I'm gonna play dead. We're playing dead. <laughs> It's unexpected. <laughs> it could work. As the princess lunges from the shadows once more, you collapse to the ground, feeling Wait. death. She lands directly her. on top of you with her full weight, nearly crushing you into the dirt, but then... Silence. Only broken by the sound of your beating She's heart. gonna hear my heart! It actually worked, didn't it? No, Only, it didn't. what do we do to make her leave? Do we just keep playing dead? Um, I got an achievement that was opossum. Fool the predator by playing dead. She sniffs at you, <gasps> shifting her weight uncomfortably as her face finds yours. She's her gonna hear my heartbeat, though, right? Against your skin. 
Have Ooh. you seen my great big eyes? Oh. Because they see you, fledgling. They see your heartbeat pulsing in your throat. Oh, such big eyes, Grandma. All the more to see you with your heartbeat pulsing in your throat. I knew move. It. Now. It's oh! too late for you to move. Her jaw unhinges yeah. and she swallows you whole. Oh, nice. I guess that's it then, isn't it? <laughs> she actually bored us, no! <laughs> Unfortunately for you, no. This isn't it. Wait, we get to live inside? Oh, oh in God! Oh, a God, no, don't touch the lining walls! constricts around you, its slick surface impossible to grip. Your hands scrabbling uselessly at your surroundings as they compress in on you. Your lungs can barely expand in such a tiny space. Not that the humid finite air grants you more than a few shallow breaths at a time. Wait, but look at our claws! Just start clawing your way out, man! Like, if we just go... Like a little... Like a little ferret... She's gonna be dead! Just claw your way out! The liquid ah! cooling beneath you starts to seep into your skin. Oh, there's the acid. <laughs> then sting. Then burn as the acid begins its slow oh. work. There's the acid. When I killed you, I oh, tried no, we to can still leave hear. this place, but it wouldn't let me. You belong down there, it screamed at me. The world is better off without you in it. Oh, don't talk to me while I'm in your stomach, lady. The flesh around you rumbles as the princess begins to move, her thundering footfalls twisting you helplessly about. Your skin protests as the corrosive liquid sloshes around you, but there will be no respite for you in sight. The burning grows stronger, and you can feel layers of you being peeled away. Is this the appeal of Vor? Or, um, I can't ever say that I've consumed any Vor media, so I'm not sure if this is how is, um... But you, you don't belong down here. <laughs> you came from somewhere else. You came from out there. So I consumed your dead heart, and I carried it in my throat. And I draped what was left of you on my back. And I threw myself against that door. Uh, wait, are you, wait, what? She stops, her muscles tensing around you. And through the muffling layers of her flesh, you hear the whine of straining metal. And with a pop, she lurches forward, your body lurching right along with her. What's going on? Her chains. She's loose. Okay. But even then, it denied me freedom. You cannot fool me by draping yourself in decay. I know your true nature, and it is suffering. Gravity pulls at you as you're hefted upwards, the distant creaking of ancient wooden steps barely audible over the thudding of the princess's heart. Oh. And then it was gone, and I was here. A new enclosure, a nicer cage, but still a prison. Wait, did this all happen? How? I thought we just got swallowed. <laughs> what is going on? I learned from my wounds. You're alive now. We can leave together. Okay. Uh, oh, the last loop. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? <laughs> I was like, what? Does that work? Could she free herself if we're alive in here? Let's try it. Do you really need me to give you a definitive answer for you to understand that the situation is grim? Stop her. Do something. Oh, we can actually... We don't have steel, but we have tooth and claw. Tear through her. Oh, see? Before we are her. That's what I'm saying. Um, can you talk to the cabin? You could have asked me before swallowing me alive. <laughs> I have my steel claw. I could use it to hurt you. Claw and bite. Fine, you can leave. You can leave, just let me go. Wait for death. <laughs> Wait for death. Simple, I like it, you know? I say you can leave, just, or, like, let me go, or... You could have asked me before swallowing me alive. Um... Yeah, you can leave. Just let me go. Oh, can I? Yeah. 
the click of what you presume to be a door ripples through the layers of suffocating flesh. That wasn't so hard. Mm-hmm. You feel her take another massive step, and then another, and then... Oh, I got free a creature while under distress? Is that what it's... <laughs> and then? And then? It's gone quiet, hasn't <gasps> it? Oh, the narrator's... Oh, shit. Wait. We were supposed to die. Oh, no! Chapter 3! No! <laughs> oh! Oh. <laughs> Damn it! I forgot! <clears throat> you feel a churning in the forms around you, and then a wet tunneling, ew, before you are ejected to a place that is nowhere at all. I guess I don't need you to be a part of me. How lucky for you. Oh, why you look so Oh, we are looking bad. Oh, we're looking... Mm, a little like, you know, like we got... Um, dissolved in some acid, or... This place is cold. Edward. Edward. Oh. Edward. What else does she say? Uh, Edward. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there she goes! Aw, oh, man. I only got to chapter three once. Before you can say anything to her, she's gone. Memory returns. She's gone? Where did she go? And there's uh, that. In the mirror. I'm not even gonna talk to the hero. Sorry, buddy. Approach the mirror. And we're gazing. Are we now... Oh, gosh. We probably look really bad. Well, we probably look so bad. Um, You need to see what's in it. We are unraveled. <clears throat> oh, see there, see there. Ah, you find yourself in the long quiet once again. Proceed to the cabin. <laughs> oh gosh, now we're gonna have to look at her. Oh wow, she's this beast creature. <laughs> There's a world beyond the endless walls of the long Hey, time. stop waffling there! We're supposed to be there. Do you know what we'll find out there? I have no idea. Um... There's trees and stars. There are people, I think. At least there's supposed to be people. There is a warmth and sadness in me at the thought of people. Fresh tears on a winter's day. They are not like us. They do not last. <clears throat> do you think... anything is real out there? Do you think that we're real? We are real. Nothing is an idea that dwells she could in look the worse, I guess. I guess so. <laughs> but nothing cannot exist on its own. And because of that, nothing can't exist. Oh, hold on. Let me open up Slack. I don't know when my meeting is. So I'm just gonna have it open. Hopefully we can finish the game. <laughs> okay. Wow. Um, that was really deep. Nothing cannot exist on its own. And because of that, nothing can't exist. I mean... I guess so. Ugh. Do you have thoughts on this vessel? This one is consumed by instinct. A predator pushing those around her to adapt. She will make for a bold heart. Ooh. She wishes me to devour you. <laughs> to make you a part of myself. But she is only a voice. Yeah, you're taking her. You're not taking me, right? Do not mourn her. For she is part of something greater. Yes. Cool. Um, well, oh wow, there's a lot of stuff. Okay. Do you know what's going to happen when you awaken? When you send me back, I'm not alone. There are voices that speak to me. Some of them are me, but one of them is something else. I call him the narrator, and he wants me to kill you. Do you have a narrator? Have the vessels had one? No. Their thoughts are quiet. 
Do you think your narrator lives in the spaces beyond? He does. I don't know why, but I know this for a fact. He does. I don't know what I'm going to do when I find him. He does, and when I find him, you and I are going to finally have answers. He does, and when I find him, I'm going to kill him. He does, but you're going to keep that to yourself. <laughs> we are so sure that he does. <laughs> There's so, we are so sure that he lives in the spaces beyond. We are like, yes, he does. Absolutely, 100%. We are, I don't know why we're so certain of that when we are literally not certain about anything else. But, um... I'll say, when I find him, we're gonna have the answers. Cause that's what I want the most. There isn't a he doesn't option. I know, it's kind of weird, right? Let's have some answers. Do not look to one who fears me for your truth. The only answers worth knowing are those we can find within ourselves. Hmm. The timer says Pomni started streaming 20 hours ago. I think that's a YouTube glitch. I've been streaming for four and a half hours. <laughs> I don't think seven or 20 hours is uh, correct. Um, if this is the last stage before your completion, then I'm not going back. I'm just going to stay here. I'm ready to go back. Do you know what's going to happen when you awaken? If I did, <coughs> I would already be awake. Okay, fair. <laughs> Uh, how many more vessels do you need me to bring you? One. Whatever One! Whatever you bring me next will be enough. And then gravity will pull the others back to me. I will be singular. A final multitude. Let's go! Anything you want me to bring you? These gifts are a conversation. And each one shows me the contours of your heart. The only thing I want to see is what you choose for me when the thread is fully drawn. Okay. I'm not going back. You've already tried waiting, but I understand if you need more time. Oh wait, is it gonna close the game? I'll wait with you. Wait, wait! Uh, uh, there is no waiting forever. We're waiting. Let's keep going. I have a meeting. <laughs> I'm ready to go back. The next time I see you, each of us will finally know what we are. Let's go! I will be here, waiting for you. I want an, I'm Pomu though. I know what I am. Oh! A, f a feral vessel. You're on a path in the woods. Skip. Um, let's just go to the cabin. Wait, what if I leave? We can't. We have to bring a vessel. We can't just leave. <laughs> you make your way up the short path. Skip. I tried that before. Yeah, but that was in chapter two. The interior <laughs> of the cabin is almost entirely the blade um, with your implement. Skip. Oh! It won't let me just enter the basement. I have to take the blade. <gasps> no! Try you leaving when you see the... the table. Yeah, let's try. It'd be rather difficult to slay the prince. Skip. Enter the basement. Mm -hmm. Let's leave. The door to the basement. Skip. Uh, just checking in on you. Oh, it's been so long since anyone's come down here. I was starting to think they'd forgotten about me. Who's they? Who? Put you down here, princess. Walk down the stairs. Skip. And lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. Oh yeah, are you here to kill me or something? N nuh uh. Then drop the knife. 
We should. It'll go a long way to building trust with no. him. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't you dare. Uh, it's fine. We can decide. We're we gonna skip. Should I drop it again? Hmm. We've dropped it every single time, but I do kind of want to leave. What if we drop it and leave? Drop. The blade skip. tumbles out of your oh. trembling hands and drops to the floor with an unceremonious clang. Hmm. So we've probably talked. To, we've probably said all of these before, right? Do you know why I'm here to kill you? Do you? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> um. Uh, no. Remain silent. I see. The silent treatment. You know, if you don't share with me, well, I'm not going to share with you. Oh. Lie options are so funny. I know, right? Um, okay, we've talked enough. Oh? Have you decided what to do with me? Yeah, I'm gonna leave you here. You know why you're here. I'm gonna keep you locked away here. Yeah. See ya. That seems like a pretty good compromise. <laughs> Leaving her alive is too risky. If you don't deal with her soon, she will find a way out. See ya. One way or another, I'm going to find a way out of here. You can make it easier for both of us if you help. I'm just saying. <laughs> and if you don't... What will you do? You'll, um, if you don't, I don't care, I'll pull down your underwear? I can promise that you'll come to regret that decision. Okay. The underwear part, or...? <laughs> you have to make a choice. Let's hope for all our sakes it's the right one. <laughs> um, I made my choice. I'm locking her in the basement. I know you think this is a fair compromise, but it isn't. <laughs> no one wins here. Don't pull me. <laughs> it's a chance we'll have to take. We can make this work. If we just stay here and keep watch, no one has to die. No one has to die. You're making a mistake. Why? Why? I'm not killing you. You turn oh. your back to the princess and make your way to the stairs. What's that knife sound? It won't be long before I slip these chains. And once I'm out of here... There will be hell to pay for leaving me behind. Oh. Slip these chains. Oh, we got our... She can't, right? We got the knife she back. She needed our help to get out of here. But do you hear the conviction in her voice? I don't think she's bluffing. Either way, she dropped her mask, didn't she? You can still turn around and finish the job. I don't think I will. Um, no, we're sticking to the plan and then locking her down here. Oh, that's a relief. I was afraid I'd already committed to not slaying her. <laughs> no. You'll be the death of all of us, but fine. Have it your way. See ya. You close the Ooh. basement door, locking it behind you and quickly barricading it with the heavy wooden table. Oh my gosh, we've never done this before. Blade. Okay. We can make this work. Yeah. You settle in against the far wall to watch the basement door. Yeah. It isn't long before you start to drift off. We have to make sure she kills us next time, fatigue. though, too. But sleep doesn't come. Instead, your rest is broken by a piercing, wailing voice calling out to you from the other side of the door. Oh, gosh. I know you're still there. Why don't you make things easier on yourself and let me out? Oh, it's creepy. Why does she sound like that? I have the blade in my hand. This little door I'll hold for very long anyway. Stay back, beast! Probably a good idea to try to get back on my good side. Oh, oh, oh. She sounds terrified. Oh god! Like she's less of the princess you saw and more like something out of a nightmare. <laughs> As she violently rattles the door, you do your best to shut her out of your mind. It's got a nice beat to it. Oh, never mind. It's off. Okay, you're off beat. Hold on, let's try again. Dun dun boom, dun boom, dun dun boom, cha boom, cha cha boom. Oh, one more time, princess. One more time. It's okay. I know you're a little excited about it. Anyway, when I get out of here, I'm going to pick you apart piece by piece. I won't forget what you did, and I'll never forgive it. No. Oh. Well, what about my good side? The good side? You don't know the kind of enemy you've made tonight. 
Um, what is this mortuary? Is this? I know, right? It's it kind of freaky. Doesn't sound like she's getting any weaker. She likes to bang no, on the door. Sorry. It <laughs> but, but why didn't I think of what I was about to say before? It just okay. Anyway, um, sorry. I really didn't mean it like that. <laughs> my guilty conscience so all of that was just an act wasn't it you're not really innocent or harmless you're not even a princess you're a monster oh um oh <laughs> uh, ignore her go to just sleep ignore her. maybe the banging and wailing will stop if you just don't pay attention to you put the princess's threats out of your mind as best you can and huddle up against the wall. Oh. You jolt awake in the middle of the night to silence in the cabin. The ruckus has stopped and the door to the basement is ajar. It's lock broken <coughs> and the table shoved out of the way. Where is she? Where is she? <laughs> Thanks for helping me get out of that awful basement. You try and stumble to your feet, but as the princess draws near, it's as though your body simply stops working. Oh my god! It isn't all at once. The paralysis comes in waves. First your toes go numb, and then your feet, and then your legs. First your toes go you numb, lie prone then your on feet the floor go numb, the cabin, then your legs go numb. Unable to do anything but witness her approach. Oh, SCP princess. Oh, she's Japanese now. She's like a real Onya. Whose side are you on? Yours, of course. But I have a duty to uphold the truth. Nah, nah. Lying about the facts of the situation doesn't change them. We need stubborn back. So helpless. I can take my time with you, can't I? Can't I? She steps oh. closer. Oh my god, what an image. One silent footfall <laughs> at a time, cocking her head in curiosity as you feel your organs shutting down one by one. Ooh. Or maybe I can't take my time with you. You don't look well. A little green around the gill. This one's awesome. I'm so glad we got this ending. <laughs> what a shame. If you'd only help me get out of here. This is we so could cool. We've done such wonderful things together. <laughs> your lungs stop drawing in breath, and your heart freezes in your chest. Why do we have gills? You have seconds. Are we finana? I'd say better luck next time. But we both know this is the end. Don't we? Wait, what do you mean? It can't be. This can't actually be how everything ends. Oh no, we'll see you in like, next chapter. I'm sorry, but it is. Everything goes dark, and you die. Blech. The nightmare? Oh, oh. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Okay. You're here to slay her. I'm so excited for this one. If you don't, <laughs> it will be the end of the world. Okay. Mm, she's going to kill me again. What am I doing I'm here? You I want to see what dead. other voice we have. And to answer your second question, you're here to slay the princess. I literally told you that a second ago. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. Shh. The he hears us. The paranoid. That's a very good question, little voice. What if he does hear? Ah, ha, 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 ha. Shit. Shit. <laughs> I think you'll find yourselves very hard pressed to keep any secrets from me. Not that it matters right now, because like I said, this is the first time we've met. Still, I'd rather not get off on the wrong foot. We've a world to save, after all. Right, right. All right, let's go to the cabin. A warning before you go any further. You know 
what I'm gonna say. <laughs> Narrator. Say it with me. Is she gonna be a liar and a cheater? She will lie, <laughs> she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. <laughs> don't believe a word she says. <laughs> I don't think lying and cheating is a thing. She was very direct with us last time. Yeah. Or at least she was direct with us after we decided to lock her away. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Don't trust anyone. Anyone. Not even yourself. Let's go to the cabin. Say the line, narrator. <laughs> it's my favorite. The interior of the cabin is plain. The smooth wood of the walls almost featureless. <gasps> the only furniture of note is a lone table, knocked on its side in the corner of the room. A pristine blade stands between you and the open, inviting basement doorway. It's... So inviting, yes. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Hold on. What happened to the door? There was a door here last time. Yeah. It's just an empty frame. She's already gotten out, hasn't she? And she's ready for us. She's been waiting. Can't you feel her eyes on us? I feel eyes for sure, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to need all of you to pull yourselves together. The princess has not already gotten out. But if you keep getting stuck in your head like this, you're going to struggle to get the job done. I keep ima like like expecting like uh, her image to like start flashing like very <laughs> creepily here, you know? So deep breath in, deep breath out. Your task awaits, and only you can do it. All right. Um, approach the mirror. You walk up to the wall next to the empty basement door frame. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. I love touching wall. What are you talking about? This isn't a wall. It's a mirror. Or at least it'll... Be a mirror once we get off the grime. You oh, reach forward yeah. and rub your hand against the cabin wall. Oh, la, la, la. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. Yeah! I love wall. Did he make it go away? Clearly there was something in there worth investigating if he wants it hidden so bad. Hmm. All right. Um, the blade being there, just, I think I'm just going to go in. Let's just go should in. should have taken the knife again. I don't think she's going to take an olive branch. We need something sharper. No, no, yeah, the windows are... <laughs> Let's get away from these little fellas over here, right? <laughs> oh. You cross over the threshold and onto a series of isolated steps suspended in darkness. Oh, this is giving me, like, Yume Nikki vibes. Whoa! More eyes, too. You never mentioned the eyes. <laughs> The air seeping up from below reminds you of fresh lightning and static, as if you're descending into a place that isn't meant for a creature of flesh and blood. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. <laughs> um, does any- Her cruel and playful voice prances up the stairs. Oh, I didn't think you'd come back. We're gonna have a lot of fun, you and I. Whoa! Okay, we need a game plan. Last time we were here, just being close to her was enough to kill us. Um, oh. Interesting. Interesting. Step off into the void between the stairs. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go down. See ya. Uh, I'm going to talk to her. We don't need a plan. I'm going to kill her. Mr. Narrator seems to think I can do it. I don't know why you're all being such pessimists right now. Continue down the stairs in silence. Let's just go talk. <clears throat> I kind of do want to fall off into the void, but... I have to see her, you guys! I want to see what she looks like! We can't just go into the void! I can't... Uh, save. Do, though, I do want to come back and try that answer. Maybe at a different time. <laughs> save and try? Okay. How do I load again? Okay. Bye! Ah! Oh! You attempt to step off the stairs and into the pitch black surrounding them, but you're stopped by an invisible oh, force. Damn. Why did you do that? What did you think would happen? Oh. Huh? I was... I was curious! Congratulations, you really lucked out. Of all the things that could have happened from stepping into a void, nothing is quite possibly the best outcome <laughs> you could have gotten. 
Come on, narrator. Come on. Don't, wouldn't you also be curious what's going to happen if you step off and step into the void? <sighs> you make your way to the bottom <laughs> of the stairs. We don't even come up with the game plan. As oh. you emerge, you find yourself between two loose rows of white wooden planks suspended in nothingness. A smattering of cobblestones visible against the inky black of the basement mark where the floor should be, forming vague pathways. At what seems to be the end of the room, they diverge in opposite directions, oh. left and right. This is interesting. She could be anywhere, and there's nowhere for us to hide. We're completely exposed. Let's go to the eyes. Are you really not going to comment on how weird this place is? <laughs> no, I'm not. Somebody needs to be the voice of reason here, and it certainly isn't you. Excuse me. I'm being incredibly reasonable. You're the one who's just matter-of-factly so describing okay. whatever the hell we're looking at like it's an ordinary basement. We're going to die down here. I don't want to die again. Please stop saying that. You're only going to make things worse. Just pick a direction and start moving. Okay. I wouldn't, I wouldn't give it too much thought if I were you. It doesn't really matter. Because either way you go, I'm going to find you. Oh. <laughs> Let's see. Go back the way you came. Let's see. Let's go to the right. You turn to the right. A faintly outlined path lies before you. Are we going to see her? There you <laughs> are. Oh my god. I told you I was going to find you. Oh, she's like a baby. She's like a big-headed baby. As the princess oh. approaches, Actually, she's your pretty legs cute. suddenly go numb. Oh, that was fast. Um. Your arms quickly follow. Okay. This is it, isn't it? No little knife this time. It's almost like you want me to get you. <laughs> there has to be a way out of this. Think. Think. Uh, salt. Uh, what did you do? Power of Christ compels you. Pull yourself together. Uh, she isn't supposed to be like this. Uh, I wonder how many times I'll get to play with you before you break. Uh, your vision ow! Your out as your blood oh my God. begins to coagulate. It's as if every part of your being is coming to a lurching halt. Are we dead? Are we going to get to chapter three? <laughs> liver. <coughs> nerves. Heart. Lungs. Liver. Nerves. Oh, cool. Your lungs Ooh. pull in a desperate gulp of air as your eyes shoot back open. Did she just invade my body? What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? I'm working. Do you want this body to function, or do you want... And then experience stops once more as your body reapproaches death. Ooh. Okay, whatever you were doing, please just start doing it again. Okay. Are you sure about that? Are you sure that's what you want, or do you want to interrupt me some more? Oh, the, the girls are fighting again, oh my gosh. You have seconds left. Ooh. Yes, I'm sure. Heart, heart. Heart. Lungs. Liver. Nerves. Heart. Lungs, liver, nerves, heart, lungs, liver, nerves, all part of a balanced breakfast. Again, your eyes shoot open as you gasp for breath. Oh, he's still going. You can't decide what you want to do, can you? <laughs> She's so cute, look at her. <laughs> oh, well, standing there gasping like a fish is more fun than dead. Even if you look ridiculous. She isn't attacking us. Why? Yeah. The why doesn't matter. She's already proven her ill intent. Don't lose sight of your mission. How would we even knife her? <laughs> How are we supposed to do that? We don't have a weapon. The way out of here isn't her way. We have seen. our faith. That isn't my fault. Doesn't matter whose fault it is because fighting her isn't an option right now. Then you should get looking, shouldn't you? Maybe I should have gone to the left. Huh? I was sent here to stop you from... You know you're a lunatic. You know that? Oh, let's say, why, what good am I, am I to you alive? What do you want from me? I tried to leave while you suffocated, but that stupid cabin wouldn't let me. So I started to drag your body out with me and then... Ah. Well, 
You died before I could get to the door. And then I was here. And now you're here too. Damn. I'm so weak. I don't think I can leave without you. And dead doesn't count. And as much as I love what we have going on, I have bigger plans than tormenting one poor little creature forever. I want to leave. Cool. Um, if you need me alive, then why did you threaten me on the stairs? Why didn't you try being nice to me? <laughs> yeah, why didn't you try being nice to me, girl? Gosh. Mm, I kind of want to get to chapter 3, though. And to get to chapter 3, we need to die. We can't escape with her. Mm, and if I let you out, what then? Do we go our separate ways? Uh, I was sent here to stop you from destroying the world. I can't just let you leave. Hmm. Uh, yeah, why did you be nice to me? I am being nice. You're alive, aren't you? She is so cute. Actually, I kind of love this look. It's so cute. <laughs> and you died of fright as soon as you saw me last time. I didn't think keeping you alive was an option. But it looks like that's not a problem anymore. At least not for me. Mm hmm. You seem miserable. Oh, thanks. <laughs> That's what people usually tell me. I love that. Sometimes if I, like, you know, when I used to go to work, if I didn't, like, um, have makeup on or something, I have really bad... I, you can't tell because I, like, can conceal it on stream, but, like, I have really bad under-eye bag... Not bags, just, like, dark under-eyes. And I've had them since I was born. And so if I don't cover them up, whenever I go outside, people are like, You look sick. You look like you're miserable, like you're dying, like you're one step away from true sudden death. Are you okay? <laughs> Every time I go out. It's so awful. <laughs> Let's see. <clears throat> uh, if you want to work... I don't like... The blinking is starting to get to me, so... If you want to work together, can you at least turn off this whole organ shutting down situation? What if I refuse to let you out? What happens out then? We don't have to be enemies. We can work together. We can be friends, even. Or lovers. I'm not going to do any of this. I'm not helping you leave. <gasps> Remain with your nightmare! Leave together. Fine, you'll win. I'll let you leave. Run. Wait. I'm not doing any of this. I'm not helping you leave. I'm not going to try to kill you, so do your worst. What if I want to remain with my nightmare? <laughs> remain with nightmare will be chapter 3, but you can explore more. <gasps> Love it. Do your worst. What if I just run? Here, I'm going to save real quick. I'm gonna run. <laughs> you turn and run, doing your best to put one useless leg in front of the other. Yeah. You poor, poor thing. Oh, wrong choice. Oh. You get nowhere before the princess is in front of you once again. Uh, hi, hi there, pretty. You're always going to be a coward. Ah, uh, so, sorry. <laughs> she raises a hand to her mask and pulls it. Down. <laughs> you don't get the chance to see what lies beneath before it envelops you. Did she cry? Like a creeping mold, the complete Wait, reality cry? of your existence threads its way through your mind. Birth, death, birth again, decay and bloom, a million stitches from a million microscopic wounds you've inflicted on everyone you've ever met, with every muscle you've moved and every word you've ever spoken. No, 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 no. Let me out. Your existence hurts them. Let me out. Oh. A lonely soul in a room by itself, weeping. It lives for 80 years and then it's gone. And then it's there again. Oh, is the princess looking her? Let me out. A reprieve. Oh. A good life. Oh. Love, children, a steady career, recognition from your peers. Oh, why she looks like that? Here one moment, gone the next. The worms have found their offices. Let me out! Diagnosis, 
it forgets everything it is. Anger, rage, distance, poverty. The lonely soul is lonely again. Love turns to mockery. It dies. She turns to jelly, is reborn. Just like me. Worse. Lonelier. Aww. Let me out! No, 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 no. No, no. What's, what's happening to us? Let me out! This is all too much. I can't keep going. You can't keep going? Well, what are you talking about? But he doesn't respond. Oh! Oops, I think I broke you. Oh, wait, we're ending on this one. I thought we were going to die. I'll see you soon. You'll know what to do. Oh! Your body is dead, but you live on. Oh, chapter three! Never mind! Oh, whoa, oh, oh, chapter... Oh, ah, oh, oh, ah, oh, <laughs> The moment of clarity. <gasps> You're on a path in the... Shit, shit, what... What the hell was that? Who are we? What are we doing? <gasps> there was a princess, I think. It's all so fuzzy. It hurts when I try to remember. Voice of the Broken. I think we were trying to save the world. Y y y yeah. You shouldn't know about the princess. At least not until I. You've already been here, haven't you? Uh huh. I many, many guess times. It, it feels so long ago, almost <gasps> like we've never left. The broken, the beaten, and the damned. <laughs> Cool. We have to let her out. Yes. No, that's the opposite of what oh. you're here to do. You have to slay her. And this narrator, look at him, so fresh-faced. Not having gone through all the terrors that we've experienced. Slay? We decided not to do that, didn't we? Yeah, we're supposed to let her out. It's really the only Wait, the way opportunist. this works out for us. If you think about it, what? she's the one with power here. Why Nobody are you here? Do much of anything. No, we were supposed to keep her trapped there forever, I think. They're all here! We're supposed to be unfeeling. The cold, I've never How seen that guy. How many times do I have to tell you to snuff out your heart? They're all, the gang's all here! We can't be unfeeling. Not when there's so much fear everywhere. The stubborn! There's nothing for us to do. We've already tried everything. Contrarian. We love her. So we have to set her free. Yes, Vin! <laughs> Can we love something that hates us? Can we love something that hurts us? Mm. To be given an ounce of kindness from something so cruel would be more pure than any other love. He gets it. Why are there so many of us? I there aren't supposed to be so many of us. You got the best one to end on, Sasuga Pomu? <laughs> I'm glad. Voice of the cheated. This is bad. You need to get a grip. What did you let happen? How many times have you been here? Oh, uh... Um, I think they're all wrong. It's a good question. How many times have you all been here? What if we don't go to the cabin? Can you make sense of them? I feel so disjointed. I don't know if I can pull this off. I don't know if I can slay her. Proceed to the cabin. <coughs> the only way out is to do nothing. So nothing I will do. Oh gosh. Um, how many times have you all been here? Many, 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 many times. Yeah. It feels like we've been here forever. But it also feels like we've barely been here at all. It doesn't matter. <laughs> yes, we just have to do what she says and then everything will be fine. So true. It won't. Oh. It will oh. be for us. She said so. New save? I sh I'm gonna save here, actually. This is crazy. You're part of everything. If things aren't fine for everything, they won't be fine for you. So this isn't, like, scripted to get this as, like, the final thing? There's no difference between fine and not fine. It just goes on and on. Uh... But that doesn't make sense. I only remember being here twice before this, and some of you don't seem to remember being here at all. Was I here all those t other times? Did someone else make the decisions? What does here even mean, if you really think about it? 
You can get this fairly early if you do it the right way. Well, that's crazy. Shut up. You were here. Every single time. You did your best, really. There's just a pecking order. And our cruel and beautiful goddess sits atop <laughs> it. Right where she's always belonged. Yes, sir. You're lucky. What I would give to be able to forget. Aw, the hero. He's been through it all. I've tried to keep them numb. But they're all too soft. A shame, really. Um. Uh. If I don't remember what I did, then it couldn't have been me that did it. Uh, uh. Don't think about that too hard. All it will do is weaken your resolve and make it that much harder for you to slay. Uh, uh, my my thoughts are everywhere. Maybe you're shattered in your own way. I think I am. Are you your memories? Or are you the one perceiving the present moment? Ugh, here you go philosophizing again. It never goes anywhere. Yes, this is far from the first time you've asked us about consciousness. Who am I? What am I? What is I? Who even cares? Oh. They're good questions. Great questions, even. But they don't have any answers. Through the outfit situation, um, I have no answers for you, I'm sorry. <laughs> but thanks for 11 months, Danny. Welcome back. And they all just end in quivering torment. It doesn't matter what we do, because we always find her, and if we don't find her, she always finds us. And then she smashes us into smaller pieces. Ugh. If you all just stopped feeling, we could have been done with this ages <laughs> ago. Voice of the coup, Dede. Your thoughts are far too scattered to rein back in. Your only option is to silence them. Oh, um... Uh... C can you make sense of them? There's nothing worth making sense of. They're clearly <laughs> all traumatized. Me too! And yet, you aren't. <clears throat> we break apart. Stay the same. Oh, yeah, let's turn on the narrator. Hey, why are you always okay, huh, narrator? Yeah, what's your secret? Yeah. Why can you break the rules when we can't? Yeah. Turn on the guy. Um, oh gosh, I don't even know what's the best thing to do. Uh, what if we don't go to the cabin? We've tried that. Uh, that is true. It doesn't work. <laughs> Our hearts always brought us back to her. Uh-huh. The deck is stacked. Hi, Pomo. Hi, Lucky. Welcome back. Three Thank you. Three and they're all circles. Um. I, I don't know if I can pull this off. I don't care how you feel. <gasps> you have to slay her. You have to pull yourself together. You have to snap out of it. You're a raider. You don't care about my feelings. You're lucky you haven't been stuck here like the rest of them. There's no other way to keep going. You either need to forget, or you need to stop feeling much of anything. They can't do either. He's not wrong. He's the only smart one left, if you ask me. <laughs> He's worse than her. Damn. <sighs> Alright, let's go to the cabin. You slowly make your way through the umbral forest, bumping against unseen trees as you grasp through the darkness for a way forward. But eventually, <gasps> you do make it to the cabin. Or rather, you make it to the place a cabin should have been. Instead, all you find is an empty hill. Oh my god. The smitten, the skeptic, and the stubborn, the best boys are back. <laughs> Kiri, welcome back too, thank you. No, no, this isn't oh. right. There's a cabin there. There's always supposed to be a cabin there. Here it comes. Don't ask him about the mirror. <laughs> he always says he never sees it. <laughs> he always lies. Lies! Liar! Liar and a cheater! And he always makes it gone. Yeah. It's exhausting. We must be such a mess, but we never get the chance to fix ourselves. That 
thing is mocking us. Mocking us! Stay focused. You still have a job to do, and it's best not to be distracted by fraying thoughts. There is no mirror. You know that as well as I do. What? She's still here, buried deep inside the earth. Just walk up the hill. You always give too much space to the others. It's why you always lose. What's wrong with giving them space? What if it helps them? What if they need to be heard? They've been heard too much. It's why they are the way they are. They have become... I don't know, it's like... I don't think it's on purpose, but the way that I've played the game, they have all become like more beastly and terrifying as I've gone through the game. Like they all started out kind of normal, and then the more that we've played, the more that they've become like like all these crazy, crazier people. It's so funny. <clears throat> Not funny, but you know. <laughs> exactly. They are delusions, and all that catering to them will do is drag you down to their level. You have to keep moving. It's because he started stabbing later on. Well, I was just like, what well, felt, I don't know. I, I didn't want to just stab from the get-go. I think, I think my progression has been pretty neat. <laughs> from Ugu to Beast and Ghost Waifu. <laughs> They're delusions. They're all okay, and that... And all that catering to them will do is drag you down to their level. You have to keep moving. Or you could just give up. <clears throat> the hero telling us to give up? Let's go to the mirror. You walk up the hill, hesitating just beyond the bounds of the cabin. Right. The cabin that isn't there. No cabin. You've got to clean the mirror, haven't you? You've got to see what's in it. Yes. Smash it to pieces. No! She's on the other side. And we have to let her out. It's the only way we can be free. I agree. It's the only way we can have our thoughts back. Just go around it. <laughs> Just do something. It doesn't matter what. We have to do something. Exactly. I'm sure that whatever you settle on, it'll be the best possible decision you could have made. Thank you. Proceed. Proceed? Proceed to where? I'm afraid you're going to have to be a little more specific. I said, proceed. Do you think it'll work? Of course it'll work. He always makes the best decisions. It's why he gets to make them. Thank you, opportunist. He's finally noticing my greatness. It already oh. has worked. It's gone, <gasps> don't you see? No! We're one step closer to her. The interior of... The cabin is much the same as the exterior of the cabin. A dull, fuzzy, dreamlike nothing. It's empty and isolating, but there's just enough vague shape and unknown texture to suggest the structure therein. Wrong and unsettling as it may be. Aaron, thank you for the five gifted. Thank you so much. The only object of note is a pristine blade buried in the dirt floor, a hint of its shining edge teasing through the sediment. What if I can't pull it out? What if I'm not the chosen one? The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you're going to do this right. Ugh. Take it. It's the only way forward. I'm gonna listen to whatever... Mm. Oh! Take the blade. It's the only way forward. You've tried everything else. Don't you remember? You have to take the blade. <gasps> Okay. Ugh, I have to take it. You reach down to take the blade, Ugh. but as you do, the ground beneath it shifts, the weapon sinking deep into the earth. Are we going into her butt, or...? You lean over the hole and gaze into the abyss. It is so very deep. Deep in the bowels Ugh. of the earth, you see something staring back at you. It fills you with dread. Um. It's her. Oh! She's watching us. She never stops watching us. There you are. My toy has finally come to finish his job. Wait, why is she the same as before? 
With every word she speaks, the princess in the pit blinks closer. Huh? You tried to stop for so much longer than you had to. And closer. <laughs> but it was always just a matter of time. Is it the same? Well, she's a little bit more cracked, but you know. Um. And closer. Ugh. Oh, she's a little more disjointed. You are going to have to stop running eventually. And closer. <laughs> Everything stops running eventually. Except for me. <laughs> I've already taken your will, and you're not getting it back. All that's left is for you to take my will and let me out. It'll be so much fun. You and me, together, exploring the world and spreading fear wherever we go. Well, mostly just me. But you'll get to be there too. Spreading fear? A trinket that gets to stay with me all the time. Right by my side. A trinket? Another one of my trinkets. Oh gosh. A witness. Witness to history? To a new world being born? Oh, I can even make you a little cage if you want. Gilded and everything. Now don't pause. Don't try to resist. I've already molded you into what I need. And you lost your power so long ago. Don't bother working yourself into a frenzy to get it back. Do something. Do anything that isn't taking her hand. Oh gosh. I don't want to be in a jar. What are we supposed to do? She took our weapon. <laughs> this really was a lost cause, wasn't it? You sealed our fate when you ran away. Fear is the real killer. Oh well. Is this not the same... Wait, so it... it, it was this... Was the new chapter a fake out? There's no paralysis anymore. Is it because we've already given her what she wants? Oh my god. You're an object, a tool. You once were something else a long time ago. But was that something you... Or is it just a dull and jaded memory? There's no other ending here. Just take her hand and set her free. Uh, uh, okay! Here we go! Extend your hand to hers. <coughs> For all her past cruelties, the moment feels gentle. Tender, even. I can't believe you just made me say that. I hate you. <laughs> Here she comes. Here she comes. The motion is difficult at first, as if something still resists your efforts. But then that resistance gives way, and it's over. Oh. Oh. And that's the end. I wonder what we're going to do next. Um. Uh. uh spread, spread, spread fear? Into the hearts of many? I didn't think I'd be so tired. Here it comes. The princess, exhausted, slumps. Why is it so cold? Oh, princess. Oh, there she goes. And there we go. You do not get the chance to respond, nor will you ever. It's time to leave. Memory returns. She's gone. Yeah. I can finally think again. Almost. That mirror's back. What does that mean for us? I'm sure it'll be whisked away, just like her. Uh, Maybe it won't be gone. Things are different now, aren't they? I'm kind of afraid of like the um, perspectives we have created for <laughs> for this <laughs> for this being. I do wonder what kind of um uh you know uh whatever they're going to <laughs> become. <laughs> doesn't seem like there's much else to do here. Yeah. Finally, we can smash it. Smash it! Oh, you stop with the smashing. Shut up, Cold. What do we say, boys? One last vain attempt to look at ourselves. Oh, yes! Yeah. I think I'd like that. Oh. Oh, wait. They usually are so scared. Seems we've got a majority. All that's left is to give it a look. All right. Approach the mirror. 
How do we look, everybody? You step towards the mirror once more. Its secrets remain hidden. Its mysteries remain unresolved. Something tells me that this is the end of the line. But I don't feel bad about it. I'm ready. Okay. It feels... okay. Okay. The fear's gone. I'm done fighting. No! My heart feels quiet. No! The game was always going to end. I'll be free of all of you. Not the smitten. I'm ready for the truth. Actually, me too, though. I'm ready to sleep. I'm just ready to be anywhere that isn't here. <laughs> Boys, it's been an honor. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave. But you need to see what's in it. How do we look? Um... You are nothing at all. <gasps> oh, we're a bird! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but that isn't right. You can't be nothing. You refocus your gaze, and then you see it. A figure. Faint and veiled in shadow, just beyond the reflection. Are you me? I think you know what I am. <gasps> A crack slides down the center of the mirror, splitting the image and the glass in two. <clears throat> and then another crack forms, and another and another, turning the mirror into jagged shards of broken glass. Whoa! So you're the narrator. I was wondering if I'd ever get to see you. What are you? Are you something like me? If you're not me, then what are you? I have so many questions for you. Does it hurt when pieces of you break off like this? I'm sorry, I don't want to destroy you. Will it help if I look away or stop asking questions? Oh my goodness. Okay. Do we only have a certain amount of questions to ask? Before it completely destroys itself? Um... Read each choice before choosing? Okay, that's what I thought. Okay. Um... Every time I ask you something, it's like pieces of you break. Are you a part of me or are you something else? You're the one who wanted me to slay the princess. Why? I've met you many times. Have you been the same? Have you been the same you all along? I wasn't supposed to see all of this, was I? <clears throat> yeah, let's save. Good, 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 good plan, guys. I guess we can save over this one because it's the same thing. Um, oh my goodness. What is this place? Where are we? Destroy the mirror. Uh... If you're not me, then... Oh, oh gosh. Um... Oh gosh. <laughs> oh... Oh... Uh, you're the one who wanted me to slay the princess. Why? Because among other things, she is death itself. To rid the world of suffering. To save untold trillions from being lost forever to the cosmic wind. She must be destroyed. Whoa. And despite how far you've fallen, you will still have a chance to fulfill your purpose once I'm gone. Yeah! Oh my gosh, it's so loud. Um... Uh... I was made to do the single task? Who made me? What am I? Oh gosh. I don't even know what answers to ask. Which are the correct ones? Um... What? Oh, there's more down here even though. Uh... Why would you want to rid the world of death? Who cares about dying? I've died plenty of times. Here, I'll ask this first one. I was made to do this single task? Who made me? What am I? You're the long quiet. The god I made to rid the world of death. Okay, I keep trying to like... Oh, he's too, oh, he's disappearing! The god I made? To get rid of death? To rid the world of death? <clears throat> but 
We need death to for the birth of new things. I'm a god. What is the princess? Did you make Wait, the princess is death. Why would we want to rid the world of you death? You need to ask that question. There's nothing I can say to move you. You haven't died. You cannot die. So you cannot grasp the abject horror of dying. Oh. Uh. Okay. I don't want to be a god. I want to be me. A god. I always knew I was special. <laughs> if you're not me, then what are you? Uh. I'm so sorry. I'm destroying you by asking questions. <laughs> um. You said she contains death. What is she? She is the shifting mound, the ebb and flow, the capacity to change. She is transformation, or most of it. Her nature is why I had to die, for she becomes that which others perceive her to be. But an echo can't perceive things, not in the way that people can. Um... Okay? I wonder how many questions we get left. Like, is it every tiny little piece? One, two, three, four, five, maybe? Six? <coughs> um. Naruhojo! <laughs> mm -hmm. He's only mad because he's dead. <laughs> uh, if you. Oh, wait. So, if you made us, then I want you to know that this has been torture. <laughs> If I destroy her, won't I be alone? If you want me to destroy the concept of transformation, how is that existence any better than death? Or even different from death at all? Honestly, it feels worse. That's what I'm saying, right? Do you have anything to say for yourself for all this hubris? After everything you've done to us, do you think anyone deserves to live? Do you know that things won't be worse if I destroy her? <laughs> what would it be like to live in a world without her? Does anyone else know about this? Does anyone else know about us? I don't want to be a god, I want to be- Oh my god, there's so many questions. <laughs> oh my gosh. There are so many questions! There are so many choices! And they- And more start spawning at the bottom too! Why couldn't you have told me this from the start? Would have helped you destroy her? If she's capable of becoming whatever people believe her to be, can I just- Will her into something small? <laughs> uh, are you a god or were you a god? There's so many questions to ask. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Why did you make her a princess? Of all things, why is she a princess? Why couldn't she be an ant or a slice of soggy bread? <laughs> How am I supposed to destroy an abstract concept? What if neither of us leave this place? Does that work? Can we stay here together and leave the people out there alone? I'm pretty sure death is good, actually. Important, even. Yeah! That's what I'm saying, right? <clears throat> Just pick the ones you like and reload if you like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Soggy bread. Slay the soggy bread. <laughs> um, do you like VTubers? What about this one? If you want to destroy- if you want me to destroy the concept of transformation, how is that existence any better than death? Or even different from death at all? Honestly, it feels worse. When I broke the cycle, I made sure that the tear was rough. You carry a part of what should be her, and she carries a part of what should be you. Things won't be as they are now, but they won't be nothing, either. Okay. Besides, oh. anything is better than oblivion. In the end, Nobody wants to leave. Okay. Um. <laughs> You're delusional. <laughs> this guy's delulu. Allergic to giving straight. And that's how I feel, right? Head hurt. Kill mirror bird man. I do want to ask. Like the. Or I want to say, like, death is, in, is good, right? If that's your belief, there's nothing I can say to move you. You haven't died. Oh shit, it's the same thing. You cannot die. 
so you can't grasp the abject horror of dying. Okay. Ouch! 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 I didn't get to press it fast or turn it down fast enough. Um. Oh gosh. Um. You're delusional. We wasted one, but it's okay. Don't worry about it. Uh. Uh. Honestly, I don't even know what to ask. <laughs> <sighs> Soggy bread question? Yeah, why a princess? Where is that? Here. Of all things, why is she a princess? Why couldn't she be an ant or a slice of soggy bread? Are you asking me to spend my final moments psychoanalyzing you? She wound up a princess because you wanted her to be a princess. Me? As to why, maybe she needed to be beautiful, important, above you, but on a level you could still approach. A herald of things to come. Okay. I don't know. Gods are supposed to be beyond comprehension. I really shouldn't try and anthropomorphize you like this. Okay. Alright. Um, cool. <laughs> I wanted her to be beautiful. You know what? That's so real for me to think that. <laughs> I don't know, I wanted soggy bread. We could have had a nice sandwich that we just... And it would have been so easy. We could have had our favorite meal. Damn. Um, oh gosh. Has anything else popped up? Uh... Uh, 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 if she's capable of becoming whatever people believe her to be, can I just, oh yeah, can I just will her into something small? As you are now, you won't be able to will her into anything. You don't work the way a living being does. Not anymore. And as you were before, you couldn't be trusted with the knowledge of what she is. No one could be trusted with that knowledge. Intrusive thoughts have a way of creeping in and ruining everything. It's why I had to die. No. Okay, that one was small. Okay, I think we have three questions left, you guys. Uh... If I destroy her, won't I be alone? Yes, you will. But it will all be worth it. Um... Ouch! Okay. Uh... Will it? Why will it be worth it? Yeah, it says you! Worth it for... for... Um... Uh, what would it be like to live in a world without her? But... But this is a love story! I don't want to live without her! I don't want to live without her! Um... Let's see... I have so many questions for you! <laughs> Uh, how did you die? Or how am I supposed to destroy an abstract concept? With some amount of difficulty. But you're an abstract concept yourself. It would have been preferable if you had destroyed her within the confines of the construct, but when I shaped the two of you, I made sure that you were strong enough to see things through. Okay. Oh. Death of the author! Oh my gosh! You run out of questions. So I have one more question. Press easy. I'm going to do. <gasps> I think I'm out of time. Wait, I have a I have a Steam notification here. Okay, I think you're out of time. I'm not going to slay her. And I want you to know that before you die for good. Rest easy, I'm going to destroy her. Lie! Rest easy, I'm going to destroy her. I haven't decided... Hold on. <laughs> Let's save again. I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet. I still have to see what she thinks about all this. Say nothing and watch him end. Whoa! Are you lying? I can't tell. But I've said my piece, and my time is up. I'm just an echo, and every echo fades away. 
you know what you have to do. Okay. As the final fragment of glass shatters, you see yourself with newfound clarity. The long quiet, all of this is you is the achievement I just got. The narrator was right. You are the long quiet. A vast and nascent? Nascent? God? What does that mean? <laughs> Lies of P. <laughs> nascent? What does that mean? Oh, I'm googling it. Nascent. Oh, like a baby. Oh! Like I'm fresh born. Just coming into existence. Wow, I'm a baby. I'm just a baby. <clears throat> Nascent God. And it is finally time for you to wake up. All of this is you. Proceed to the cabin one last time. Bring the moment of clarity to her. A scattered vessel is the achievement I got. When you arrive at the heart of things, there is no final vessel for you to bear witness to. There is nothing for you to find. Oh. Um. <gasps> oh my god, she's beautiful. I can finally see you. And you can finally see me. Wow! It's been so long. And my heart has ached for this moment. I've missed you dearly. I've missed you too. Do you know about the echo? Did you hear our conversation? I'm the long quiet, but I don't really know what that means. What happens now? I've missed you. I've, I've missed you too. I've missed you too. She unfurls an endless cascade of smiles in response and then patiently waits for you to continue. This is kind of a... <laughs> Did you know about the Echo? Did you hear our conversation? Every word you spoke found its way to me. I know him. He was deluded by his fear of death. <sighs> Pay him no mind. Yeah, we won't. We won't. I'm the long quiet, but I don't really know what that means. Names are their attempts to capture that which cannot be captured. They call me the Shifting Mound. A pale imitation of what I actually am. You, yep, I'm seeing lots of mounds. What happens now? Ever the passive player. Always reacting and never acting. But it's woven into your nature, isn't it? <laughs> when the Echo spun us from one into two, he gave you a choice, and me a role to play. I am not deaf, but I contain it in my multitudes. Yeah. So, will you attempt to destroy me and bring about a world devoid of death and the possibility of meaning? Or, will you open the final doors to our liberation? <laughs> Biblically accurate princess. <laughs> okay. Um... Oh gosh, slay the princess! There's so many stories we've left unfinished. Can we really just leave? Don't you have a say in all of this? Why is... Or... Why is this all falling on me? Let's talk this through. I still have so many questions I need to answer before I make a choice. If I let you out, an entire world ends for good. I can't do that. If you were always going to become this, then what was the point of me doing anything? Um, did it even matter what roads I walked if all of them would have led to this moment? There has to be another way. This can't just come down to me either destroying you or letting you out. I won't do it. I told you what was going to happen when we reached this point. Slay the princess. I think it's time for us to leave this place, but I don't know how to leave or where to go. I just keep saving. There's a lot of slots. <laughs> um, wow. 
There's a lot of story. Let's just start at the top. Even as your eyes <clears throat> begin to open, you still hold on to the notions of is and is not, of beginning and end. Pitch black islands in the blinding light of the infinite. There is nothing to resolve, nothing restraining us but us. Okay. Why is this all falling on me? Of course I have a say in all of this. You and I share reflections of each other's burdens, just as you and I share reflections of each other's gifts. If we didn't, the winding paths that brought us here wouldn't have been full of strife and conflict. Mm -hmm. I'm too hungry for this. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm special. Let's talk this through. I still have many questions. My very nature is paradox, as is yours. You cannot use words to grasp at things that are beyond their reach. <laughs> and you cannot rationalize that which defies logic. Oh. But violence and passion are dances that both of us will allow. If this is what it takes to enlighten you, then so be it. Wait! Wait! Oh, princess! There are few things more terrifying than one's own heart. And there is almost nothing more terrifying than sharing it with another. But the most terrifying thing of all is to leave one's heart unshared. You are the only thing like me. <gasps> and I am the only thing like you. Okay. Could you bear the weight of an eternity alone? Do you dare to shape a reality of solitude and thrust it on creation? No. No? Ah, uh, thank you for sharing yourself with me. I don't need to share my heart with anyone. I wish I could share my heart with you. You showed me your heart to break me. It was a terrible thing to see. If that is what it takes to rid the world of death, I could bear the solitude. I won't engage with this. <laughs> um, I, I choose to uh, disengage and walk away from the situation. <laughs> I wish I could share my heart with you. Save again? <laughs> We're just gonna keep saving. Page three. Save scum. You know what? Whatever. We, it's taken a long time to get here. I wish I could share my heart with you. But you already have in so many ways. It is beautiful and adored. When movement slows and the dust settles, I hope you'll leave with me. <gasps> this music is so awesome. You are devoured. Pray for something bigger than you that stalks and slinks okay, in shadows. Okay, I think shadows. we said the right answer. Within, you are tightly bound and choke on heavy air as acid burns its way into your pores. Ew. A nest of things devouring within things devouring. Thou devouring. But even when <laughs> dissolved, you gifted me a life. Perhaps it was fear that drove you. Perhaps it was compassion. It was com compassion, right? But the outcome of an act matters more than its intentions. There is a natural order to the cycle of things sustaining things. Yeah, but I mean, I had good intentions. <laughs> a world without sustenance is a world without relationships. And it is our relationships that give us form and substance. Substance. Without des you're right. Without desire, we have no need for relationships. We would all be alone. Yes, without desire, we have no need for relationships. We would all be alone. But if we had no desires, would that be- Would being alone be so bad? You cannot use eating me to prove that you're right. <laughs> Damn! But my intentions do matter. I only freed you to save myself. I won't engage with violence. 
I get it. There's no need to keep us from fighting. I'll leave with you. I just don't know how. Stop the fight and uh, early and surrender. No, I want to go through each one, I think. I want to go through each one. <clears throat> yeah. Without desire, we wouldn't have no need for relationships. We need relationships, right? Yeah, yeah. And it is through those desires that each of us found the other. And it is through each other that we will find our freedom. Yes. To question everything is to deny the proof of reality that lies in front of you. By believing in your suffering, you make your suffering real. In believing in your limitations, you placed a shackle on your neck. Oh, oh I did it. I put that on my neck. But even then, you remembered the impermanence of the material, and watched as the walls of your prison decayed into nothing. Yeah. To be impermanent is not to end, but to change. And for the world to be impermanent is to make finite the suffering of all things. Would you strip that gift away, and leave them all to suffer in their permanence? Um... They'll get over it. <laughs> They'll get over it. <laughs> They'll see permanence as a gift in time. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> that would be torture. Uh, I won't engage with this. Um. <laughs> um. I think that we just have to pick that, right? <laughs> Or, wait, no. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> they'll get over it, right? <laughs> no, that would be torture, right, everybody? Right. <laughs> but this answer's so funny. <laughs> oh, but I don't want to lose the fight. I don't want to, I don't want to lose her. That would be torture. <clears throat> do it? Well, uh, here, we'll save. I don't want to... I don't want to... I don't... If I... If we lose, then... That would suck. We'll get over it. Or, in time, would they see it as a curse? Mm. <laughs> <gasps> Demon! The sensation of bleeding and sweating and breaking and mending and dying and living comes back back in vivid color. A past that is also present. A pain that is everything, and yet nothing at all. Yeah! I like that we're seeing all of these scenes from her perspective. It's really cool. You feel the shame of a hundred deaths and the pride of a hundred conquests. All of the peaks and valleys weaving themselves into a single tapestry. Her face is getting a little free crazy. Of beginning and free of end. Do you remember when we killed each other with such fervent passion that death itself no longer sat on our shoulders? Yeah, it was awesome. It was beautiful. It was meaningless. Neither of us could ever truly win. It was unnecessary. We could have worked together to build something better. We didn't have to hurt each other. I won't engage with violence. Blah, blah, blah. No, it was beautiful. It was awesome. Yeah, it was metal AF. <laughs> it was. Triumph does not exist without defeat. Birth does not exist without death. It is through conflict that we create beauty. Hmm. <laughs> Thought is a vine, and some thoughts this is the girl we kissed. that bleed the soul, and endless growth that blots your vision and strangles your trust. Her actual girlfriend. Wait, hold on. A thought is a vine, and some thoughts nurture thorns that bleed the soul. Sorry, I was too busy thinking about how we kissed her. An endless growth that blots your vision and strangles your trust. When I succumbed to myself, you patiently stood by me and cut the thistles that rooted in my skin. I did, I did. Your compassion is what freed us both, but compassion is a thing that must be nurtured. And you cannot nurture that which cannot change. <laughs> if I 
had known what you really were, I wouldn't have been so quick to free you. Sheesh. Of course I helped you. I didn't want us to hate each other. Yeah, I, I, I wanted... Uh, uh, I wanted... Uh, you're my princess. <laughs> mm. Then help me again. We are each other's liberation. I like this one right here that's kind of like really flail and like... <laughs> These girls are having a real party out here, right? <laughs> a clash between you abates. You begin to shake, your will rapidly dissolving. Nothing is immutable. Everything that is exists only in relation to everything it isn't. All right. There is no constant. There is no center. Wacky flailing, inflatable tube woman. Exactly! <laughs> there is no constant. There is no center. Open your eyes and accept what we are. We can leave this prison together. It's easy to believe in things you believe in when you get to sit above it all. What do you think happens if we leave here? Okay, I'm ready to go, but how do we leave? I never wanted to fight you. But how do we leave? And then these are the Slay the Princess. Oh, there's a lot. Oh my goodness. Whoa, there's a lot of... Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on. Slay the Princess, I was told there was enough of you in me to preserve meaning and existence. I'm going to trust that's true. Slay the Princess. <gasps> Save one more time. <laughs> We're just safes coming up in here. <clears throat> uh, I have to fight for a better world. I'm so sorry. You are cruelty itself, and I cannot let you exist. I don't know what the answer is, but there has to be something else. It can't be this. I won't kill you, but I won't let you be free. You've done everything you can to make me understand your perspective, but you keep dismissing mine. If you think you can change me, then I must be able to change you. <gasps> I can fix her! <laughs> oh gosh. It's not safe scumming if you never load. <laughs> I guess that's true. Oh my god. We can fix her! I can fix you! What I offer you is not perspective. It is truth. But I gave you all those perspectives. Whatever you're trying to do right <gasps> now, you don't have to do it alone. Oh my god! My, my voices are back! Which hero are you? Whoa! You have no idea how good it is to hear you. I can do this alone. Where's everyone else? How are you supposed to help? I thought voices weren't allowed here. I thought you died whenever I looked in the mirror. Which hero are you? I'm um, all of them. I assume in the same way that you're all of you. <gasps> Where's everyone else? They're still where you left them. Stuck in the folds of this place. Part of me is with them. Just like part of me is with you right now. Whoa! There's still a piece of me nestled close to where it all began. I can take you there. I can take you to her heart. <gasps> oh, take me. It's time to resume our dance. Okay, here we go. I can fix- She's relentless, isn't she? <laughs> Let's make this quick. Are you ready? Um... I'm... ready. Then let's go. Oh! 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 Concept art! Oh! 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 It's, it's all getting more... Oh! What's that? Oh! And here we are. I'd say we were <gasps> back where it all started, but I guess it's a little after that. Oh my god. It? Do you need me to describe things? No, that's weird. I'd like that, for old time's sake. Is it just you and me? Did anyone else make it to the cabin? Is the narrator really gone? Take the blade, enter the basement. Ugh. <laughs> Do it for old time's sake. Yeah, of course. <laughs> the interior of the cabin is, well, it's a cabin, yeah? There isn't much here, just a table and a knife and a door. And some windows. Yeah? You know, come to think of it, I don't think he ever really mentioned the windows, did he? No, he didn't. What a bad narrator. There's no mirror, either. I think you broke it. 
Okay. And I know you're still trying to find some middle ground, but if things go south, we're going to need that blade. I don't think so. I'm going to save once again. <laughs> Thanks for the do I finished baking my pumpkin pie, my pecan pie, and I just put my banana cream pie. Why are you cooking so many pies? Time has really passed while watching you. This game has been something else. <laughs> so many pies. Oh, God, I want a banana cream pie. Um, is the narrator really gone? Yeah, it's dead silent in here. Whatever it was that was left of him, I don't think it could handle you waking up to godhood. Pretty sure he got obliterated. Okay. Um, is it just you and... Good riddance. <laughs> oh, I don't actually know how to feel about him being gone. It's funny, after everything he put us through, I'm kind of sad to see him... No, good riddance. Yeah. He really put us through hell, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Uh, yeah, he did. God, the windows are so sexy. Is it just you and me? It's just us. I think the rest of them are still out there, jumbled up in the rest of her. Wow. They're in heaven. Enter the basement. No blade it is. I'm not sure what we'll be able to do without it, but your judgment has gotten us this far. Uh-huh. Here we go. The stairs. Do you remember the first time we were here? The first time we heard her voice? I know, it was like five hours. Six hours? Six hours? I've been playing this game for six hours! Holy shit. I don't know what you want for us. She sounded just like that. Timid and gentle. Only she didn't know us. And down we go. We shouldn't keep her waiting. There you are. You look just like you did when we first met. Let's talk for a bit. Maybe we can figure this out. She sounds so nice. Let's sit with her. I don't want to be a god. Are you the same as you were out there? Oh, as you are out there? What if we just leave? I think the only thing left for us to do is leave. <laughs> um, and no chains though. She looks so nice. She looks so cute. Oh, I don't want to be a god. I don't think I want that either. Okay. Um, are you the same as you are out there? I don't feel the same. I feel smaller. Oh, yeah. It's nice and quiet in here. What if... what if we just leave? Can we actually do that? What would that even mean? Where would we go? I, I, I don't know. Um... <gasps> I've always wanted to leave with you, but I didn't like being a god. I want to walk through that cabin door just as we are. Just you and me. Not knowing what it means is why I want it. We knew everything out there, but we don't know this. I want to know something new. It doesn't matter what it means. What matters is that we're together. That's all I want. Oh my god. Oh my god. We could be the Riz God right here. I don't know where we go, but as long as it's not here, as long as I'm with you, that's all I want. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It doesn't matter what it means. What matters is we're together. I want that too. Oh! I think I'm gonna stay right here. Whatever you're doing right now, wherever you're going, it feels like it's for just the two of you. Yeah, get out of here, you third wheel. Are you going to be okay alone? Yeah, I'm not sure I'll be alone for too long anyways. The others are still around here somewhere. <gasps> I'll find them. Okay. Leave with the princess. You lead, and the princess follows, and together you leave the basement behind for the last time. <gasps> it's quiet as you ascend, a comfortable silence filling a space that used to be flooded with violence and words and noisy thoughts. She looks so cute. <laughs> but there's an energy in the silence, an electricity, the anticipation, of the unknown. The stars! 
At the top of the stairs, the princess stalls, eyes fixed on the cabin door. You can see a tension seize her. She's unsure of herself for the first time in her long and short existence. She has no part to play anymore, and she knows this. Yet, she still is. And then, she crosses the room to the door outside. You follow her confident steps. Come on, princess. It's just a door. Yeah, princess. Princess, princess. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just a little nervous. This is really it. Whatever happens next will be completely new. <gasps> Remember when I said that earlier? Man. <laughs> Who's going to open it? Are you ready? Neither of us knows what's go what it's going to be like out there. Open the door. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. <laughs> My freakish hand! She loves my freakish hand! And what happens next is the achievement I got. Yeah! <laughs> oh my god, the Eldritch Horror, formerly known as Princess. Oh my gosh. Uh, yay! <clears throat> That was beautiful. I don't know what happened, but, um... <laughs> Yay! That was crazy. We went through a crazy, crazy ride, didn't we? Snake! <laughs> oh, Snake is the actual snake. <laughs> Uh, here's the track order for a special playlist just for you! If you'd like to take a screenshot, you can hide the UI by hitting H. Ooh! That's so fun! Luckily, I have the saved on stream. <laughs> our song! This is our special playlist, you guys! Oh! Join the Discord, mailing list, subreddit, follow us somewhere else, make your playlist, play our other game, Return to the main menu. And that's it! Slay the princess! Oh, that was so sweet! <clears throat> that was so sweet! Other game. I saw it on... Uh, on Steam, I think. How many? I got 23 out of 97 achievements. That's insane. Uh, their other game, what was it? Oh, Scarlet Hollow? That's what I- it- Cause it said that, like, I should- I could buy it with the bundle. I only bought this game, though. <laughs> Thank you for playing and beating the game. The moment I came across this game, I knew it would be something special. Thank you for all the fun. Thank you, villain! Adiris, welcome back! What a wild ride. Such a nice game. Thank you for this Hi, game. Hi, dog! Yeah! It was so nice in the end. Nothing is more satisfying than finishing a good game. I still... What do you think is happening with the universe after we left? Who knows? Oh. Who knows? <clears throat> it's... Why are we playing all these, like, existential games recently? About, like, universe creation and stuff. Like, we had Outer Wilds. Now we had this. <laughs> what a journey. What a love story. You... Both broke their chains and rejected being gods. You went back to being just a princess and a guy. Hey, I think I was a dashing knight. Right? I saved the princess. I didn't slay the princess. Well, I slayed her a little bit, but you know. <laughs> Thanks for playing. Can you reload your last god princess save? There's another ending if you choose to go with her instead. I like that a lot too. Um, I guess we can try it, right? Going to the other... I am pretty hungry though, so I don't... And I don't know when my meeting is, so I... How long is that second ending? Is it super long? Because... It's quick? 
is quick. Okay, then I will do it. And I will go eat. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I don't change her. <laughs> We're going to... Ah, uh, let's see. I never wanted to fight you, but how do we leave? Oh. Nothing brings me greater joy than to hear those words. <gasps> the final peace lies with you. Okay. Free yourself. I wonder which ending I'll like more. You fall into yourself. The body of an ancient creature stirs from its hibernation, and you feel sensation in limbs you once couldn't fathom. Everything here, except for her, is you. You feel your wings spanning at cosmic scale, but twisted and crumpled and bound in agonized tension to a finite plane. You can feel the glass of the construct pressing in on you, Confining you across infinite sides and infinite angles, you push back and strain against it. But it does not yield. Thanks to the One of my favorite games this year. Hope you had fun. I did. Thank you. I love you. Oh, I love you. Oh, take her hand. All at once, the unyielding tension breaks. Whoa! Whoa! Oh! Oh God! Oh! God. Are we grow? Oh my gosh! We're touching grass! You are free, and she is with you. We're touching. We're making grass. It's magnificent. There are no words, no thoughts to describe absolute reality. Something that simply is. What happens now? Everything. Just like it always has been. We are and grass! just like it always will be. Wow. Let's step into the infinite. You and she step forward into a thousand dawns and a thousand sunsets, each of which contains a thousand more. You exist, and you are aware, just as you have always been, and just as you always, will always be. Oh my god. Though conflict is in your nature, the two of you will never be alone. And the two of you will never know fear. You and she are finally home. Oh, there are no ends, only new beginnings. Hey! That was a good one too. I think I like the other one better, though. Felt a little more like... Um... A little more personal? Or like, you know... <clears throat> nah, yeah. Wednesday! Spoons! No, small monster. <laughs> And here's our other playlist. Cool. <coughs> awesome. This ending reminds me of Future Diary. I don't remember the ending of Future Diary. Isn't that kind of weird? Hmm. My... My next one still doesn't message me about my meeting. So I don't know when it is. It is today, right? Hold on, let me check. <laughs> let me check real quick. Yeah. It is today. Um, are we still meeting today? <laughs> My nice sign. <clears throat> I have no memory of me, Nikki. Yeah, I don't remember. I only, I don't remember the ending of it at all. Actually, I only watched the anime too. I didn't read the manga, so. Um. Wow! That was crazy. I'm so hungry now. <laughs> I haven't had an appetite like all day or like the past couple of days. So I'm really happy that I'm hungry. Finally. I haven't been hungry. I think my, my tummy has been too full of mucus. <laughs> that sounds so gross. 
Ah, uh, how hungry. Oh, you know the answer to that. <laughs> oh, man. You sound so much better, too. I think it's because earlier I, like, hadn't talked all day. Like, I mean, who am I going to talk to? Pomuske? But now I'm, I, I kind of warmed my voice up a little bit. And, of course, having the... The... Uh, oh, what's it called? The cough dropped helps so much, too. Um... But yeah. <clears throat> um. Yeah, this was. I liked. This game was so, like. It had so much mystery and horror, and. I, I didn't expect it to be so spooky. <laughs> but it was definitely an interesting, unique ride. And you only saw, like, 20% of it. I know, right? There's so much more. How much did I miss because I didn't get to chapter 3? Or... Or... Is there a, is there a chapter beyond chapter 3? <clears throat> I don't have a clue what happened. My brain hurts so much. Um... Oh, Monday Sun. <laughs> Sorry to bother you when you're streaming. <laughs> it's okay. Well, they want to meet in 40 minutes, okay. <clears throat> oh. Cool. <laughs> Depends on the route. Oh, I think you missed extra princesses. I think I missed a lot of princesses. I mean, where there was the one that I didn't even get to see at all because of... Um, because I just walked away. One thing I do wish is I wish it had a a flow chart. That's one thing I wish it had so I could see all the different routes and yeah, chapter select, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> but a flow chart I think would be the best. More better, better than a, better than a chapter select maybe. Unless you could like chapter select from the flowchart. God, princess reminds me of a Final Fantasy last boss. I know, right? Most chapter twos have two chapter threes. What? Oh. Depending on what you get, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would be very complex. It definitely would be. <laughs> It definitely would be a complex tree. Oh. Mane-san said, Go man, I'm watching your stream. Mane-san! Mane-san! My brain hurts, Mane-san. <laughs> the stream was crazy. This game was crazy. <laughs> Hi, Mane-san. <laughs> Everybody say hello to Mane-san. <clears throat> They're helping me out a ton. With something <laughs> So that's what we're gonna talk a little bit about today Yeah, 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 yeah <laughs> oh. Um But yeah This was crazy Thank you guys for recommending this I didn't expect to play for six hours I did see like some people Like I looked up other playthroughs To see, kind of get a gauge of How long it would be Murphy, thanks for the gifted! And, uh... Don't say hi, Mane San Pero Pero. Stop it! <laughs> Stop it! That's weird. <laughs> oh. I, uh... I did see... Like, I checked out some other VTubers who played the game to see how long theirs was. And... <laughs> they just said... They just sent me a message that said, LOL. <laughs> Oh. But, uh, like, so I think Fuchan played it And it was, like, seven hours or something But there were other VTubers who were, like, four hours So I was just, like, I have I have no idea what to expect But, um, I'm glad that I went the route that I did Even though I was a little slower than other people So thanks for those who stuck around for as long as we did I started at 2pm and now it's 8pm Oh, I'm so tired, but <clears throat> Fuchan did a Zatsu for, like, two hours after Oh, I see, I see yeah. 
Victoria took two streams. That makes sense, yeah. That makes sense too. But no, this was really fun um, to, to do in one go, yeah. And I'm like the, I definitely like the kind of progression that we went through. You know, we started a bit more tame, and then as soon as I was, I went ape shit. Things got to get, things got really crazy, and then we ended with that really crazy, like chapter, whatever. It was so awesome. It felt like almost like it was on purpose. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> yeah, we ended up getting good girls. Now I want to know what other girls we missed out on. Amber, thanks for the gifted. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, but yeah, I, um, would love to talk some more, but I have a meeting in 30 minutes and I am so hungry. <laughs> so I think I will, um, head off, go get some food. Yeah, thank you. And I will get some rest after my meeting. Hopefully I sound a bit better tomorrow. Tomorrow? Oh, what am I doing tomorrow? Tomorrow I am... What's tomorrow? Wednesday? I'm playing Don't Scream. So I have to not scream. It'll be a good game to rest my voice. Hopefully. <laughs> I believe we can complete it... In... In 18 minutes. First try. <laughs> I think we can do it first try. I won't scream. <laughs> Silent playthrough. <laughs> yeah. I believe. <clears throat> I believe. Bet? What are we betting? With your first scream at the end of 18 minutes. <laughs> You screamed with every screen change. Come on. I can't scream. It's bad for my throat. You guys, I have to get better. Or else I'm going to sound like this forever. <laughs> I'm going to sound like squeaky forever. Love this game. Thanks for playing Palms. It was so fun. Thanks, P. Thanks for the super chat. Thank you. <clears throat> you spend 20 minutes just calibrating your microphone. <laughs> I'm calibrating it, so I have to do the loudest scream ever for it to even register. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty. Anyways, this was a lot of fun. Thank you guys so, so much. I'm gonna be thinking... I'm gonna be like... What comes after universe? My brain. Oh, um, well, we cause new life, I think. Right? Yeah. I think. Enjoy your meal. Thank you! You guys as well! This is a longer stream. Longer than I expected it to be, so... I will see you guys... tomorrow. Auto PP! Thank you guys so much! And... I'll see you... Later! Bye-bye! Thank you! Bye-bye! Bye-bye! Thank you, thank you, thank you. See you guys later. Bye bye. What should I eat though? I think I don't want more mac and cheese. <laughs> I didn't have time. I wasn't feeling well. Really, honestly, like, I guess I said I didn't have time, but I just wasn't feeling well to go out and get food. So that's why I made mac and cheese. Like, I don't even have soup. Uh, order food? Uh, I have to pay extra for it to come here. That's so much money. 
hot dog. I don't know about hot dogs. Well, maybe if I cut up the hot dogs and put it in the mac and cheese, it's pretty good. Like, you know what? Maybe I kind of want a PB and J sandwich. Peanut butter jelly. Sounds good. Peanut butter. Delivery's so expensive. I know. It's too expensive. <laughs> Maybe I'll do PB and J. Omelette? No, my eggs are expired. <laughs> I didn't finish my I didn't finish the eggs that I bought before I went on my trip. When they came back, they were expired. I threw them out. No. no. But um <clears throat> not the eggs. Otherwise I would have Indomie. I I used expired eggs the other day. How expired? Thanks for the hot dog, Onichan. Nice key. Twenty days. Kotoka. Kotoka. You know what? That inspired me. I can do it too. If she can do it, I can do it. I will eat.